idea what this button does. You want to figure it out together? Are you? <laughs> hey, are you coming? Yeah, just got to find something to wear. All right, perfect. Hey everybody, it's Alec Baldwin here. Sucky, funky, smoky, red in a pushy. She give you everything you want. Long time. She love you good. Boom, boom, long time. <laughs> okay, hey, okay. Yeah. Right. Let's get mounted. Come to me, Dino. She say, so brother, chupoku, chupoku. What we have here, little yellow sister, is a magnificent specimen of pure Alabama black snake. <laughs> <laughs> Skittle tits. <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell? Perry has done it again. Hang on. Son of a bitch. Skittle tits. I was looking well, at the man. wrong thing. Hey, there we are. Let's do it again. Oh, Whoa, yes. Uh, we were showing our support for BLM. We were showing our support for Buy Larger Mansions there. So, uh, welcome to oh, yeah. Friday Night Tights. Uh, my name is Gary Beekler, and I come to you from nerdrotic.com and my mother's vagina. And we have another great episode tonight with another great guest, a guest who has been uh, requested quite a bit uh, over the last, I don't know, six months or so, guys. So uh, finally, uh, we'll, we'll get to her in about a half an hour when we're finished with our introductions. And we also have a very special guest showing up in about a half an hour. So just hang in there. Uh, I drove uh to arizona and back in a day uh to go to a meetup i was expecting it was last minute i think we announced it like four or five six days ago jeremy uh, yeah maybe a week top tops tops i was expecting 10 people we had 120 130 somewhere people. around there yeah, that was amazing it was yeah. amazing it, and uh somebody flew out from sioux fall <laughs> south dakota yes. Uh, but a lot of people were just from Mesa, Arizona. A lot of locals there. Uh, the bar was amazing. It, uh, it was a brilliant turnout. Had a good time. Gave out all my hats. Met all of you again. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to do another meetup. Because uh, if we did one with uh, proper notice, that would have been huge. So thanks, everyone. Uh, yeah, and the last hour of the drive sucked yesterday. It was like pea soup fog uh, yeah, at 2 in the morning. Uh, then I got up and I watched The Eternals, um, and I would rather be on the road at two in the morning than watching The Eternals. <laughs> Wake up in the morning. Yeah, I'd rather be at a colonoscopy while getting a root canal, uh, and maybe, maybe a vasectomy. More entertaining. I'm not sure, uh, but we'll talk about that in just a second. But next, let's talk about D-Day Cobra. 
the most above average man on the internet uh, who was on the road in, on, what are you in a holiday a in? I'm on a potato in Texas. I'm in the middle of nowhere in Texas right now. Soon to be, soon to be nerdrotic headquarters in the middle of nowhere in Texas. Oh yeah. So, um, but yeah, uh, it was amazing. I apologize in advance for my audio. I know it's shit. Um, but last night's meetup was incredible. It was, it blew our expectations away. Uh, the bar is awesome. There's so much opportunity there. We're going to return to Mesa at some point to do a bigger meetup with bringing a lot more people into the fold, but unbelievable. All of you were amazing. Uh, we got the Friday night tights, uh, little coins. I've got it behind me somewhere. I'm oh, sure Ryan and, uh, and Gary have theirs, but yep. unbelievable Coin. enthusiasm, everything. It was beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, we saw some returnees from Vegas, which was mm -hmm. cool. Saw some brand new people. And, uh, it, yeah, we're definitely going back to Arizona. And, you know, they made a good point. The people at Arizona say, hey, we're always looked over because we're, we're next to Vegas. We're next to California. So people just don't come here. And it's like, okay, well, I'll start going there. Uh, and I got some really good news. Like, the minute I walked in the door to that bar, uh, yeah. Da, 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 we, man of distinction, a real big spanner. Got a house. Hell yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Got a house. Fuck I'm a Texan. Hit that applause. I oh, am a yeah. Texan. You're officially a Texan. You got to come over here, have some BBQ and yeah. some Tex-Mex. And the stars oh, and BBQ. A big and bright. Big and bright. You got to the whole Texas. Alan Ward. And Alan Ward. That's Florida. And And hey, big, big shout out to, to Gary. Gary drove six hours. Got right out of the uh, vehicle, walked right into the bar, gets mobbed by hundreds of people <laughs> for like five hours, leaves the bar, gets back in his truck, goes back six hours, driving in the fog, uh, and then gets up to punish himself even more through the Eternals. A fucking trooper. Yeah. It was awesome. Hey, it, it, was, well, it, it was worse. Well, well it was. Said, skittle tits. Uh, skittle tits. Yeah, thank you, Skittle tits, for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, for those kind words. I, I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, and buy, buy a fucking road microphone, dude. You cheap bastard. Come on. Man. You know, <laughs> I, on. I built fucking 600,000 subscribers over a fucking phone, so it's worked pretty good for me up to this point. So I'm stubborn. I'm yeah. Stubborn. Yeah. I, 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 just, I just bought something. What'd you buy? I bought, I'm going to look this way, even though the, camp, the screen's here. I'm going to look this way, so it looks like I'm engaging you. Uh <laughs> I just bought a, a vlogging cam. Nice. Oh, now, which one, one did of you those, get? like, what, did, what is this? I'll tell you the exact is model. Is it the DJI Osmo Pocket 2? Oh, do you know something? It might be. I got the, um, the, the DJI Pocket 2. There you this go. This is what I got. Well, dang. Uh, yeah, because I, I thought, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of, uh, uh, I'm going to do some OnlyFans sexy stuff in bed. Awesome. Oh, so a, I had the first edition, finally. and it works really well. Just make sure mm. you keep it charged every now and then because mine doesn't work anymore because ah, the yeah. battery is just like, you didn't charge me for months, so I'm dead. Yeah. DJ so I'm Osmos dead now. Are that sucks. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I thought it would be a cool little thing to do. You know, get the little get the little wibbly wobbly out. Yeah, yeah but it's gorgeous. It gets good audio even without putting it. And they, they have the option where you can even put a microphone in, so it's good stuff, man. That's yeah, cool. I, you know what? I, I will do I, before the next time. I'm never going to do a remote Friday night tights without a better mic and a better cam. Deal. That's that's my promise to the audience. You deserve it, so I'll make it happen. I'll there you go. You. I'll, 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 I'll get you one Look for that. Christmas. I'll get you one for Christmas. For Christ's sake. It's first uh, time you'll ever give me a Christmas him. present, man. I appreciate that. That's a lie. You've given me plenty of gifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not on Christmas. Uh it's just whenever. Every day is Christmas. I, I fuck it. I can't wait. My my lights are on, dude. My Christmas lights are on right over here. I got another strip to put up. It's never fucking too early. Let's get let's get this rolling, yeah, I, bro. The, the only thing I remember first, about man. fucking last Christmas because we did Friday night tights. Like I don't know if it was on Christmas Day or something, but I watched that dumbass fucking Doctor Who special. Yeah, the only episode it was of New Doctor Year's. Who I've ever watched, and it was just miserable. Uh, but I do well, remember that. It's not as miserable as, well, no, it was as bad as the Eternals, it was. Hi, Az. Hello. Hello. 
How are you? How are you? I'm good, man. Oh, I'm just I'm just reading some absolutely horrendous uh things which I just don't even want to repeat. Uh um yeah. Can but, you? Uh, yeah, how are you? I'm fucking great. I'm ready to go. I'm caffeinated, uh, and I just saw a shitty movie that I want to really talk about because I can't remember who it was, but there was a YouTuber out there who said, yeah, it's bad, but it wasn't woke. Uh, Eternals was the most woke fucking thing Marvel has done, period. So uh, I love to discuss Wasn't that. that comics? <laughs> I don't know who. <laughs> I don't know who was it, it was. Was it? <laughs> yeah, sure, comics was like. Get uh, in here, comics. What are you no, doing? No, no, hold on. Uh, was it, who's... who's he said he liked the no. He said he liked Sprite's uh, character. Yeah, I think, I think it might be Midnight's Edge that said, "Oh, it has no, yeah. you know right, the character." Yeah, I think it's Midnight's Edge review that was. No, yeah, it's woke. It's woke. I always love when the bar gets set so low that when a character goes from fucking absolutely trash to just kind of annoying, <laughs> just kind of okay. it's like what a it's great like, arc. Whoa. I know <laughs> character arcs. Yeah, I like it when characters die and you feel absolutely nothing because you don't give a shit about yeah. them at yeah. all. Uh, that's my favorite. Five stars. But yeah, he was uh, my things, friend. Things are good. Uh, I'm good. Uh, I might have a little bit of rum and coke. Oh, good. Yeah. You know? Well, like in you now, or you're about to drink some? Oh, there wow. you go. That explains a lot. Oh, just taking taking the edge off, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, I hear you. After a hard day's bitching about Batwoman, I need to. <laughs> who, posted, who posted his best audience? In eleven episodes, how? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. You know how? No... Mauler and Az is the reason the show <laughs> is everybody watching. And Jay, and Jay, we got a we got another person here. Thank you. When I say when I say Mauler, that encompasses his whole world. So Jay, <laughs> oh, hey, how many times was Mauler brought up last night? Like a lot. Like a lot, a lot of people say, we found you through EFAP. We found you through Mahler. Uh, so thanks, mm. Mahler. Appreciate it, man. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it still did a shitty ass demo of 0 0.09, Not. which is its uh, fourth worst demo ever. I like it when you Brits say not. Uh, nine. Not. Nine. 0.09. That's not. better than zero. Nine. It just sounds better than zero. It does. Um, so. But I'm predicting a, a massive drop next week. I'm <laughs> No. Yeah. Yeah, uh, how many people watched it? Like total, like seven hundred thousand. Oh, uh, this week was point five. It's still shit. Point <laughs> five two four. Five hundred and twenty four thousand people in a country yeah, of three hundred and thirty. What is it? Three million or well, this doc three, documented thirty million. Three twenty yeah. million. Yeah, three thirty million. Yeah. Uh, except on a, there's a certain border region in Texas where you can add another couple couple million. But probably. with a yeah, with, with a demo of, of just zero point zero nine. Then it was over fifties who were tuning in to whack off to the women. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. it's that has to be it, right? It, it was like at four hundred thousand the episode before, right? Yeah, four hundred and seventeen. So it went up by over a hundred thousand this week. It's really weird if yeah. it wasn't like a big special or anything. It was like, hey, we got no. Batman again, Batman guys. I, did, no? I, I said uh, I did a video and I said I don't. Was there a sports event which wasn't on this week, or was there a, a show that's normally on that was? On a bye week or something. Baseball's, baseball's over now, so all, you yeah. know all the baseball fans <laughs> tuned into Batwoman instead. Is there some kind of <laughs> drama that's going on that like might bring people possibly? Because oh. yeah, I mean that's not. I okay. did say that in the vid as well. It's because the the drama is not ending. Ruby that is stoking it. it. She's stoking. Yeah, it, that, so. yeah, that could be it. She has no career left, so she might as well just fucking burn it all down. You know, why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, that doorman did a hundred and seventeen thousand dollars or whatever it was oh. worldwide good good show ruby chin chin to, to ruby rose to, to ruby rose i mean like you know when you're acting and your uh, biggest flaw is emoting uh that's a bit of a problem <laughs> when, when you're acting and your biggest flaw is acting, acting. Uh, acting. then yeah it's uh, it's not so good Ooh, it's not yeah. good uh welcome as and uh nice hat thanks nice thank you I, I wasn't lying about the only fans by the way Oh, you gotta gotta rep your boy. I rep this. I was on Drinker's channel yesterday for after hours, and uh, I was repping the hat because I said I gotta rep. I gotta rep my boy Gary, even when he's not. Even when he's not here. Oh, he's thanks, there. man. But no, the the only fans thing wasn't a wasn't a lie. Uh, I've just linked you an image. Uh, this is this is a, things to expect on my only fans. Oh. 
Um, <laughs> nice. I'm, hot, I'm hotter. I'm hotter <laughs> than you think. You know. Those are oh, damn. I've got, I've got a tie. I've got a tidy bod. Wow. You get it going. Oh, right. Wow. Wow. What's That's that why weird? you wear the hoodie so much. You, you're covering up. The, I know. The, I, it's because I'm a big boobed girl. I'm gonna and come. I just don't want everybody to <laughs> I just, I just, I'm sick and tired of guys just like leering after Do me. Do not come. So, uh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be up. some someone's yeah. most awkward wank in the world ever. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you can see Jeremy trying try. to work it out. You can see Jeremy really trying to work try. it out in his head right now. You, you can see, like he's he's troubled. He's trying. It's like <laughs> conflicting putting, like, feelings. Bags over it, and as I respect you, I, I've never respected you more than I do right now. <laughs> respect all over my tits. Can I send oh, no. you my beard as well yeah. for your only fan? Oh, dude. No, 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 no. Oh, people would. Nah. Trade your beard and send it that to people be, already uh, have. Maybe when I. I'll do that. How much? <laughs> I'll save this. How much? Dude, I'll do it. Fucking talk. Let's talk money. Gonna call me a grifter? Fuck it. Five quid. Uh, <laughs> Fuck it. I don't care. Five, five quid. quid. <laughs> Six quid. Anything else you want shaving? I got an asshole. I got another thing. Oh, you got a secret door. Yeah, you got a secret door. I got a secret door. Just don't make a candle that smells like anything. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've got a oh, candle that smells like as candle. <laughs> it smells like as. <laughs> yeah. Smells like as. <laughs> smells just like as. Just yeah. like as. Uh, well. Which is like blueberries and gooseberries. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, baby boy Ryan. How much sleep did you get? Um, not a ton. It's been kind of a crazy couple days. Y you obviously drove straight out, did the meetup, drove straight back. Jeremy drove like 26 hours, you know, broke it up in two parts across the country to get to Arizona. Well, I hosted Tuesday night's main event that got done at about 1 30 in the morning. I made a couple videos, uh, hurriedly packed my fucking shit and then drove to Orlando to the airport, flew out to Arizona where Jeremy picked me up. So I didn't sleep that night. Jeremy picked me up about two in the afternoon. We drove two hours to Tucson. Uh, I had, had a good business meeting there. Did the Ride on Optics podcast, which was absolutely phenomenal. Can't wait till that goes out. We're going to share the fuck out of that thing. Uh, and then we drove back to Arizona for another business meeting. Uh, so, and then we obviously had the meetup. And then I left at 6.45 this morning out of Phoenix. Literally minutes before we started, I finally drove my ass back to my house, threw all my shit down on the ground. It's pretty normal for me. And uh, we started the stream. So it's been a pretty crazy couple days. Yeah, that's that, dedication, though, man. That's, that's yeah, what we appreciate. Well, he he was up for, I, I, I don't know, well over 40, maybe even about the, was it like 40 something hours straight, Ryan? That you like had been 48 up? hours, yes. Yeah, and, and, and at no point, like, I, I think I caught him a, a few times kind of getting a little tired, but you wouldn't have known it. The dude's a machine. And when he gets off the plane, I call him. I'm like, where you at? He goes, uh, I'm, I'm in the terminal. I'm, I'm uploading a video. I'll call you back. He's <laughs> uploading a video from his phone that he shot from his phone, okay. editing it. Like, terminal this four never stops. Okay. Terminal four. Hey, when Aaron Rodgers, uh, when Aaron Rodgers news breaks, you got to make a vid in Terminal four. But South Southwest Airlines planes in the back. Let's go, Brandon. So <laughs> let's go, Brandon. I think we have some video on. Let's go, Brandon. Too. Oh, I think a little later, fun, right? So. Somebody sent me. We got to show. Yeah, we got to yeah. show that uh, clip from last night, Gary. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, and we will. Uh, Odin, what's up, everybody? What's up, dude? How was your week? It's great. Uh, okay. It's it, it, it. Especially meeting everybody, it was freaking great. I uh, wish you were there. That's awesome. That's awesome. I wish I, I wish I could have made it out there. Being a teacher during the during the year, especially, <laughs> it's just rough because you just can't can't get any time away. But uh, hopefully, we have some events going on over the summer because I will totally oh, we would, totally we will. be down for that. But uh, here's what everyone is really wanting to see. Oh, you god, you dirty bitch! Oh, I can have some pizza. <sighs> oh, look at those Pepper little rice <laughs> <just> splattered <laughs> all over. Oh, oh, yeah. oh man. <laughs> We cut course, back to you all know, your windows and right just where it's, covered right in where it is, so. <laughs> 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 Little Sim Pickens this week. It's the Red Baron. Um, put it in your mouth. So put, it, put, it in, put it in your fucking yeah, mouth. What is this? Just on the plate? What are you doing? Eat it. it says Red Baron. Well, I'm just showing. I got to give the pizza cam first. Come on, man. You know we've been waiting for this. Come on. You got to tell us the story. So it's the Red too. Baron with some extra pepperoni on it. So extra oh, yeah, you, you, you do it in slow motion. You yeah, fucking yeah, do slow it in slow motion. motion. Yeah. Oh, oh, the oh. crunch. The crunch. Oh, that's oh, 
You yeah, you close your eyes. Mm. We need like porn music. Now, behind now that. that's yeah, some, this is this is sinful. Well, you, that's you, some OnlyFans com- content right it's there. The gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is so gay. What's going on? Listen, the good nineteen eighties gay, right? I will defend 90s. Odin. Hey, ain't nothing about pizza is the most heterosexual shit there ever is. So I'll I don't care ass. how gay he looks doing it. There's, that's straight as fuck right there. I'll eat your ass. I support you, Odin. I'll eat your ass. I'll eat Thank your you, ass. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'll eat your ass. <laughs> I gotta watch that later. I freaking love that video so much. Uh, good. Th- but anyway, pizza up, everybody. I know Lord. there's a lot of people always send me their picture, uh, their pizza pictures uh, yeah, before we start awesome. the show. So the good, Holla. the good Lord isn't here, Odin. He's not here. Uh, quarter <laughs> black. He stops. Garrett. Hey, what's up? Wish me luck. I'm bidding on a Tempest arcade machine. No, just really. Would just. I'm hoping to get it. So just oh, where's it on eBay? Because I'm gonna outbid you. No. Yep. It's Got local. somewhere it is right it's now. Local. You can't find. You can't find it. I so can, I'm I'm a Texan, dude. I, I mean, yeah. Oh, that's it is right. You're resourceful. Every yeah, but it's like 700 miles. <laughs> it's not like <laughs> close. <laughs> Good luck and get there first. But hey, I'm I'm excited to finally have Jay Longbone on the show. Yes. I've been, I've been hoping for that, that is, for a while. Oh, oh big God fan. Fucking motherfucker. Oh, thank you. What, how long <laughs> the show was that? Oh, no, that was. was good. Oh, 21 one minutes in. We that's not the, the earliest board. boomer at all. That's like, come on. It's, that's just it's normal. pretty good, though. Gary, um, did you see that clip of Rip I put in the chat today? <laughs> oh, you got to play that. You got to play it. That's really good. He gave you a shout out. It's in the, yeah. in the I, Twitter. I, I, I can pull it up here. I, I will I play it. Uh, and, uh, but hey, Carter Black. So, hey, what's, uh, what, up? what's going on? I'm excited. So, I'm excited. so, so when, do you, when do you get the machine, man? When does it happen? Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty close. Like I said, local. So if he accepts, then I get to go pick it up after the show or tomorrow. So we'll see. Awesome. We'll see. Is it like nice. the, I've, been, I've been wanting one for a long time, dude? That is it's gonna uh, go right there. Yeah, that's the one game that I played all the time and was pretty good at was Tempest. That's it's all skill. I need. A, I want an Operation Wolf and Joust. All skill. I like Joust. I want an Operation. I'm not Wolf. good at that game. That's Joust. What I want. Was, oh, Operation Wolf. You say? Mm. That's a good mm. one. Joust was hard. Joust was not Joust, an easy Joust game. Joust is hard. I mean, I was 14. It's hard. It's hard. hard. Like life. Life, there should be an easy hard. Hard. It's as hard as I am when I'm looking at that picture. Of, life of, is uh, hard. Hazard. I don't want to work. <laughs> it's communism. That'll solve everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, welcome. And then there's X-Ray Girl who can't be on camera because there's workers in a room, so we don't want to see any, like, worker butt crack in the background, mm. apparently. No illegal... No illegal Mexican, or I guess Canadians, I guess, would be heard. <laughs> no, my furnace is getting replaced, so who knows what could happen if I if they. You may freeze to death. I'm freezing right now. Here, wait. I will show you just a moment of what I look like. It's 10 degrees right now. It's 10? 10? <laughs> 10 Celsius? 10 Celsius. 10 Celsius. What, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Like, like, European. That's like, like in the, fucking, what, 40s or like 50s? 45 or 50, yeah. yeah. Ain't freezing. that bad. That's relax. not too bad. Yeah. Come on. It's, uh, it's 10 up, where man. I am as well. It was minus one yesterday, though. Mm. So that's just below freezing, correct? Mm hmm. Yeah. Minus uh, one degree centigrade, not Fahrenheit. It's 78 right, right. degrees Fahrenheit right mm-hmm. now where I am. So there you go. So, what? I'm yeah. Jelly. yeah. 48 Fahrenheit. Ridiculous. It's. I know, it's fucking pouring down rain. These fucking idiots don't know how to drive here. Uh, that's why it took me so long oh, to get home. But it's like it's like fifty five degrees. Uh-uh. And ra- it's Texas is not right good now. either. They Arizona, have no it's a little Arizona. Hey Ryan, come on, get your crap together. Louisiana is the worst. Guess what came this week, right? Oh shit! Look at yeah, that. baby. A- Arizona, that's pretty cool. Uh, the fast Counting lane is for fucking cool. Rex, baby. the fast lane is for driving fast. Okay, I like it. Um, and now we have our very special guest. Again, this guest has been requested so much. Uh, it, it's, it goes back way past six months, but it's kind of ramped up. So uh, I want to apologize for not getting her on sooner. We have the great Jay Longbone. Welcome. Hello. Are you going silent? <laughs> Awkward silence. I'm waiting for Gary to get the clapping and no one. She's I not actually a here. Second. It's just a yeah. screen name. <laughs> just, it's just a picture. That's all. It's actually comics. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I think it might be my mic. No, we can hear you fine. Yeah. Or not. We got now. you now. It's delayed. Oh, okay. 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 Should we try that again, Gary? I always have problems with screaming. <laughs> uh, is it delayed a little bit? Let's let's check. Is it delayed? Oh, that's a huge delay. That's a yes. <laughs> I think yeah. that's a yeah. big yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's gotta a love stream yards. That's a big delay. You might want to like back out and come back in again and see if it works. Uh, otherwise, it's okay, gonna be okay. yeah, yeah. Have so, you tried turning it off and turning it back on? Have you tried oh, yeah. yeah, have you tried? Receive is your cable. computer plugged in? And so while we're Call waiting, while we're waiting for uh, uh, her to do that, then we've got uh, we do have a special guest coming in right now. Oh, uh, whoa! And, uh, that was fast. Yeah, this is this is fast. Hang on. Oh no! Uh -oh. oh no! <laughs> She's back. <laughs> no. Hello, no. hello, everyone. <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> what? Grace, Grace oh, is God. back. Hello. So, if you haven't seen my review for the Eternals, get over to Beyond the Trailer now. There was such a wonderful diversity in the cast, which is really all that matters anyway. <laughs> I immediately went to McDonald's to get a Happy Meal. Uh, this one features King Osunan, as you can see. He's hesitantly doing a Bollywood <laughs> dance number. <laughs> I was tricked. I was tricked. He's yes, not I was tricked. sure uh, how, if he should fully embrace his heritage. Oh, anyway. So much diversity. He's, he's, definitely he's, he's Pakistani, so he, yeah. he's, he's wrong anyway. He's embracing other people's heritage. Yeah, he's embracing other people's heritage. Doesn't I'm afraid. smell Pakistani. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Lilo McHugh. No. Lilo McHugh gave a standout performance. Kumail Ninjani was so ripped. I wanted to see his Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I, he looks so good. He could chicken tikka my sala whenever he wants. <laughs> An X-ray girl provided some much-needed Asian wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really Wait. a shame that no one else is going to see her in this film because, once again, no one else is going to see this film. <clears throat> Hello, Garrett. Oh, what's, it was, up? what's up? It was election day recently. I hope you remembered to cast your three-fifths of a vote. <laughs> I, don't have an, I don't have an ID. So. That's too bad. Louder with Crowder is back from their YouTube suspension. You can try to change my mind, but besides the half Asian lawyer and you culturally appropriating 25% of a black person as or Negro, as I think they prefer to be called now, <laughs> they, they still aren't diverse enough. <clears throat> I heard you're having a baby. I'd be more excited for the world if it was more than one eighth black. So I'll give you one eighth of a congratulations. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Thank Here's you. one eighth of a congratulations. You ready? Ka! <laughs> Jeremy, greetings and salutations, Jeremy. It's nice to see another cisgendered white man on the internet. Above is, he, average. is he cisgendered? Hmm, straight? Gay? I don't know. All I know is that him and Ryan Kinnell spend way too much time together at Walmarts <laughs> across the country. <laughs> well, I'll just have to wait and see. I'm hoping. Yeah, you're not wrong there. I, I, listen, you can't spend too much time at Walmart. That's my defense, all right? In our defense, Grace. White trash. Whoa, ball boy, comics division. I didn't, I, I know some men are the strong silent types, but yikes. I feel like I'm watching <laughs> I feel like I'm watching the 2011 Academy Award winning silent film The Artist starring <laughs> Jean Doe Jardin so similar but you know just white oh there you are as there you as oh my god I didn't even know a celebrity was on the panel tonight from Dune everybody the Baron of Herkinen is here <laughs> <laughs> behold what a one! What a if I might say so myself. What a wonderful performance you gave! Climbing walls, murdering Doctor Ua. No spoilers, but how did they make you float like that? Farts, lots and lots of farting. Speaking of Dune, I can't help but think how much Odin resembled Oscar Isaac with that beard and that body. 
Definitely. <laughs> Why does he get actual compliments? What's up with this? <laughs> Thank you. I'm developing feelings. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so definitely much. Definitely a spicy nude scene in that movie. <laughs> Definitely uh, a Trey D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm into over here. Uh, let's let's put the kiss in a raucous, huh? Uh, hey. <laughs> <sighs> you get the point. Anyway, oh, it looks like you're in solitary confinement over there. What's going on? All well, right. uh, in a lot of ways, I am. You could say. <laughs> Oh boy, on to the next thing. Uh, <laughs> Gave me nothing to work with there. Tom Connors is not here. He, uh, he, I was finally invited to his Midnight's Edging program. Uh, it was really a long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, Gary, congrats on becoming a Texas resident. You know what makes a house a home? Representation. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I've only got a little bit. I've got a quarter Asian son. So there you go. That'll I was me. thrilled to hear to hear that you had given Tim Pool COVID. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I felt bad because I didn't come there with a gift, so I thought that I'd give the gift that keeps on giving. Good job. Hey. He is, he is so problematic. He had Alex Jones on, and I would never associate <laughs> with anyone who would platform him. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so oh. you get passed. <laughs> Thank you. Get you. Passed this time for the assassination attempt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, check out Beyond the Trailer. <laughs> this is Grace Randolph signing off with a hesitant Bollywood dance. <laughs> By a Pakistani. <laughs> By a Pakistani. I uh, just want to point out, it definitely looks like he's trying to jerk off two dudes there. That, yeah, a little that, bit that, of that's what that is. So. Oh, my well, goodness. You and Jeremy. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> He's looking for people that it. look like him light in films. The candle, light the sun. <laughs> what, yo, oh, is that what he's doing? Is he flying now? They fly he's now. Flying he's out? Bollywood dancing. He he's being in brown. He doesn't. He's he flying doesn't away fly. to a more respectable channel. Oh. <laughs> he, he <lost. laughs> That's right. <laughs> he, just, he actually, after he juiced, he, he he did like the twelve week of marble steroids instead of six weeks, and now he can't actually fucking move his arms. <laughs> he <has long laughs> he's all he's so jacked. He's like, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Jay it's like rigor mortis in my arms. Jay Longbone is here, and she's so embarrassed to be associated with this channel, she's not even showing her face. <laughs> <laughs> From beyond the trailer, I'm Grace Randolph. Goodbye. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Grace, Thank you, Grace. have a horrible channel. <laughs> oh, riveting. Oh. Absolutely. Say hello riveting. to John Cena's dick for me. <laughs> I was going to ask her if she was uh, if she thought that this film was going to make any money, but oh well. <clears throat> Missed my she, it had representation. That's all it needs. She was all True. over you, Odin. What's up? With I know. You? You I know. I, 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 I panicked. I panicked. Didn't know what to do. Just like a deer in the say. headlights. I know. Seriously. Yeah. And and the Joker. If, well, you look like you were in solitary confinement. You said sometimes it feels like that because I'm a Christian. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to say. <laughs> we should have said I'm never alone. I always have Jesus. I always Jesus, have Jesus right here. That would have been yeah. That's what I would have said. That's funny because after you you bombed, a lot of us were saying Jesus as well. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Sorry, Father. Hey guys. <laughs> oh hi, Chris. Oh hey, oh, hi, Chrissy. Where'd you hi, come Chrissy. from? You, when did you get here? Uh, I was running a little late. I don't know. I'm just trying out. God, this is a lot of makeup. I know. I see anything? It's very horrorish. <laughs> I'm trying out a new thing. In the corner. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're trying times. to do a new thing to cake the makeup on and uh, have your hair look like you literally have just woken up for being fucked. That's, Whoa, that's what Grace Randolph looks like every <laughs> single video. It's a new thing you're I love how you can wake up. I love how it's you can not, wake up from thing. being fucked. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a, it's a I mean, you know a lot about show. that, you know, done? <laughs> done? Sometimes it's you know, some pretty kinky stuff. Yeah. <laughs> just call me Dave Portnoy. So. Oh my oh, god! No. <laughs> I'm just, I, I, in all seriousness, uh, no. Dave Portnoy's a fucking badass. I love Dave Portnoy. All that bullshit is exactly that bullshit. It's 100 it's, bullshit. Really is. It's a targeted attempt by mainstream media that just want to get headlines and get clicks. Uh, Dave Portnoy is one of the most hated they fucking it, dudes in the world. They put it behind a paywall. They put yeah. it behind a paywall. 
<laughs> oh, I have the article on uh like somebody Archived. ripped it if you want yeah. it. Let me put yeah, it in the chat. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably do a video on it when I get home cuz uh, I'm yeah. a big fan of Portnoy. Bullshit what they're doing to him, but it's it's expected. For Successful sure. straight white man, got to take that guy down. That's that's too mm -hmm. problematic. Wait, you talking sounds... about the Eternals? Uh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. We're talking about our reality right that's now. That's Icarus, right? That's yeah. Icarus, right? Yeah, yeah. I Icarus. Yeah. He flew too close to the sun, so let's have him fly into the sun. Sorry, spoilers oh, for the <laughs> fucking worst movie. movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I mean, it was he, terrible. He, he, admittedly, he kind of went from naught to suicide real quickly. Yeah, right? he did. He was just like, <laughs> kill myself. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna help, I'm actually going to help you all save the world. Shit! Now I'm going to kill myself. And, and then, and then, uh, th and that one critic was not kidding. Uh, Je what's her name? Gemma, uh, the, the the star, cannot, Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. Uh, Gemma Chen. Yeah, yeah, cannot make facial expressions like <laughs> at all. No, <laughs> nobody can in this movie. Thank you. Hello. I don't I mean, think they know how. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's so what we see in the trailer is what we get. The entire movie is what you're saying. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. There's not many Soul people list. that were emoting to be on in uh, Sprite. I thought Sprite for a young lass, she did well. Yeah, I agree. I thought her performance was uh, was decent. Her, uh, I think okay. Kamala, the only ones shouting. I mean, I could do. I could have done with a lot. That's the, every line he just shouted. He was like, "I was like, come on, dude, racial stereotype." Well, I think he was trying to be heard by the deaf person. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> so. So, not gonna happen. We are the Eternals. We are a select group of people here to save the planet from the deviants and grow the population. Let's have a disabled. Uh, genetic, <laughs> gen, genetically, literally built. They're supposed well, to be disabled. Like I said last human. night was the really fact help that out. All and these we'll give them the superpower beat will be super speed so they can fuck off as far away from us as possible and not hear shit. Yeah. And, and they're supposed to be, I mean, an allegory for angels, and they did some of the, but like, yeah, they're supposed to be genetically engineered like super people. So let's have one have like a, a couple of dad bods. We have a couple of dad bods. Yeah. We have a deaf person. It's it's Lauren Ridloff. I, Ridloff, I think she had the best performance uh, in the movie. Uh, and then we had uh, yeah, one guy that middle just mumbles women, every line. which is fine, I guess. Like uh, Salma Hayek is not in the fucking movie. She's nope. just not. You saw everything in two the trailer. Minutes. She's in yeah. the movie for two minutes. Yep. Same wow. thing with Angelina Jolie. She's like barely Which in the movie. Which is a shame because she's got rocking tits. And they cover them up with <laughs> their <laughs> covered up the costume. Movie. Th those costumes. I know. It's like, it's like, you know how all the women have got like tiny tits? And then Salma Hayek's in their costume just rocking them. The just costumer like was just like, how do I them. cover these up? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they just so couldn't. many layers. <laughs> they have their own like gravity system. I mean, that's like <laughs> Yeah, they have their own like like mailing address. She's yeah. like 80% right tit. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, what, that's why she's barely in it. Look like we can't 50 have 50 years old. Movie. Those things are defying looks... gravity. Let's be real. Uh go look at her Instagram. Yeah, she looks good for her age. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, not yeah. bad. And... She just looks good. Yeah, and and that like yeah, she's uh, always. I'd love good. to go out for a meal with her. I mean, we we'll need to bring a translator and shit, but I'd love to go out for a meal with her. You lovely. don't need to understand. This, this need to understand is without a doubt like the culmination of everything we've been talking about over the last three years. We said, hey, Marvel's going to be going in this direction. This all new, all different stuff that they did in the comics three or four years ago was just to lay the ground for what they can do in the movies. You want to know why? Because I heard David Gabriel say it to my fucking face at a retailer summit uh, about. God, over 10 years ago, 11 years ago, that that was after they bought Marvel, their whole plan was to sync <clears throat> the comics with the movies to where the characters will. And they saw what they've done in the Eternals. They've changed their looks. Uh, this is something they've been planning for a long, 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 long time. Now, as far as going this woke, I don't know. I think it's pretty recent, but this is it, their worst film by by far. It's their it's woke. It's garbage. The dialogue is terrible. The CGI is worse. Worst costumes I've ever seen. If you saw the pictures of them, it doesn't do it justice. When you see them on the screen, they're worse. If you can see them, because this film is shot so dark. Think The Long Night <laughs> so of Game dark. of Thrones, except with your fucking eyes <laughs> closed. The whole middle closed. action scene yeah. in the dark. Like, in the early, early morning, you can't see anything that's going on. All of the creatures are gray. Everything is gray. Their costumes are gray, and you can't see anything. It's like, what is going on? All of the fight scenes were boring. All of the dialogue scenes were boring. All the death scenes were boring. Yep. 
that's the worst part of the movie. It's not even the woke stuff. I, you know, it's stupid, but that's not even the worst part for me. The worst part for me is that it was just so mind-numbingly boring. The worst part was the woke stuff well, for me at the end when when I, it, I, when when fucking Icarus turns bad. Fire, sorry, spoilers. Uh, and it was like I knew it. I knew it in the first two minutes of the film. I'm like, oh, he's the bad guy. He's the bad guy. The way he he's the bad down. guy. He's the bad guy. We're still introducing characters. An uh, hour forty five fucking minutes in the film. I he's checked the my bad watch guy. three four times hey, during the movie. I was like, I don't have a watch, and I was checking my fucking watch. I was going. I'm looking at my wrist. Like, I'm trying to manifest a watch. I'm like, come on. If we're talking about the marketing, because we know the marketing is probably the wokest we've seen for any movie in recent memory, which says a lot. But compared to the marketing woke level. How was the wokeness in the movie? Pretty if you're much, using I'm fucking lined up yeah. perfectly, yeah. that bad. Yep, it was Holy preachy. Shit. There was a, they they always go back in time and show whenever like white people did bad things. So the conquistadors killing the Mayan people. Yep. Or Very whenever they that. whenever we bombed uh, Japan with Hiroshima. Like they go they show that, but they don't ever show anything else other than that. They just go specifically yeah, to they those. Don't show, go, like, the killing- people are so evil they kill each other. Yeah. Uh, but it uh, you, always you know happens what? to be white people. Why not show the killing fields of Pol Pot? Because uh, uh, they agree Japan, with him. That's why. Oh, but that did. doesn't have technology involved. That's why. Wow. Uh, uh, that's gun. crazy. Uh, and, and, but damn it. It, it was, uh, yeah, they had to show Hiroshima. Uh, and yeah. Icarus, was the, them. Icarus was the bad guy. Uh, <laughs> no, what was funny about that part is that as as woke as the film is, you'd think that you they'd have the black guy be involved in. Oh, oh, oh I invented the tiki torches they used at Charlottesville. Oh, no. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> no, that was great. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it was, wasn't it like him that he invented the like the no, nuclear he, he bomb didn't or the invent atom bomb it. or something. It, it was just the fact that it, just, it was based off of his inspiration of what yeah technology he helped gave create humanity. technology yeah, yeah. Okay. so he they, he wasn't directly responsible but he's what res- responsible why are humans for giving special? humanity technology why are humans special if it was Dude. all the eternals they the eternals were the ones that like made all the technology possible tony stark fuck him he didn't really invent all that shit it was all just because the yeah, eternals that was the stuff that really pissed him. me off the most was yeah, like, don't well, go back in the past and meddle with shit well, when, we, so get, we, when we get uh, no, no, but, but, no 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 but you don't get it you don't get it you don't get it Kang did it. Yeah, that's the other. Ah, Kang that's right. did it. Was Kang co- like controlling the Celestials and the Eternals? Well, this was going back in time, Deviants. and Kang was controlling everything. Remember? Yep. yep. Everything that was yep. written is Kang. So was Kang a human. Was, was doing all the Celestials, all the Eternals, all the worlds, everything. The, so the, the way the power Kang. structure, you're right. The way so the power stupid. structure is set up in the MCU is Kang is more powerful than the fucking Eternal that was. And he's celestial. just a human who was the smart. Celestial. And he was yes. just a human who was smart. Uh, it's that's it, they've they, they've lost their way. Right. They've completely it's lost so their bad. way. And it's too bad. And they've blown like their wad too. like you bring glass Galactus in now. It's like. He's not going to be as badass as a celestial, and we got to see a celestial, and that was cool, you know. Also, it sounds like people are going to be confused. I mean, I'm already, you know, kind of just in this like external thing. Like, I have no idea what the hell is even going on, and if this is the direction they're going to go, and people ask the question, <gasps> "Wait, how can a human somehow have control over celestial beings?" This that, that, that doesn't make any sense because he controls time and space, I guess. Because he was super what? smart. He's quirky, though. He's a fun guy. <laughs> yeah. He's quirky and funny. He controls time and space. So, he, yeah, went so to, he went to like, clown school. So <laughs> Kang's from like the 26th or 27th century or some shit, right? So he just, he just has advanced technology he's able to utilize to do that effectively, if I'm if I'm understanding right. Yes. Kang. Yes. Mm-hmm. He is a descent. Well, it depends on which Kang we're talking about. Uh, which, right. Who is that the black guy is clearly Kang. a descendant of Reed Richards uh, yeah, from the MCU. Obviously, he's black. a descent. Well, which tells you... Uh, what what direction they're going in in the fant- with the Fantastic Four? So uh, yes, he is a descendant of Reed Richards, uh, and therefore he's super smart. But I mean, a super intelligent being that basically created the universe. Uh, Kang is smarter than that. Uh, okay, uh, but but what also? I mean, there's like just a bunch of. Ew. It, it was oh, there's all, definitely a bunch of ew. there's a bunch it was <laughs> no. it was uh it was all exhibition it was all fucking exp- it just 
nothing really happened till the third act. It was just a build up to a really dead third act. The colors were muted, yeah. and like this is a Jack Kirby adaptation. And and if you would have had had somebody, you brought somebody in who like knew who J- Jack Kirby was, and and maybe it, it, you could have done something fun. But uh, if we go back in time a little bit, the reason we got this movie was uh, it was a reaction to what DC did. DC hired Ava Duvarnish or whatever her name is. And, um, she was oh, going to yeah. do a new gods movie, and then Ava all of a sudden, which, Marvel which comes up. Uh, Marvel it's comes Ava up. <laughs> Didn't that get canceled or something? It, got, it went away. Yes, it, yeah. did. it actually. So it actually. Yeah. She confirmed. She was like really salty about an interview. She confirmed that because of them coming out with Zack Snyder's Justice League with Dark Side and everything, that they fucking nixed it. Good. Which, which was sense. probably she's already shown that she can't handle a, a, a film, let alone a film with a lot of money. If you who's watched uh, mm-hmm. Wrinkle in Time, she can't. She's not, she is a talentless <laughs> hack. I don't need is. a yeah. fourth year old oh, man. Oh, no one's no one watching Wrinkle in Time. I am thirty three years it's old, not sir. It's not made for sir. you, sir. It's not made for you. Uh, Odin, Odin, we're here. Yeah. We do not spread fake news. You said if you watched A Wrinkle in Time. No one watched The Wrinkle in Time. <laughs> and, and, and that was the point. Including the people And that was the point. Apparently Brie Larson did. Yeah. It, it wasn't oh made goodness. for the majority of us Anybody. on this panel, supposedly. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, that's, what I, that's what I was told. So, uh, Jay, you saw the movie. Uh, you had to watch it over, what, the two-day period, you said? Yeah, I just couldn't get through it in one sitting. Yeah. It was not happening. God, imagine being stuck in a theater and watching it. So what are, your, what are your overall <laughs> thoughts? Yeah, sure. That's where I was. Oh, it's just it's just so bad. It's yeah. <laughs> the writing is 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 the most like in in all Marvel films. There's going to be some inconsistencies or like some spotty writing here here and there and. They've had their share of bad movies. Like they had Black Panther, which was which was spotty. It wasn't terrible, but it was spotty. And then Captain Marvel was shit. And this is just completely one hundred percent terrible. It, it's not good. even if it wasn't attached to Marvel, it it would be shit. Just total mm. garbage. I don't know what the hell they were doing. Like, but it, the I figured out because while I was watching it, I was wondering why the movie was so drab looking and so boring. And I and I went to the director's IMDb and like lo and behold she fucking directed Nomadland. <laughs> uh, <wait. laughs> right, so they so it's one it's one of those situations where like they find a director who did who either won an Oscar for some bullshit and they hire them for their for their movies and they don't care if they fit the genre mm. or they they've done any <laughs> like anything similar. Like any kind of sci-fi action stuff, they just hire anyone who yeah. has a reputation. They don't. They really don't care. <laughs> they don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, it's casting. And if it's true about them, you know, kind of basically taking on all of the action sequences and everything, that's why they just they don't work because they they they're clashing of styles. Because I actually, you know, personally, I like Nomadland. I, I personally like that film, but. Thinking of that movie in an MCU action film does not work. That, no. that, that again, there's just no way that and, that's going to match up. And so they basically built Odin, this film to fail by bringing her Odin, in. Odin, Nomadland. Yeah. I watched 45 minutes of it. Okay, and it and it's yeah. like pretty, and it's not hard filmmaking, dude. It's let's go to yeah. the beautiful parts of the Southwest and fucking mm-hmm. set a camera down. Okay, uh, yeah. pretty much. It, that's not difficult. Like this is difficult filmmaking, and and what what Jay said, it's casting. They cast directors now, like. Oh, DC mm-hmm. got their mm-hmm. black female director to do a Jack mm-hmm. Kirby project. We're going to get an Asian female director to do a Jack Kirby yeah. project because we're yeah. so original. And like you said, it doesn't matter if they fit it or not. And then you yeah. get shit. That's that's what yeah, it's, the sa- it's the same situation with uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. They hired a director <laughs> who won an Oscar for this movie that has nothing uh, to fucking do right. with comic book movies or like action films. Yeah, True. It, you would think they'd at least do a little more research to be like, hey, has uh, has this chick really pissed off China that would prevent it from being released in China? Uh, <laughs> well, let's just fucking hire her anyway. Ah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. This movie has an 86% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, <laughs> which yeah. matches the very authentic. The Rise of very. Skywalker, another transcendent film. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. And it has the third best Thursday during the pandemic. The third best Thursday opening during the (laughs) pandemic. You guys seem to be spreading hate clicks right now. I'm really disappointed. 
<laughs> I don't understand where this you mean, coming from. It it's a fantastic film. And even though there's been thousands upon thousands of reviews, it has not changed at all from 86%. That, is, that consist- is hilarious. That is consistency, it's, folks. It's mm. very exactly consistent. what we saw mm. with Rise of Skywalker. Sounds like fortification to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, have, you, have you read it's the reviews? one of those Fs, just like the... <laughs> <laughs> have you read any of the audience reviews? Uh, yeah. Stunning and Brave. Yeah. But, well, I mean, I think Ryan had a great idea uh, about audience reviews. Why don't you tell him about the audience reviews articles we're going to throw up on geeksandgamers.com. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We always see it review bombing get uh, portrayed in a certain direction, but we saw that there's actually far more positive review bombs before this movie came out, giving Marvel's a 10 out of 10, or Eternal's a 10 out of 10. So I think we need an article on I know, it dropped even lower. Holy shit. All right, uh, fucking wow. fine. Yeah, it dropped lower, so all right. For a comparison, uh, Metacritic has it at a 6.3 on the audience scale, which sounds a bit more fair, but probably yeah, still MDB's a little too high. Yeah, at like 6.9. Yeah. Is it, uh, what's what's Metacritic at? 6.3. 6.3. Yeah, out of 276 80, ratings. 86, and we're not going nowhere. Nowhere. Oh, that's, it. yeah, it, it's uh, it's on, it's on, um, what is it, Rise of Skywalker mode right now. Yeah, so, it is. They, mm-hmm. they flipped the switch on. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh-oh, flip. Uh, is it just like is it like the YouTube bot where the YouTube bot bans you for this like specific thing? So now they have it like for the wokest movies, it locks it in at eighty six percent. Like it's just a bot. Because I don't know if y'all were on it the other day, but it was having an issue where it was like this site is under maintenance. So it was pretty clear to me that they were prepping for something. And hey, looks like, like we found what that something like deja was. Deja vu in the Matrix. Anytime you see something <laughs> yeah. like it, oh, we're having an issue, having to fix it. Oh, it's a glitch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do, are they all just wearing glorified wetsuits? Is that just yeah. the cut? For the most part, oh. yeah. It's, it's shitty Power Rangers. Ooh, what's the all audience score? Yeah, it's it's Whole Foods Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Gluten-free Power Rangers. <laughs> okay, I, I love this review. It says, I love Eternals. This movie has a manga plot structure. No, it doesn't. Yeah, most <laughs> critics are lost in the ratings of this movie. Eternals is very good. Go see it. Nobody, nobody talks nobody, like that. Nobody talks like that. Nobody well, fucking so reviews a movie Can't like that. Can't wait for next. Yeah. There was a lot of that. When there was we a lot the reviews. of that. Yeah, there was a lot of that shit I saw last night. Uh, uh, this movie is the shit. Marvel knows how to make a great movie. It kept me in suspense. <laughs> like, this is really <laughs> happening. Great movie. Go see it. Five stars from Yvette wow. K. Yeah, I was suspended Yvette. every shot. Wow. Wink emoji, three, wink emoji. <laughs> Hey, can you uh, can you click on Yvette K real quick? Yeah. To see if they review anything else. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. No, no icons either. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, they're no verified. Icon. Verified. So yeah, verified. Well, yeah. That just means bet, that yeah. the review yeah, is verified, verified. That they had a ticket. That the review yeah. is verified. That yeah. either they yeah that they proved that they bought it through Fandango or AMC or, or, or Disney bought. put in the fake review, and uh, they, yeah. it's a verified <laughs> Disney fake review. Like yeah. the Eternals was a great movie, well directed. The big name actors did not out at the act did not. Well, maybe this is real. Actors did not out <laughs> at the actors. Uh, I love the production team. Blended our history and mythology in the MCU. Five stars from Christian. Five stars. Love the whole thing from Tanya F. Uh, <laughs> love, the st- whole- love the story. <laughs> love the whole is thing. She, is she talking about cock? <laughs> Maybe. This the the whole thing. You should be on OnlyFans, darling. You're on the wrong side. Uh, I put the, the whole, whole thing. I put Bro, the whole love, thing in my mouth. <laughs> I, I love Ralph's review. Ralph says, could have waited to see it on HBO. <laughs> <laughs> the one, one above it says, love the story, characters, and pace of the movie. Jack Kirby would be proud. No, you fucking wouldn't. Okay, no. wait a minute. Could have, <laughs> could, have waited to, this fucking movie. could have waited to see it on HBO. I've seen better Marvile movies. Marvile, Marvile yeah. movies. Marvile. Yes. Oh That's my what she called them. Marvile. God. Uh, yes. Charity S. This might be real because it's long. So it's like yeah, I really ladies. enjoyed this. It's hard to fit so much history and so many characters, plus massive universes on Earth's history into a single movie. I mean, this was seriously <laughs> ambitious movie. I cringed at a couple parts. Just uh, uh, just <laughs> missed Christ, for me. And some areas are supposed. Uh, 
uh, supposed to be there's some sp- supposed some to be some supposed intimacy or supposed intimacy didn't work but overall it was really good not sure looked- why critics have or such she an issue to the fact there was zero chemistry six- between any of the characters zero at all. chemistry that <laughs> my, sex scene was so painful my 16 oh, yeah. year olds oh thankfully were shot That's so what fucking Gemma chen said yeah <laughs> And, she and, looked bored, dude. She looked fucking bored in that sex scene. She looked bored in the whole fucking I movie. Was fucking they, bored they during all that sex bored. scene. <laughs> we all were ass. <laughs> and and Gemma were. Chen's a very nice looking lady. She, she is and, massively hot. Hey, yes. During that sex scene, I was uh, showing more emotion on my face than she was <laughs> while she was getting fucked. <laughs> While I was watching I love it, you. Uh, she's gonna be really hard to give an orgasm. To uh, that, my sixteen-year-old like. son, who doesn't even care about superhero movies, well, that is your that sounds like a parenting problem to me. Yeah, and went and spent some time with me. Really enjoyed it. Uh, ignore, ignore the professionals and make up your mo- sure. Absolutely, I agree with that. Okay. Ignore the professionals. That's uh, a great review, <laughs> by the way. Characters were original, complex, and engaging. Loved Icarus, Druid, Druid. And Makari, yeah. yes, and thought-provoking and moving. Gorgeous. Thought-provoking. Uh, the only thoughts mm. it provoked were, do I walk out of this movie? Does this become the first superhero movie I ever walk out of? Because I seriously thought about it. I was like, I got to prep for a show. This is dumb. Uh, and it's like... Yeah. A million other things I could be doing other than watching this shitty movie. Like the DVD- I literally I asked a guy next sitting next to me after the movie ended. I was like, what did you think? And I don't know this guy. He was like, well, it was pretty boring for the first three hours. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I like all Marvel movies. Five stars from Greg. (laughs) (laughs) Greg is compromised. I think the the Marvel stands are coming out and review bombing this a little bit. A little uh, bit, a little bit. There's definitely some going on at Metacritic. Not by amazing. Great. For sure. No, 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 no. <laughs> you probably only happens in the negative one. sense. Uh, what's going on on Metacritic? I'm, I'm sharing my screen right now. There's three that just make it, are making me uh, just so happy. Just so happy. All right. So first off, this review contains spoilers. Click to expand. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Wow. That wow. that's that there's more to that than there is there. And then <laughs> ah <laughs> 35 of 39 found this helpful. <laughs> what? 35 of 39. Good, 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 good. 35 of 39 found oh this God, helpful. Oh my god, I Oh my god, I refreshed and there's one review that says Google. And it was but there's what there's a person on there called Google. And it just says it was a great movie. Uh, emoji, 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 emoji. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is just this movie is perfection. I've Rob not seen the superhero movie of this quality since The Dark Knight. Oh, get the fuck oh, out of here! Wow. <laughs> get, get the literal fuck out of here! Wow! This <laughs> movie in emojis. <laughs> That's Scott wow. Mendelson right there. Look at this! Look at this! What is this? What? what is this? In another what is this language. Like this I can't is see it. To- these are totally some bots. Sorry, Come this on. is yeah, this says L R R three H F P like oh, literally just letters. I hear you, brother. Somebody was I hear you, brother. Pounding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, and yeah, eight out of eight found this helpful. It's Biden. Yo, what's up, critical wow. drinker? What? So, drinker in the chat. Yeah. What's up, hey. yeah. What's up drinker? drinker? That's what's going on. <laughs> what's up, drinker? <laughs> Did you see it, drinker? Did you subject yourself to this? Oh, movie? I saw it. Yes, I did. It was very bad. What the fuck was that? I was trying was to do his voice. Go away now. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, that was was that your New Zealand voice? Yes, yeah, I, I, I was watching. I was watching a a bomb. Stop fucking film. Scottish. That's Scottish. I'm Scottish. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Go character. away now. Be yes, go away. away. It'll be go fine now. Go away now. Yeah, so they they are. Uh, go yeah, away now. it's just too long. Yeah, must see. Yeah, somebody at the meetup was like, "Hey, Ryan, do you know is Drinker is he English, Scottish, or Irish?" I'm like, <laughs> I, "I don't." I'm like, "I don't fucking know." They're like, "What? You never asked him?" He's it's Scottish. Like, what, what the fuck would I ask him that? If I'm gonna <laughs> ask Drinker, I'm gonna be like, that. "Why is internal so fucking terrible?" I'm not gonna yeah, be like, you're not like what little him. what little irrelevant island are you from? Whole island. Those are fun words. Damn. God, Ryan, the bigotry, Shout man. Fuck. As he wasn't talking <laughs> about your island of New Zealand, okay? But it's, so it's, you know, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We good, we good. Very far away. <laughs> uh, um, I, I flew away. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah. That I, intro was so funny with Alec Baldwin. Oh my god. <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. That so intro good. was fucking hilarious. That was Hello, brilliant. dog. Just to clarify, <laughs> shooting people is not funny. Alec Baldwin shooting people is hilarious. Of course. Okay? Of course. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yes. It's all about situation, <laughs> context. Oh. Yeah, Google. She was yeah. my friend. It was a great movie. Thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs up. 100, 100, 100, 100. Oh my God. Heart eyes, heart eyes, heart eyes, heart eyes. 100. <laughs> smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Can you share face. that? Okay, so, hey, someone, in the, someone in the chat just said, is that this film was so bad, Critical Drinker walked out sober. Go put him right up. That is horrendous. That is horrendous. Uh, <laughs> that, is, that is a disgrace. Sorry, I don't know who said that. It came back so fast. That Dude, was good. When 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 it's Harry Styles, right? The guy who played Star Fox at the end. Like that's mm -hmm. when oh, that's your Jesus big reveal. Christ. Uh well. Yeah. It, it, did you stay until all the way to the end after the credits? Uh, I did. That, yeah, that, the again, black the Black Knight reveal. Yeah, yeah, the black This is again reveal. It's not much of a reveal though. Yeah, yeah. no, he's we knew his name, so we knew he was gonna be the Black Knight. Yeah. But do you know who the guy behind him was? Blade. Is that who that was? Yeah. It's Blade. Hmm. Wow! But they well, again, this movie film. is going to be what the the second fucking Marvel movie uh, after Venom that will probably just be remembered for its post credit scene. You know what I mean? Like that that that's the, the Harry, only thing. Oh, man. That Harry Styles thing was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. Like his acting that, was that shitty. Leaked like four weeks ago. <sighs> yeah, like it leaked a while back. So, With Harry yeah, Styles like, is in the movie. Yeah, I didn't know how the scene it's was going to play out, and when I saw the scene play out, it was like. Oh, this is terrible. Was he in a dress? The, the CG for Pip was I wish. awful. It was fucking awful. It was awful. terrible. And it would have been less embarrassing if he was in that fucking dress that he was prancing about in the other day. Um, yeah. So you know that uh, that semi CRT stuff that I've been talking about, those the the paper that was passed around from the think tank to mm. basically tell you how to write in Hollywood and you can't like you can't have um, mm -hmm. men mentoring women anymore. It, like uh, uh, or, or a white male character has to be either uh, led or mentored by a person of color or a female from now on. And this is the shit's real. Sorry, but it's real. And it's obvious uh, Marvel's been doing it now for like four years. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see the Black Knight mentored by Blade, uh, which is just weird. In the But uh, I hope you all noticed in this movie that they had uh, three leaders. OK, so they had uh, Ajax. Who was a leader, but she was dead for most of the movie and not in the fucking movie. And you saw her all in the trailer. And then Cersei was her appointed leader until things got in, you know, until things got a little dicey. And then all of a sudden they made Icarus the leader. And uh, well, well, dude, 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 you you forget something. When Ajax is alive in a in a throwback scene, yep, and she's talking to Icarus. Uh, Icarus is, is trying to assert his opinion, just to yep. his opinion, mm -hmm. and she says to him, "Know your role." Yes. Know your role. Yeah. Know yeah. your place. She slaps. They, they, they slaps made... him down and says, "Know your role." No. Oh. And then let's oh. then wow. let's Druig walk away, mind controlling people. Yep. Because mm -hmm. he's a good so, guy. My question is, when is the Rock going to sue them for copyright infringement? Know um, your role and shut your mouth. Your, that is a rock your, phrase. There, there you go. How many mm -hmm. phrases? Well, but she actually didn't say know your role. She said uh, know your place. Know your uh, place. Yeah, know your place. Worse. That's even worse. And, That's but, like, yeah, get down on the ground, it was, dog. it was such an obvious yeah. scene to put to just put Icarus down, right? And then, and then when shit went sideways, all of a sudden they're like, hey, boss, and they're going to him as the leader when mm -hmm. he betrays everybody and becomes the obvious bad guy in this. And the deviants were barely in it. And, they yeah, they look like little rope cable monsters or something yeah it looks so weird really bad and then yeah. they try to like make one of them more stronger and then he becomes an actual person ish thing and they have some beef between him and angelina jolie and i couldn't give a fuck it, i could not be fucked fucking, to care about any waste and it was absolutely <laughs> pointless in the end who gives a shit? Yeah, so yeah. The, the planet they're from doesn't exist, and they did change a bunch of the actual Marvel lore to fit. Uh, the allegory of this film is basically, you know, the whole uh, propping up bad systems or unjust systems. Uh, so we're basically saying no oh, to God. Oh, is that what they were getting at? It's That's time what they were to break the cycle. <laughs> 
I'll be honest with you. I, I my my complete and utter reaction to this movie is apathy. I, I simply just don't give a shit. I am right there, one hundred percent. I yeah. couldn't. I didn't pick up on any of the like symbolism or none I, of that. Yeah, I, I was didn't just either. So I simply just did not literal care. Mind so I'm there I was, to do. I was. I was the the only thing that really jumped out at me uh, as, as being woke was the. All the minority characters pounding on the white guy. Yeah, <laughs> at yeah. the end, which was pretty fucking obvious. Do you know how good this feels? What, what was that? Well, no, because the, 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 um, fucking the uh, the black gay guy. I don't remember his name, and that's what I'm going to call him. Uh, that's, Fastos. He, Fastos. Fa- yeah, fa- Fastos. Um, he he basically says to him, uh, uh, "I've been wanting to clip your your wings for years." It's like yeah. there was like absolutely no nothing between those two characters. Why? There no. was no beef. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. all of a sudden, it comics. Just pops up. That's why it was woke. That there was no <laughs> fucking context for that. No it was only yeah, supposed, was... it was only there to make that point, and it wasn't that's, about those that's two characters. What I said last night yeah, too. it was about yeah. the whole symbol. It, the whole thing was symbolism. Is anybody uh, surprised that they ban the movie in Saudi Arabia whenever they have no. the two gay characters, one of them guessing. being Arabian? Then the next scene, they go to Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> like what do you? Yeah. Do you know what? I, very, like, it's you like, know, I it's said, like I was like, yes. Making out more sand. Iraq. Yeah, yeah, yeah we I know. need more sand than this fucking <laughs> fucking, fucking film. I, I I have a question about it. it would, what did they do with the rest of the Marvel universe? Like, they did did they do anything in this movie that put everything else in a different light? Did they destroy any other like characters? You know, Iron Man, Captain America. Did they mention those guys or what? Yes. They, they, oh yeah, they mentioned Lightly. they mentioned uh, Captain uh, Rogers. Captain, Captain Rogers. Rogers. Not Captain America. Captain yeah. Rogers. Yeah. The other thing too, which I thought was funny, was that the fact that they made the uh, Black Death Lady fast, which I thought was kind of racist. Well, um, and, and what, what I found sense. very weird is hey. that they reference Superman and Batman in the film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is this? It, so is DC Comics a, a real thing in the MCU? So DC Comics oh. is their superheroes in their world. I Wait, guess. they seriously? So, yeah, they, they do. They, yeah. do. they also they had a Star Wars Superman Superman. while also having a character whose powers essentially are Superman. Well, the, there's a kid that goes up to Icarus and says, "You're Superman." Superman. I yeah. saw you on TV. You're Superman. You were flying up in London with your cape, and Icarus uh, is just says, MCU DC you crossover confirmed. Oh, no, and the one guy he has a he has a it chauffeur. Because you're says, referencing like, better characters. Mm. Yeah, um, and it, by the way, it was it was Clark Kent because they said Superman, not gay Superman that fingers a, a pink head. And he does say, should we, should, we, should, we, should we call you Clark Kent now? Yeah. They, so it, they, they did specify. say that. I'm surprised they, they could get away with that. Uh, yeah, they it's very confusing well, in my head. In yeah, all fairness, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's CW reference Marvel? Marvel all the time. <laughs> is it worse than Captain Marvel? It's as I'm bad. I never yes. watched that movie. It's <sighs> yeah, just as bad. I can confidently say yes. But Captain okay. Marvel had a cat. <laughs> it's the thing, is, shit. the thing is, though, with the film, it was long. There's lots of characters, and they never interlinked shit. They literally just went, "We're going to pick up one character. Now we're going to pick up another character. Now we're going to pick up another character." And so things at the end, like when comics said, where he says, "I've been waiting to clip your wings, Icarus, for years." Why? Yeah, there was exactly. there was, was no beef between the characters. There was That's there was point. nothing. They showed no aggravation when they left. You know, when they split back in time and they went their own ways, it was very amicable. And if if anything, yeah. it was Drug who was the one who was a fucking bitch. Yes, uh, and had a bit of a Marty <laughs> fit. Well, everyone else was just like. You know, yeah, okay, let's go our own way. The, and, the other and thing, too, said. I noticed, which was kind of funny, for a bunch of manufactured humans, why do they look like various ethnic groups of people on Earth? That, just, uh-huh. that makes no sense. Because go fuck yourself. That's why I come in. Yeah, yeah. And they talk Racist. in modern, they talk in a very modern language, too. And like, they, modern they were in accents. five, they mm-hmm. were in 575 Babylon and like talking like, <laughs> like I know. Yeah. Yeah. Average asshole in, in 2021. They're like, like, and the, the fact that they had British and Irish yeah. accents didn't make any fucking sense either. It's because of Kang or Kong. Hashtag or save Babylon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag these deviants are so bad. Right. Hashtag <laughs> shoot me. Cancel in the deviants. Face. Uh, your sarcasm isn't going to save the universe, and I don't know. Did they say that five years, five thousand yes, years did. ago? And they invented sign language mm-hmm. somehow, absolutely, seven thousand yeah. years ago, before mm-hmm. people were really, I don't know, communicating or writing or anything that well. Uh, yeah, it was overall. I would mm, worse than Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel did 
retcon damage to the Marvel Universe that's unforgivable, like Nick Fury's eye being scratched out by a fucking cat. And yeah, that's uh, the, Avengers the Avengers be- name. I, Avengers I would rather name. watch Captain Marvel because at least I can make fun of that movie. Uh, you this can make movie, fun I, of this. I just yeah. don't give a shit about. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can, no, I can make fun of this because the, the dialogue is so fucking bad and obvious and on the nose. I mean, to the point where Icarus does fly into the fucking well, sun at the end. Like, I, Yeah, like, I know. That was dumb. I went into the movie. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, Sorry. I went into I, the movie hoping it would be disagree. so bad. And killing like, himself. Like fan four stick. I was hoping for a fan four stick. But it wasn't. It was just so in the yeah, middle. I, I agree, Garrett. It was That's so what I was boring. Hoping I was hoping for like something that I could really have fun making fun of. But this, I can't even make fun of this movie. It's so exactly. bad. Exactly. That's my problem. Do you the- like the way that um, when uh, Gemma Cheng Chen's uh, well, Jon Snow, when Jon Snow finds out that she's an Eternal, uh, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love just, everybody's there's reaction. Nothing, there was too. nothing there at all. It's just like, so what? What do you do? <laughs> There's well, monsters, we, we kind of like, save the world from deviants. And, you know, Nobody cares. cares. I but found green. out my family history has a complication. <laughs> oh. Yeah, can we talk about the post credit <laughs> scene? Like, oh my god. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah. Who gives I, a fuck? legit both post scenes. I did <laughs> no, not give no, a this shit. Is, this is how bad it's gotten. He's having a conversation with uh, Cersei, Cersei, Kit Harrington's uh, the black uh, Black Knight, and and that's how they introduce the Black Knight. Like just during this conversation, he goes, "Oh, yeah, my family history has this complication. Uh, I'm basically a superhero uh, because the script needs me to be a superhero now. It's so yeah. fucking forced and contrived and terrible." Uh, and then you know they show the uh, the the black knight blade at the end uh and that's it you know and I, I guess you, i didn't guess that was blade i didn't i i figured uh it wasn't a white guy that was about it but it does i, th- I, I thought it was nick fury but I, I, no yeah. it's blade it's blade yeah it uh, sound like nick fury. the the pro- producer or director's confirmed it oh okay. is that what yeah. that was chloe uh, Shaw, i believe had it, had yeah but it. gary what about in london when the deviant appears in london and the, the by the bridge and Gemma chang and sprite just jump up the uh, sides yep. up to the bridge, and then Kit Harrington can't even jump up the first thing, and it's like I'll take the steps. Yep, because he, he, he's just a feeble man. He's the Manzel in distress. Mm. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, yeah, whereas it, a fifteen-year-old girl can eternally a fifteen-year-old girl, which I guess could have been a, a decent storyline, but it wasn't. There, there, there was nothing decent. Uh, there's nothing you can walk away like from this film like liking. There's just zero. Uh, that, in my opinion, I like. No, I, I have. I, I liked Salma Hayek's big fat titties. Yeah, but you could. You could <laughs> I could watch from dusk till dawn. You know that. That's, oh, yeah, there you true. go. Desper- uh, de- dude, desperado. 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 Or desperado. Desperado. Or desperado. Desperado. Hot yeah. as desperado. fucking desperado. Bro, that's. Desperado. A- it's as his way of saying he liked the female representation uh, <laughs> in the movie. So diversity, but like, big diversity. No, I'm legit thinking it was. The, oh God, there's got to be something nice I can say. Um, if, if there, uh, it, it, there's like bad films that I'll I'll just get some enjoyment out of watching, even if it's just you know like normal terrible, which I would take right now. But this is this is Marvel, so this is this film cost two hundred million dollars to make. So it costs the same as Wonder Woman. It costs uh, more than Dune. This film costs more Jeez. to make what? than Dune. Oh, my God. Dune. Significantly more. Yep. About $35 million more, right? Wow. Oh, yep. Wow. Yeah, Dune was I, around I Dune 165 again, two, I, Yeah, I saw it two days ago again for the second time. And then seeing the Eternals, it's just like, oh, man, this is really unfair. It's yeah. embarrassing, right? This film it's, needs to yeah. make 500, 500 million to break even worldwide. Um... It's a possibility. And I it's, think there's a possibility. It's, uh, it's yeah. pacing at a level that likely will get it closer to like a Black Widow end, which was around 375 oh. million worldwide, oh. which would be a massive loss. Well, Black I'm just Widow. Gonna, I'm, gonna go out, I'm gonna go out on a limb to say if this movie loses money, I'm gonna make a lot of fucking videos <laughs> on it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make a lot of videos on it, even if it fucking makes yeah. a oh, dollar yeah. like Shang Chi did. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, yeah, there's, so one, there's, one, there's one thing I need to mention. There's one thing I need to mention about Eternals before before it. Cause I just need to get it out. Do there's it. this one scene with the deaf chick. Uh, mm. Like all the Eternals are on this beach fighting. You know, it's the third act. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, fight scene. It like and uh, it's it's yes, yeah, it's, it's the it's the Asian chick and the deaf chick and uh, the Irish psycho. <laughs> <laughs> and then Icarus uh, attacks the Irish psycho in the 
<laughs> and the deaf chick sees it and she yells out in agony at it and it's the funniest <laughs> shit <laughs> oh no i had totally that? forgotten about that yeah yeah, yeah that's I, so I, bad i was, quite, I was actually quite shocked it, that they did that deaf people talking is always funny so that, that that's amazing uh, that they just put Brian. that in the movie right there. Uh, why wouldn't you just sign out uh, you know like sign yeah a sign screen <laughs> sign us the only thing that was I, I thought was a little more funny was uh when gilgamesh died i laughed when he died yeah. <laughs> Uh, cause I, uh, because oh, uh, Angelina Jolie's reaction was just as bad as the death, as the death woman's act. <laughs> she had, no, she gave it's no like, shit. Ah, whatever she was doing, I was like, I started laughing in the looked, theater. She didn't do anything. She was just like, <laughs> well, it's because it was plank of wood. The movie. But it was like, <laughs> the thing was the exception of two characters, all of them acted like fucking planks of wood. Right. Mm. So we had a, we, the representation in this movie. Right. Can we just can we just play this game for a second? We had um, a Mexican Salma Hayek leader. We had Asian Gemma Chen, second leader. We had uh, white male, straight male, uh, Icarus. Yeah. Uh, we had, I think it was, they just said that he's non-binary. Drog was non-binary. Did they ever say that in the movie? No, no, they, said movie, like no. The... they said it in the, 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 in the blurb. We had disabled black... I, I thought it was Speedster. Dollar Store Ezra Miller. Macari. Uh, Dollar Store Ezra Miller will work. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. We had mentally ill white woman. Karen. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we had we had Karen. <laughs> PTSD. Then we had um, Asian Korean. Sorry. We had Korean Gilgamesh for some reason. Which I thought uh, was funny as hell that they didn't make a Middle Eastern. But yeah, whatever. yeah. Gay, angry black man that just shouted his lines. And was gay, and was gay, and, and uh, black, and black, and <laughs> fit girl, fifteen year old white girl. Did you just say there was a black gay character that was black in, and in gay? Ten people, but, isn't it? Well, and yeah. You forgot, but you forgot about also, uh, Kumail. Also you forgot about Kumail Nujab. Oh, sorry, we had Pakistani Indian man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was also gay, right? Indian, I know. Indian, Indian. No, he's he's not gay. Oh, I don't no, know. Oh, I thought he was. I thought that was. No, I thought he he's was, bi. but he's not. Baseline, baseline by. Now he hangs around. He's been hanging around with a dude though for fifty years, and he's been <laughs> married. True. So I mean, make of it yeah. what you will. Maybe they're just friends, you know. That was the only good character though. The, the I was going to say guy. that. And then I the did like that guy. It was no, the only they, good they, character they, in that movie. That's they the one thing. Up I could a joke. Say they completely fuck up a joke because he says, "Oh, this is my friend, such and such. I've known him for fifty years. When we first met, he tried to stake me in the stake me because he thought I was a vampire." And I'm just like, but you haven't aged when you've just met. Wouldn't he be trying to stake you <laughs> now, 50 years later, when you haven't fucking aged? That's the fucking joke. So how could you try and stake him for being a vampire when you've just met him? You dipshit. <laughs> I don't really get that joke. Either. The whole yeah, entire premise kind of went right over. I was like, what is, what is this? I don't get it. I think the one thing you guys are missing is that uh, we have not taken into consideration the countless lives this movie will save and has <laughs> saved up to this point. Yeah, because uh, it's not going to air around. in the Middle East. <laughs> one of those total one of the sociopaths. These people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes, uh, it's, it's that's what we're that's what we're not recognizing, and that's the most uh, important. Your claps thing. are a little aggressive. Okay. Point of privilege. It's all right. She's deaf. She can't hear. Quarter black, oh, your snaps are a little too aggressive. <laughs> if you dive into oh, it, the sorry. fact that the film will not get a uh, Middle Eastern release and also will not get a China release, theoretically, by proxy, means it saves lives. That's right. Yes. That's right. Because those people don't have Ergo to go to watching it. Yeah. I was oh, no, going more because the money because... won't be able to go to the Uyghur concentration camps in China, but you know, that's, no, that's that also that. works. Yeah, it, yeah. The, well, what they didn't really, they left context out. It's it's saving lives because then it's not airing in the Middle East and they're not going to kill people for watching it over there. <laughs> so that's, yeah. that's how it's saving lives. Yeah. If, anyone, if anyone watches the two men kiss, throw them off a building. <laughs> Chuck them. The Saudi, that's the Saudi Arabian uh, premiere for uh, Eternal. No, they're progressive. Do Women can drive there now. Oh, don't you know? Deliberate, <laughs> man. Do we give them any credit for not cutting it out to try to get it released like we've seen no. them do in the past? 
Well, um, I don't think again without seeing it, it does. It sounds like if they cut any of this out, it would cut the whole movie out. <laughs> well, I think it's specifically because of the kiss. Oh, it well. also got banned in Nigeria. No, no, I don't. I don't think in Saudi Arabia you can show any gay anything. So the whole the whole that whole scene from them yeah. meeting the two gay guys. He would just have to kiss. pop up into yeah. the team. Well, how about that new rule yeah. in China too about effeminate men? No femboys, yeah. 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 So what what does that mean? Uh, it, or is it just some? Is it kind of like a YouTube? Well, that POS? means they can use it whenever they want. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I think they know they're going to lose money on this film, which is the reason why they're not going to change any everything of this shit, from Hollywood so. is fucked. I mean, absolutely yeah. everything from Hollywood is fucked. Masculinity is dead right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much. Jeez, it's ter- It's terrible. It's terrible. Tur- uh, terrible. 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 It's ter- it's terrable. Oh, oh. You get a semi one there. Uh, Cardero Ooh, for fifty go. Canadian pesos says, "Yo, Gary. Hello there." Please ask Jur Remy and Ryan to calmly, rationally, and diplomatically discuss their opinions on how or why things are overrated. Example. Oh, no. Chick fil A. No, no, no. You no, no, don't have on, three hours. On, move on. You do not on. have the time. No. Oh, if, if you want to listen to 30 minutes of nonsensical arguing, tune in to Tuesday night's main event every Tuesday night on Geeks and Gamers. That's, that's where you can find that. Because it's yes. pointless and we will lose viewers just like we do every Tuesday night when we do this shit. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> exactly. Well, Jesus. remember the, the, the floating was funny because, like, we dip and then it would go up. And then yeah. we dip a little bit, yeah. and then it would yeah, go, it would go up. Uh, So they'd be like, "I can't take this anymore." But then people went, like, they went and they came back. They're like, "Okay, maybe it wasn't so bad. We'll tip it. See if they're hey. still going." And go ahead. What's seven K watching right now? Love you, people. Thank Hell you. Yeah. Thank you. Hell yeah. Uh, Miss Rachel on the Streamlabs for fifty dollars says, "Hail Friday Night Tights. Love you all. Live in a blue state." I'm sorry. Oh, so do I right now. For technically, uh, I applied to work. Through a temp agency, they asked if I had the jab. You got to get a jab to get a job. I say no. Uh, they told me it was okay because some employees d- uh, don't request that. I asked, uh, I get a new job next week. Pretty cool. Pray for me, Odin. That is awesome. Congrats. <laughs> and, and good that a place isn't requiring. Uh, I talked to three people at the meetup yesterday who are losing their yeah. jobs within the next oh, week. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's awful. Damn. Uh, Greg Abbott? Saved my dad's job. I don't know if I told you guys. Wow. On the screen, but no. my dad was Hell going yeah. to lose. Does your dad his make job. wheelchairs? <laughs> <laughs> I need to keep you around. <laughs> Go for the wheels. No, You're not going anywhere, Greg. Mister. Greg Abbott he's stars a, in the next MCU robot movie. Mechanic. Yeah, he almost lost his job, and just in the last second, the man, the anti mandate, I guess would be, came down, and so it saved his job. Was, thank God yeah. I live in Texas. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. That's Hell good. yeah. Uh, and and uh, I am so not done talking about the Eternals. Yes, we had the first Marvel sex scene. Uh, oh. <laughs> it was <laughs> thrilling. And it was Richard we Madden. We saw Richard Madden's back. It, it was, yeah, it was Richard <laughs> Madden laying on Gemma Chan. I think that's her name. And just kind of doing. And she's like going, I, I love you. <laughs> just uh, this is the greatest uh, of the sex. Uh Shazam. Shazam. <laughs> That's basically how it was. Fly close to the sun. Can, can, can the Eternals, can they like a- a procreate and have kids? Obviously the gay one can't, but everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they could still. They're, they're, they're meat bots, so uh, no. I'm going with that. I just love the, the chemistry and the love between mm-hmm. them. I am yours. Yeah, they can't. I know, that was bad. <laughs> oh my God. That's if it. you'll have me. Yeah. Oh, oh and and dude, you'll, ha- that easy. you'll hey. have me. There was a moment how did I they liked. Suck so much energy out of it. There was well, how? I, well, because they it's had the wrong filmmaker now. and Marvel's generic trash now, and they prioritized woke storytelling over just storytelling. It's from, it's from and, Frame One, and from they, Frame they, One, they put Pink Floyd in it. So I was like, uh, uh, "How dare!" Like mm, this is the this, needle drops. This is the fucking movie you decide to put Pink Floyd time in. You motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, and not have Fuck. a trippy acid trip of a movie too. Like I mean, Doctor Strange. On. Like, when was this movie made? Like, when was it in production? Uh, that's a uh, very good question. Was it 2019? 2019? Two, two, two years ago. I think 2019. It went 2019. Wow. So yeah. all the stuff we are seeing was made roughly two years ago. And that's maybe that's why case. it feels like a little out of touch. Mm. <laughs> oh, a, a little. Um, I would say it's, it's completely out of touch. Uh, but you're right. Uh, the, the, a lot of the stuff is 
made from two years ago, and that's usually the case with most movies. But there isn't this big pause, you know. So we're 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 playing catch up. It should have been out earlier. No, uh, like last year. Right? I love catch up. Uh, I do too, actually. Yeah, this thing was probably delayed with like nine months at least, something like that. Yeah. Between everything that went down. Yeah. I think it was nine uh, months. Yeah. I liked it when they um they said, "Hey, uh, the world's going to end because what the real." reason why we're here is uh is celestial is going to be born out of earth and destroy it and then they followed it up very subtly with why does the world keep on <laughs> yep. why does the sea touch the shore don't they know it's the end, end of, of the world, world. <laughs> and i was just like fuck my ass mouth and try shit. hard yeah. man it was try hard yes, it really Jesus was christ also uh just for reference principal photography took place july 2019 to february of 2020 yeah, yeah. wow Damn. those so were nap and attempt an abortion of a celestial <laughs> Oh, they, yeah, that's God. that's basically what they did. That's what um, that was. Mm, yeah. All the more reason for them to intervene, by the way. An intervention? Well, to stop Thanos from snapping half the population out. Yeah, it's kind of hard to believe like like no other superhero showed up when a giant thing starts coming up. Yeah, from the ocean yeah. In there's this world. very absent. They need, they need the energy from the Earth to start the emer emergence or whatever the fuck. Yeah. So yeah. you'd think that they would step in with the Avengers to stop the whole snap, even if it is just a vested interest of the villain. They can yep. still be yeah. manipulated mm -hmm. into it, which, which, which leads me to another point, is that why are you ar fucking arguing with, <laughs> with the Eternals and having meetings and shit when you could just reprogram them to do whatever the fuck you want? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. make any yeah. sense. That doesn't or make, destroy yeah, good point. them and replace them with other bots that he showed. There's a bunch exactly. of there's a bunch of them. Just Fleet replace them. them. Yeah, Fleet of them. If yeah. they error out and won't complete the mission, replace them. One, one of the plot points is they erase their memories every time a planet is yeah. destroyed and a celestial is born. And uh, I forgot. Uh, I'm blanking on the name of the basically the Eternals Alzheimer's that they get or PTSD when they start remembering their old. And that's what Angelina Jolie's character mm. had. Dina. Right. And you guys are right. I, 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 there's things I have to go back to my notes. You're absolutely right, Jay. Like the, the, the all they had to do was reprogram them. That would have really solved every single problem. Yeah. Uh, well, what about in the trailer? <laughs> in the trailer, when they're all in the hut, sat down having a meal, and uh, that's when they say about Captain Rogers and Iron Man. Oh. Who's going to lead the Avengers now? Captain Rogers and Iron Man's gone. And Richard Marsden goes, uh, I could run them. And then no, there's the again. pause, and they all start laughing. Yeah, they cut that part. No, out. Like, that doesn't happen. No. What happens is when he says, um, "I could, uh, I could run them, I could lead them." Uh, the 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 Pakistani Indian says, "Yeah, you could. You could." And everyone's like, "Yeah, you could." Wow. Yep. Yeah. So they they make him a joke in the in the trailer. Uh, and it's not how the scene went down at all. Mm -mm, not even close. Trying to make you think it's going to be funnier than what it actually is to try and bring you in, which clearly doesn't seem to be working based on. No, well, that, that scene in the isn't. trailer didn't work for me either. No. So, well, yeah. Yeah. well, he he becomes a duplicitous. Uh, no, he's male. not duplicitous. He's he's on point. Okay. They're, yeah, he, they're okay. he's the on mission. They're the duplicitous uh, 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 ones. Uh, uh, I would agree okay. with that. He's on, he's on mission. He, he, technically, he's he was duplicitous in the movie. I'm not saying I, I believed he was duplicitous, but he was a duplicitous <laughs> character in the movie uh, because he kept a secret from all the other Eternals with Ajak, and then Ajak flipped on her position with exactly seven days to go, and we never got an explanation for that because she could have flipped on her position for thousands of years no. before that. But, but he, he was, but he kept exactly. it because Ajax told him to. Yeah, but then, he, good, but then he killed soldier. No, then he killed Ajak. When he killed Ajak, and he was being a but, good soldier. But when she flip flop from the, but he's still mission. being. That's okay. why he had to fly close to again. The sun. He's being <laughs> duplicitous in the movie. I don't think he's duplicitous. It was basic bitch, and it was very predictable. And the minute like mm. I, I knew they cast Rich. Richard Madden as uh, Icarus, and I didn't see any Madden, villains. Uh, Icarus, when I see when I didn't see any villains, I was like, he's the bad guy. It's pretty fucking easy to figure out. Uh, Who's the white one? Yep. Him. Yeah. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Who's the only person they didn't raise oh, yeah. their gender swap? Uh, gotcha. That's obviously the evil one. Uh, who was the officer? It's that white boy, right? The white there. man. The right there. 
Yeah, I, mean, I, I knew this was going to be bad. Whenever the first frame, whenever they show the kid cutting open the the fish, and cuts to the dad, and then the the divergent, the div, yeah. div, whatever the monster thing comes out of the water, deviant. and the dad just deviant. turns. Deviant. This is the emotion that is on this dad's face. There's a monster, a monster coming out of the water, combing for his son daughter thing. He goes. Yeah, Run. and gets eaten. <laughs> monster eats him. Like, what the fuck? Then it happens again later. Whenever they go back in time, and on an alien planet, there are two aliens picking fruit or whatever the fuck. And then a monster comes behind, smashes one of them. Who knows? This could be their brother, their mother, yeah. their best friend. Who cares? They they stand up, look at them. And while they're eaten. getting while they're getting mauled to death, they stand up four feet away from them and go. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Is, what is happening? It's, it's like all, they don't understand. Whoever made this does not understand how people work. Like emotion well, doesn't it's, compute. It's because these. they were all filmed separately in front of a giant <laughs> green screen. You could. It would just look like dancing, choreographed dancing, in front of a green screen. That's and uh, and the, if you thought the CGI on Angelina Jolie was bad for that one scene that that everybody's putting all over Twitter, it's there's a oh. scene where a plane they fucking CGI a plane like you couldn't get stock footage of a plane <laughs> and it's a and it's horrible CGI. It looked like fucking eighties blue screen CGI. I'm like, oh my god. I think the worst thing was the little dwarf in the in the post credit scene. Oh, that, Pip, I was yeah. what is happening on screen Patton right Oswald. now? What is him. that was. Pat Fuck, Oswald? Yeah. Uh, Fuck that bit. <laughs> Fucking sick. Fuck that little bit. I hate it even more. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, was I it, just hated I, it because it was Pat and Oswald. Yeah, I mean, like he because he's cast as every animated comic book character fucking now. Like uh, he was the voice in Happy. Jesus, was it really him? I wasn't sure if it was him. I had no idea that was him. him. It sounded vaguely it sounded like him. Like him. But yeah, it wasn't was quite him. annoying it was okay. enough, and I was okay. like, I couldn't quite pin it. I figured Chris Pratt would just do the voice. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got the time, I guess. It's a me. He's too busy being cancelled again. Yeah, okay. for, having, for, no, for being yeah. happy. Reason. For, for being loving happy. his wife. <laughs> Why? He's cancelled. It's so cringe that he, he loves his wife and daughter. <laughs> So he, cringe. What an asshole. <laughs> yeah. uh, you are, didn't mention your disabled dude. son, you fuck. Yeah, okay. it, oh. It's like because it's a post about like that wife. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so he's like talking about his wife currently and all the things that she's done for him. Mm. And people and because he says she gave me a healthy daughter and notoriously not notoriously, but like famously, whatever you want to say, his son had problems, born premature, had health yeah. issues, still has health issues, and uh obviously Chris Pratt loves his son. Yeah. Uh, a couple a couple years ago, he was getting canceled for sitting there with his son saying the Pledge of Allegiance and shit. Oh, you know what wow. I mean? So yeah. th they'll do anything they can to come after Chris Pratt because yeah. he posted a picture with him and his wife uh, with saying her something at him. that you standardly like, say. Yeah. But it boils <laughs> down to the same thing because every argument that I saw against him ended up with somebody saying, and he goes to a queer hating church. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> yeah. What is, yeah. I mean, Grace was talking about, I was watching videos getting ready and like, she oh, said, God. oh, he's, she, he's got to leave that church. And like, in literally the same breath, she was like, oh, I like that she's religious. But then she said, oh, he's got to leave that church. And I'm like, what the <laughs> spiritual. Yeah, so I'm it, spiritual. It, it, I'm not It's all religion, become this spiritual. thing because Ellen. Oh, shit. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, er, 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 the artist formerly known as something else, but now known as Elliot Page. Huh. Uh, oh, oh. Came out. <laughs> no, she's and, still a woman. So screw you, all you that. You mean the brand new it actor? Came out and the... said. Came out and said something to the effect of Chris Pratt goes to this really fucking homophobic cult church. That's what she said. Wow. And it's because the I believe a pastor who either is there or used to be there like 20 years ago made some fucking comment about conversion therapy or something. Right. I think it was but, an association with another church. That, that's potentially, the Potentially. Yeah. yeah. And e either way, it's not like it's not like Chris Pratt's out saying any of this shit. No, it's not like not. The, that's what the church is built on. Nothing like that. It's a <laughs> joke. But that's what people are using to Yeah, you want to talk about Obama again. and the churches that he's attended? Jeremiah yeah, let's, let's get into that. the other way because he's um, Obama. Oh, Louis yeah. Farrakhan, anybody? Let's talk about Louis yeah. Farrakhan, who's referred mm -hmm. to... Well, no, he, he's fine. He's white saying. people and Jews, so he, he's cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, yeah, he's piped into every prison, too. Yeah, and, and like that, that picture is the one that he posted right there. And people are like, look at him. Of course, he's looking at the camera yeah. while his wife looks at him. Reading into <laughs> a way too much. Like shit like that. Oh, God. 
Uh, it's, it's all, all it's time high. Fucking sad Have people. you got a fucking Anna Faris meter that fills up? Yeah. <laughs> somebody Jesus. somebody said somebody tweeted out and said Chris Pratt will never have a cultural impact like H- Anna Faris. Oh god. What? No. What? Okay. Oh, sure. no. This is Nobody. a scary movie, okay? Moms, what else has she known for? Fucking nothing. <laughs> oh boy. Movie. Anna Ferris wishes she could voice Mario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing against Anna Ferris. I think she's fun. Yeah. Wow, my God. They just hate, they just, uh, as, yeah. Yeah, if this was the Yellow Flash video, they really hate him. They don't like yep. Anna Ferris. They just hate Chris Pratt. They hate that he's a Christian. They hate I mean, that he's you, a traditional yeah. Christian. That, that's all there is. You scroll through the comments. You, you scroll through the tweets. It, it's just sad people that don't have anything in their life but to yeah. hate somebody no, that is it, happy it, it, do you know what it is See? every single one of these people they're ugly they're fat and they can yeah. never get a dude like chris pratt <laughs> ugly right. so, yeah. so they're yeah. sitting there another, they're another thing is, here. i can hear you Ana- Fuck. another another thing is is that he doesn't have to do the whole tap tap dancing that other actors need to do thank god or that that, that, that like people are the people on the internet need to do he doesn't need to do performative shit hmm. he, he's just him he yeah. does his little you know he's funny and he does his Christian thing, and like he doesn't like really talk about his politics or whatever that much. But like he can yeah. do that and not have to pretend to be something else, just yeah. so yeah. someone can look at him like everyone yeah. else. Well, like the president of the United States, for instance, he was like, "Oh, I'm Catholic, but uh, oh, I'm not gonna. Um, I don't agree with <laughs> this or this or this or this." <laughs> well, and that's the whole you thing the with thing. Chris Pratt. All the people that are coming after him, it's all over things that they think he thinks. He never talks yes. about his politics, yeah, ever. Projected. He has never said, oh, I'm a big MAGA guy, right? But it's because he didn't go to the Biden-Kamala Harris fundraiser. Mm-hmm. That he wasn't he invited to. That. He didn't speak about those things. He didn't speak out from this leftist echo chamber you know, area because he's silent about that shit. They yeah. assume, well, you must be this and must be that. And to be fair, he probably is. Who fucking knows? But he never talks about it. So why the fuck should it matter to anyone? They mm-hmm. can't handle the fact that one person in Hollywood might not share their opinions on everything. Yeah. That's why I call it a cult. I wish a woman looked like, at me the way that she looks at him. Oh, I can look at you like that, as. <laughs> I wish someone looked at me the way Chris Pratt looks at a camera. <laughs> <laughs> very photogenic. Very photogenic. And also, people are very triggered by the fact that, like, she is like a tr- has like trad wife vibes, and she's like, mm-hmm. oh, I just you know want my husband to be happy and shit. <laughs> Yeah, she, she wants to stay at home. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. He met, he met her Rumor has it he's picking up one of Ryan Kennel's women in the fifty shirts. So uh. <laughs> exactly. But he met her at church, didn't he? He met he yeah. met her at church. He yeah. met her at church. Surprise, yeah. surprise. She would yeah. rather take care of her children and raise them, which is very important in our society to raise yeah. and have kids. It's not a bad thing. Why? Nothing like, wrong oh. with it. Fucking no. nothing wrong with that. I think that it's a, you know, it's a really sweet story. You know, they met bonding over support of electroshock therapy for gay conversion. <laughs> 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 <It's> just, well, <laughs> Which I is awesome. I met oh somebody God. that believes in my belief. Uh, also, it's, it's a true love story. They were going to have a threesome with Mike Pence. Except How much voltage do you think they should have? Turn it up. Exactly. I can see Mike Pence trying to get in on a threesome. It's like, I really want to do this, but it goes against my values. How do I make this Dude, happen? If you're in the, if you're in the like, UK, you could be jailed for two years for that. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and he's like, uh, Mike Pence is like, well, listen, we can go to dinner, but my wife's got to come with me. Uh, <laughs> that's why he does threesomes. He can't be alone. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it gets sad. Yeah, they just, they, yeah, they just really hate that guy. Uh, and yeah. they won't stop. And, 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 well, who knows? They're going to keep trying. And I think, you know, the fact that he just doesn't give a shit at this point, and, he, yeah. and if he plays it smart, I mean, he's not going to go out and say, he's, you know, he's not going to go out and post anything political uh, to give yeah. them he's any reason to He's never apologized for the things that they've tried to cancel him for, right? That's he's never addressed twice. it at all. Nope. Hey, I, I want him to win. apologize I, I for one right. thing. Why he wins. I, I want him to apologize for one wow. thing. The Tomorrow War. <laughs> hey, that was a good fucking movie. Nice. <laughs> It's, it's, yeah. uh, no, come on, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's fun, but it's not good. Yeah, but no, it's like, no. Yeah. I want him to apologize for bonding with come this on. child yeah. over soccer. 
Fuck that. Watch <laughs> hey, football, fuck Chris you. Pratt. Fuck you, you little bitch. Just get in that corner. Stay in that fucking corner <laughs> oh, over there. Both oh, footballs man. are gay. Oh, the Islander. <laughs> He's the one who got upset about his little fucking soccer game. <laughs> 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 Uh, Leo they, Fisher, Leo, what was that? It's a beautiful thing. It's, is it beautiful? Does it have a beautiful, beautiful soul? Thing. Does it have a beautiful soul? <laughs> like as needs a I, I, I really like because I'll watching European. <laughs> yeah, I, European soccer is great because every time I watch European soccer, the way that these people act on the field that are supposed to be men, it reminds me why we needed to win World War II for you. We just beat the shit out of you in four days in a military practice because you were fucking shite. The Royal no Marines absolutely about. annihilated the American forces and you were forced to fucking in a surrender. You fucking cowards, because your whole fucking force have been wiped out by us. Yeah, well, and you're not hey, 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 proven ass, ass these days, right? As, you're right. I mean, yeah, but we're not exactly Look, getting yeah. the cream of the crop anymore. Yeah, that's because yeah. in their, in their defense, they had two beautiful <laughs> women that are powerful. Okay, <laughs> have you seen our promo videos recently? <laughs> yeah. As I mean, come on, <laughs> they all ha they all had lesbian moms. Russia's uh, gonna uh, eat you for breakfast. Well, that's true. A battalion of China as well. Soldiers with lesbian moms. That's what it was. Uh, Leo I, Fisher. Think I think they're there in Russia and China right now going, look, I think we could just walk in. Uh, pretty much they could. Point, I think we could just done. walk right in. They could, no. Well, I think they, they you know, they're going to be able to do it. That's kind of my, my joke, right? We're worried about. It's the British we're worried about. That's the problem. Uh, yeah. that, that's kind of my yeah. joke. In like the next 10 years, that you know, the Russians and the Chinese are just going to stroll right in because uh, the U.S. military be rocking in a corner in their safe space. Yep. Well, I don't yeah. think that, I don't think they're going to, I don't think they have any desire to waltz right in. They just have to hear all of us. They're gonna either have to execute everybody or they have to have here have to deal with people complaining about them not using their proper pronouns. So well, that's I think they're just gonna fucking sit there until we completely implode and everyone what? in here. They don't dies. need to invade. We'll all they just be stuck in the uh, the digital space, in they, the meta space. They don't need to <laughs> in the meta space. Uh, the Russians go. will roll in and they'll go, sir, can you put the weapon down, please? And they'll be like, um, excuse me, did you say sir? Did you assume uh, did my you gender? Like, uh, it is ma'am. my gender. Ma <laughs> my God. Ma no. And then Russia would be like, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the fuck For the off. most part, they already, I, they already have their... From space. For the most part, they already have their <laughs> regional governors here, so they don't need to invade. Like this. Put them yeah. in We've the got space gulag. <laughs> We've got our secret Hell weapon. We're going to sick Alec Baldwin on the world. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Just with one bullet. <laughs> Kill hey, count. Took, took out two people Rising. at once. One so, shot, one. You know. Two for one sale. Uh, Leo. How, how's the other person doing, by the way? He's yeah. fine. He's fine. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Uh, Pretty shooken up, I imagine. But Leo, as far as, as, as health-wise, he's good. Uh, Leo Fisher I'd for... I'd be shaken up if fucking Alec Baldwin has shot me. Leo Fisher for $50. Uh, they wait before FNT is similar to Lent. Help me, Odin. Now Lent <laughs> is 40 days, but the wait before FNT may be 40 minutes. Hey, oh, Friday Night Tides. Hey, oh. <laughs> hey, it's not 40 days 25 yet. 25 this week. Uh, actually, the start I mean, time. Like I said, like, it's it now 40 days for Lent, and I'm like, when has it not been uh, 40 days for Lent? When they didn't have calendars. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, no, I'm silly. getting okay. No, Oof. I I got nothing on Lent. I, I know nothing about it. So, uh, yeah. Johnny Arnett for forty nine ninety nine. Johnny, hey, we saw what Johnny last night. Hey, Johnny, man. Johnny. Uh, thanks again for the amazing night in Arizona, gents. About to catch the plane home, so I'll be missing the stream live. Gary forgot to ask: Do you plan on reacting to the final season of Better Call Saul like you uh, did with previous seasons? Love those. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, I love What's that fucking out? show. That show is uh, the one, of, unless it goes completely off the rails woke like everything else has, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. I will be reacting to it, yes. It's Bob Odenkirk, though, man. The show's fantastic. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's on the level of Breaking Bad, which I did not think was possible, yep. but it wow. absolutely is. It did. It, 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 it slow burn, but once it gets there, uh, uh, season two, season three, holy shit, is it good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and Leo Fisher for fifty more dollars <laughs> says X-ray girl, X-ray girl. Check the sound, the video, and all the links. Are we good for liftoff? We are. We're lifted. We are lifted off, and we are floating around uh, like 
Eternals in the like a blue origin, like a blue origin in, or- in, in the meta space. In the oh. meta space, mm-hmm. yeah, that was weird. What, so is uh, so with the Facebook thing in the meta space was that kind of like Google doing uh, uh, the alphabet? Alphabet, corp- yeah, yeah. So they they it, it, to get to not get broken up. They uh, well, I think that Facebook has acquired so many things, you know, because they they've got Instagram, they have uh, yeah. fucking chat or whatever. So they've got all this stuff that isn't just Facebook. So I think they were like, this kind of makes sense. And Facebook is still obviously part of it. They're not changing the name of Facebook, the app and itself, but it's now meta, which I think is really dumb. But But the metaverse shit itself is, listen, that's Oasis. That is what it is. Have you seen Ready Player One? Yeah. That's what the metaverse is. I was about to mention that too. It seems like they're trying to create the world of Ready Player One. And it's not like, it's a, that's where things are going. Like, especially what we've seen with remote work shit recently, like how we're always interacting with each other over this, it only makes sense that in the future, it's going to kind of just develop into that way, especially as we're just becoming lazier and fucking lazier. Yes. Well, so. is it, you know, yeah. we got to be careful what we talk about here, but isn't it convenient? Uh, we heard these things, especially in the Bay Area, right when the lockdown started, Bay we started area. hearing about uh, Bay Area, hella, um, <laughs> that uh, the emissions were down when people were locked down. And isn't yes. this a good uh-huh. thing? Uh, yeah. Now, all of a sudden, the, the narrative uh, has changed. It's, uh, mm-hmm. it's, it's, they've turned the page of the narrative, basically. It's all one long yes. one. And now we are. And, and they the, telegraphed that for sure. Yeah. Oh, they sure they Just did. Just in time for the G20 and mm-hmm. for the climate change. Yep. Too legit. Too legit to admit. But, but, hey, hey, we have the yeah. great narrative uh, launching in a week. Uh, so, as yeah. I've been saying, I mean, this meta thing is taking us one step closer to Wally. They just want us sitting around. They want to make us fucking just eat and lay around and force feed us whatever information they want, not question it. And that's what the metaverse is, is leading us to. It's, and, it's yeah. about reliance on government and lack of independence. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what it's about. Yep. Uh, you know, when you're out working, when you're not stuck at home, uh, when you're in control of your finances, uh, then you can choose your own destiny. But when you've had that all taken away from you, uh, when you've been locked down, when you've lost your job, uh, mm-hmm. when you can't fend for yourself, then who do you got to reach out to? You got to reach out to government and then government look after you. So this is this is all about trying to be reliant on a government as opposed to you being reliant on yourself. Yeah. And this is a means to pacify the populace. Yes, yeah. it is. Uh, yeah. You don't yeah. want to be in charge of your own destiny. That is no. that's an unjust it's system. Work. 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 Look after me, me daddy government. Te- spank me daddy government. Yep. The, the idea bad, that like... Daddy government. The idea that Zuckerberg, who... Like, is Zuckerberg like one of the most... One of the people that people have the least amount of trust in, honestly? Like one of the most least trustworthy people... Maybe with, that's that public of a figure because we all know what they're doing with our data. We all understand what's going they're on. They're jerking off on it. Yeah, exactly. So is that the, the fact that he just pitched this out there and everybody just has massive backlash? Is it even going to matter? Are they that big that it mm. doesn't matter that people yes. don't trust this dude? They're that backed by the government. They're that big True. that at this point people can just yell and scream and bitch and it doesn't matter. He puts sweet baby rays on his fucking bookshelf and that's what people are focused on. As opposed to the fact that they want to control even more about your life. Yeah, he just takes. So, a, so, he, he just took another company's name uh, and did, I apparently didn't even file uh, any of the paperwork for it. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true. I heard it on the huh. internet, so it has to be true. But other companies mm. have this name, and they just you know Facebook is like, we'll get it. We'll just pay them off or buy wow. it. Fuck it. I'm sure they have enough money to make that happen. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, somebody, somebody said, uh, "Yeah, you says as who's working from home." Yeah, I'm working from home. And I'm making independent money. I'm not relying on government. I'm not taking any government funding, any any government money, any government, nothing. I'm working off the money that I'm earning through YouTube. That's how I'm earning money. Independent money. I'm not reliant mm-hmm. on state. Yep. I, yeah. I pay my taxes. I pay my fucking bills. I pay my rent. I pay my food. I pay my toys. Ooh, are government you single? Do hey. Damn straight. <laughs> Ready to mingle. Yeah. As long as it just means I don't have to leave the house. And uh, Moonwalker Sands is right to lease Facebook. I'm not on it. I've been on it for yeah. I deleted 11, 11 years, twelve years. I just yeah, want to see how fat time. everybody from high school got. That's why I'm still on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, every year, every year it gets uh, it goes up. Uh, trust me, uh, I'm getting to the point where it's like, oh my god, am I that old? Because I'm, you know, 
try not to see it in yourself. No, see your the friends. No. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like whole, the answer is yes. It's fucking oh my god. <laughs> answer yes. Oh. Uh, I was looking at one. Oh I, I won't say his name, mm. but like holy shit, I used to hang out with that dude all the time. And he looks like grandpa. Um, <laughs> Culture Brian Casino. Stelter. Uh-huh. <laughs> but then you look at Tucker. Tucker Carlson is only fifty. Well, he is fifty-two, and he looks amazing. He looks like he's thirty. Yeah, and how yeah. old's Brian Stelter with that Stelter? He's together? thirty-five. Uh, thirty-five. 35. I know. And then you got Grace Randolph. How? Yeah, Grace. How? Grace is not Wait, that old, she? right? Grace is no, like twenty-seven years old. No, I know. I she's forty-eight. She's no. forty-eight or forty-nine. No, she looks like it. She's, well, she's like she's in her looked 20s, forty-eight dude. for fifteen. No, she's not. Years. She is. She's insane. not in her twenties. Her birthday what? is nineteen eighty-seven. What? Thirty-four. I think she's thirty-four. <laughs> oh, 34. I thought she was like twenty-nine. What? Yep. Yeah, wow. dude. Yeah, no, because I was I watched I her on the Watchers. The, the, did you guys ever watch the Watchers, the Marvel show? That was on no. ten years ago or something no. like that. Yeah, no. she used to host that, uh, and no. she looks really I, I young. Hosting severely it. avoid anything with Grace. Here, in I'll it. find it. Uh, I'll, hang on. So, 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 so now you're just oh, making my ears bleed. I was going to say dogs everywhere. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Is yeah, she's a bitch. Mom's- I see this picture of her with the uh, holding fucking Thor's hammer with a big Marvel shirt on. Uh, when I search for it, again. not a shill, not like, a shill at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you find it? Look at look at how freaking lo- young she looks. <laughs> in Here you go. Picture. Well, yeah, I can I pull it up. How, this I just got a random fucking article from like Bleeding Cool or some yeah. shit. Oh, Ugh. Why? Because that's the first thing that popped up. So, <laughs> well, your computer's got AIDS now. <laughs> it actually does. It's really slow because. Yeah, look at look at how young she looks. She looks I mean, really young there. She always looked old to me. Oh my god, her hair looks, looks normal. Yeah, like natural. Well, like yeah, I think she looks the same. <laughs> yeah. No, no. She looks like, <laughs> <still okay. laughs> like straw that's been bleached. She hasn't aged a day. Uh, yeah, she just she really you needs to find another like uh, mm-hmm. hairdresser. Uh, but no, she she looks like she's aged about thirty years. So uh, mm. it might be that New York, it might be that <laughs> Hollywood New York will living. suck you dry. Sometimes it, it can be always like looks pretty old. She has always looked pretty old. Yeah, she wears like a lot older. of makeup. Oh, that looks like, like a twenty-four it. year old. No, watch. Nah. Go watch the videos if you want to. Really, you don't have to. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Watchers video. She looks incredibly young. Uh, and that, that reminds just, me of a comment I saw the other day. Someone said something, and it really like it made me think. They said. Have you ever seen Hulk Hogan younger than 40 ever? <laughs> I've never wow. seen him younger than 40 he ever. He looks the no. same. Yeah. Like, it's, even when he just first came, he still looked like he was 40. He was What's like that? 19 or 20 or what. It's Pe- crazy. Peter Cushing, so. uh, Peter Cushing was born old. Like, he always looked old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That guy was old all his life. Uh, oh, Culture no. Casino for $50. Thank you, Culture. Culture. I got to, I got to talk to him for like two seconds last night. It was, uh, incredible meetup last night. The boss and I, thank you all. Long live the fellowship. Hell, yeah, I talked to the boss. Hell, yeah. I talked to Culture Casino. Yeah, the boss right is cool Culture. Uh, yeah. He really is, and uh, I, I got to talk to him for a while. It's what the third time I guess I've met and talked to Culture. Awesome fucking dude. He's doing great things over there on his channel too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The most beautiful hair on the internet. I'm wor- yeah, I'm working on it. So I'm, I'm trying to get up to me too. Forward. Hard. Me too. Yeah, he's getting ready to chop it off because he donates his hair, which is pretty fucking awesome. Oh, okay. nice. Cool. Whoa, yeah. did you guys see this about Letitia Wright was injured just now on the Black what? Panther set? Well, just, oh, yeah, we had, well, she whoa, got injured like broke earlier today. Yeah. Oh. Where, where was Alec Baldwin? Where was Alec Baldwin? <laughs> yeah, well, we need to know. <laughs> My question about that is she was injured like two months ago or something, and they basically shot around the scenes that they needed her for. And now it sounds like they're delaying it. So is this just the same injury that's continuing delay that's what kind of my interpretation of Ooh, it is. i wonder if she won't get the jab and this is just a way to delay yeah, they're like, they're something like, mm, get Letitia. get her yeah. <laughs> take her out injured by a needle she <laughs> injured walk getting out of bed like she's she weighs like yeah. 98 pounds she, soaking wet her and ruby rose yeah. uh, she's a little twice, lady yeah she got injured on set doing something some some stunt or whatever like months ago a stunt with a penis <laughs> I'd be down. I mean, I, she's not, probably not done for me that, in the role. To be honest with you, but like, yeah. uh, I'm looking at the what was this? Tom saying the variety thing. They're trying to spin that uh, critics no, are being people hard. That are, 
Yeah. Is going it a after variety critics, article? Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. It is. Hang on. Let me. Uh, let me vamp for a second. Let me look it up. Vamp, 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 vamp. vamp, vamp. There's a few people here. I'm vamp, sure vamp, somebody. Nobody has anything to say during the vamping period. Vamp, 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 vamp. Oh yeah, I got a new comic book from a fan who came to a one of my shows. Nice. It's really nice. good. Long Halloween. Hell yeah. Yes. It's nice. long and it's thick. Mm. I like it. <laughs> The animated, I, I've only seen the first part. It was really good. The second part of the animated one good. Long Halloween. I, seen it I don't know. I did did he have I sex with Batgirl? Because that's, you know, if he doesn't have sex with Batgirl, then, then I'm it's gonna not be a upset. good animated movie. Yeah. What the fuck did I just walk in on? <laughs> <laughs> Batman has sex with Batgirl all the time. Just to put it in perspective, uh, this man watches Batwoman every week. Uh, what are you talking about? Killing joke. He, he walks. He walks. He watches Batwoman every week. But yeah, this was overwhelming for him to walk into. <laughs> this was too that's much. how bad we are. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Drawing the lowest rated Rotten Tomatoes yeah. score. Let's see. We can. Let's see. I, I heard that. That sounded it, like a uh, uh, a man who's upset about representation not being appreciated. <laughs> wow. It's like name that tune. It's like you know when you can guess a song in three seconds. Like you can do that with variety. Now. Yeah. He looks yeah. like he would be upset about this. He uh-huh. does. Absolutely. Hello, I'm a, a Latino man. Co-writer Chloe yeah. Zhao has opened in theaters. Critics have weighed in on it, and it has been very divisive. Actually, drawing the lowest-rated Rotten Tomatoes score of any MCU <laughs> film it's lower than low in the screen <laughs> thus far. First of all, Elizabeth, it is not a bad movie in the slightest. I think it's uh, oh, yeah. in the, in the <laughs> slightest. Wow. Oh God! Slide, Do you have eyes or ears? Oh, Jesus! He's not even hedging thing. his bets. It's one of Marvel's uh, best efforts thus far. Has great action. It oh, whoa, 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 it's one of the best movies Marvel has ever Marvel put out. One of wow. Marvel's best. It's a triumph. You should go see it. Story. Uh, uh, now nah, I'm good. That emotion. Look at that. He's like, we love each other. Where's my uh, they are not paying you. me to say these things. She's looking at his nose. She is. <laughs> She's like, oh, She's no. looking at his nose. She is. He's got a beautiful nose. <laughs> I've made that face before. I'm about to kiss somebody I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just take a deep breath. Yeah. Looks like, well, well, he did buy me dinner, so. She has okay. to picture somebody else. Yeah. Diverse has great characters. Oh, shit. Okay. We got, Diverse. I got, I, got, uh, I got to go back. Diverse. To tomato different. score of any MCU film in history thus far. First of all, Elizabeth, it is not a bad movie in the slightest. I think it's one of Marvel's best efforts thus far. <gasps> has great action. It focuses a lot on story. Uh, you forgot to put in my diverse, opinion. Has great characters, all that. I think this speaks to a larger problem that the, is in the things. industry. Anytime a woman takes on the action. Oh, fuck off. Oh, 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 there it is. We found the pussy. We found the pussy. Does not draw the criticism that it's it's gotta be the woman now, that's can we, right the thing. And also, isn't it great that it's the man who's explaining this to the woman? Man, he's, yeah. 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 he's man, he's man <laughs> spreading as well. He is. Man I just wonder. Lick absolutely. my paunch, mommy. He's about to pop out of those yeah. I'm not a sexual predator. <laughs> I promise you. He also has <laughs> bitch tits. He does. I wonder. Thank you. I, I wonder if we look at Chloe Zhao's other stuff she's done, have the critics felt the same way? Did they did they really downgrade it because it's a woman directing or was it loved by critics before? That's what I want. You know, the film that like won an Academy Award. Yeah, did sure. critics like that, or did our... they give her a low score because she's a female director? Uh, Why sure even she mention it? A... Like, I'm pretty it's, sure she got that. You're like telling everybody to lower their standards. It's just like it's such a bad look to even mention it. Uh, yeah, I think they didn't. He say action film. <laughs> Uh, it's because it was an action film. Hang on, let me ch- catch that. I thought it said because it's a woman. She's explaining how a fight works. <laughs> well, I thought she's just trying to make funny faces <laughs> like, with her fingers. Look here. Now, what I want you to do is drain all the emotion out of your body. Been, she's yeah, like, yeah, in, the other he's in like, a woman action. <laughs> where, okay, uh, where I'm from, woman is on. Penises are this big. You <laughs> 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 she right finger. A normal man's penis is this big. Mine. 
<laughs> major problem that is in the industry. <laughs> Anytime a woman takes on the action mm. genre, which has been typically made for men to helm, people come harder on that filmmaker when she takes it on. I think it's I think it's the issue. Come that harder? Is that what he said? Uh, okay, yeah. okay, point okay, point break. And then yep, there yep. was that movie, that fucking other movie. Hurt like, Locker. Oh, Catherine Bigelow, basically. Yeah, Hurt yeah. Locker. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking Catherine about. Bigelow yeah. has done. Mm. Uh, Wonder mm. Woman. Yeah, the original the first Wonder one, Woman. yes. Uh, and this wasn't an action movie. Like, nothing fucking action happened in it. It was boring as fuck. <laughs> there has to be action in an action movie. Uh, and and this just, is, I'd like to point out that this, Marvel this directors movie. Marvel directors don't direct the fucking action. The, uh, yep. uh, they they just mm -hmm. don't do it. And somebody already ratted them out for that. I've shown that article a million, well, not a million times, a thousand times, and I'll show it again later. Where a director quit Black is... Widow, a director quit Black Widow because she couldn't direct the action scenes. They wouldn't let her. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're already pre-constructed before they they start filming. Yep. The sex scene was already in before. Uh, Chloe Zhao <laughs> took over. What? It was really? already in. But yeah, it was already <laughs> written in. Hmm. Mm. I like how you say her name. Yeah, the only thing that was Zhao. changed by Chloe Pitched Zhao it. was making uh, Cersei the lead character. They rewrote it to make her the lead. Wow. His mustache. Really? Self insert. Mm. His mustache Self -insert. looks like it's trying to crawl off his face. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's probably just emulating all the women that he, you know, tries to. I can't women. see it. Co he Cody guy women. in the chat says, "Discount Billy Zane." I can't unsee uh, it. Now. Oh, oh, how dare you? Not even discount. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is Walmart. Bin. This is Walmart, Billy Zane. <laughs> Be addressed. He looks like he likes to eat ass. You <laughs> say he likes to eat ass? He looks like he, he has an ass eating face. I'll eat your ass. I can't you leave ass that. alone. Eat your ass. No, yeah, don't you dare ass. eat me. Don't eat me. I'll eat your ass. I'll eat your I'm ass. not interested. I'll so. eat your ass. I will. No. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Not draw the criticism that it's I'll eat your ass. I agree with you 100%. Right when you started talking about this, I said, Hmm, imagine that. The <laughs> film that is directed by a woman oh, has the lowest God. score on Rotten Tomatoes. Shut your oh, this oh, 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 I have a degree in gender studies, everybody. Isn't there are no male directed films with a score that low or lower. Right. What the fuck no. are you talking about? <laughs> they don't exist oh. at all. Nope. It's oh Skinner. God. It's fucking Principal Skinner talking to Principal Skinner. I like Ted. <laughs> wait, did not the first Venom film have like a thirty percent on Rotten Tomatoes? Wasn't that directed by a man? Wait, wait, no. What? Oh, we can't talk about that. Oh, okay, sorry. My bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll eat your ass. <laughs> I truly hate these people. I despise these people with every bone in my body. These people are pathetic. They have no value he's whatsoever. God. And yeah, as soon as I heard you talk, ugly. You hear me? as soon as I heard you talk, I knew you were going to say that you hated him because it's a mm. woman. Yeah. Yes. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Not one. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I it's have a degree the, in gender the, studies. Wait, was that the take? The that's that was, all she said. That's was all that she said. Was that legit the end? She's it, like, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> I hope you get no ad revenue. I agree. A woman comes. They said, Hmm, imagine that. The hmm. film that is directed by a woman has the lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes. Not warranted. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Senior wow. correspondent. Wagmeister. <laughs> oh, wow. I can see that scene from the room. I, I can already yeah. see that, that clip. I can already see that clip leading off Gary's next video. I can already <laughs> see it. Like, that's the cold opening right there. <laughs> Perry Chan, there you go. Yep. Uh, yep. I am... Well, I, yeah, maybe Perry will edit my next video. Uh, if you got time, Perry, because uh, it took me so long to edit that other one. Um, I am so bad, fucking slow at that shit. Uh, Cockin Meduncaner. Cockin Meduncaner. Love you, Cockin. Uh, oh, wow. Every Cockin week, Cockin. Cockin Meduncaner for the, uh, the dyslexic Irishman. For the dyslexic <laughs> Irishman. Uh, who's Irish? Uh I'm Scottish, dude. Draw. Uh, so excited. My eternal review was published on Rotten Tomatoes. I said, this was the biggest pile of diverse garbage with horrid performances <laughs> from the entire <laughs> cast and a script not worthy of being used in a San Francisco gas station bathroom. Four and a half out of five stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that was appropriate. 
You see, I thought Duncan for a second we were talking about something else, but uh, then we, we, uh, Gary, we had the, the we got a, what was. a second camera. Um, uh. We've seen what a second <laughs> camera in the sex scene has picked has picked oh, up. No. That is amazing. Uh, that that is is, amazing. This is great, yeah. Oh, it's, no. <laughs> <laughs> look at the paws, darling. The yeah, paws. Look at them. Just look. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at that nose. That oh. is. He needs a pore strip stat. I love you. That's why he goes into the sun. <laughs> I to love take care of I the love pores. you so much. He's what are you looking at? Oh no. <laughs> Ew, I can feel that little shaved mustache bristling up against me. Sir, uh, looking at my nostril hairs. Ew. Okay, we'll go with the side shot. Okay, we're going to go with the side shot for this one. <laughs> oh, hey, it's, artistic. Right, that's, uh, it's artistic. That's Rene, by the way. That's Rene just being amazing. Oh, yeah. Rene Rene is oh, amazing. So much. Nose before hose. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, you're definitely getting it there. <laughs> Yep. Uh, hey, uh, Revan three three six three four thirty three seventy four. Oh my God, that's like Too many uh, numbers. that's a lot of numbers, man. Very but uh, numbers. Gary, I have a bone to pick with you guys. <gasps> At my work, there is a guy called George. And every time I see him, I want to scream, George, at the top of my voice. Do it. Uh, the guys it. at work already think I'm weird. Well, then fucking roll with it, dude. Perfect. Do it, yeah. Perfect. Do it, do I don't it, want do them it. thinking Nothing I'm a psycho as well. No, they, see, they'll fear you if they think you're a psycho. That that really kind of saved my ass in prison. So, uh, yeah, th go ahead and just roll with the psycho thing, uh, the motif. I'll call it a motif. So, yeah, just scream, George. Uh, I'd like some coffee. You know, and then follow it up with some. <laughs> Thank you. Like, here you go. Here you go. Right here. Uh, Dan Vask, the beautiful, the beautiful and talented Dan Vask uh, for 100 Brazilian pesos. Says Ooh. the other day I encouraged my female followers to post less drama and more boobs. Some people were upset. Can you believe that? I, I know. What? Why were they upset? Why, why uh, would they be upset? Less drama, that. more boobs. I think that should be a way of life. Uh, yeah. We all need, Everybody we all need more drink. Who is that super chat? That was Dan Fast. Dan Fast. Oh, Dan? Oh, well, shit. I'm going to go scroll Dan's, uh, go scroll Dan's Dan's Twitter. Dan's been yeah, yeah. You've been a thirsty boy, Dan. <laughs> you've, been, you've been thirsting after some titties the last couple of days, boy. Hey, Dan, I'm not mad. I'm just, boy, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> well, there, there, by the looks of it, there's been plenty of women who have been like, okay. <laughs> okay, Dan. Well, as we both provided our headshots for that uh, yeah. as well. So. And we are very, very we beautiful men. Look very good. I beautiful, beautiful men. Beautiful trying to find souls. Dan's tweet. <laughs> I want to look at those replies. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing I'm Well, I'm actually going through our stuff looking for people. He might we, be just being sarcastic. Go. He often no, does no, no. that. He legit. He legit did it. <laughs> he did? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, less drama, more cleavage is what the world needs. Oh, that, yeah. you didn't say boobs, cleavage. There's a big difference there, Dan. Okay. Hey. Oh, yeah. Disappointed now. <laughs> Just completely. He went PC. Yeah. He's still Barry. recovering from the beatdown he took okay. from, uh, from me and Tommy Tron on uh, Fragger <laughs> Rights. So oh, I'm just going to put what happened. So I. Yeah, I love this. I don't know. Fact. We had that Game Boy though. Brightest day is watching with his, boy. his grandma threw on the ocean on yeah. some <laughs> boobs. Send <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> there you go. Just put that out Twitter for you, Dan. There you go, mate. All right. See, I get. Man, there is. Yeah, there is a lot of. There's some cleavage. <laughs> yeah, I can't show that, but uh, I can retweet Wait, that what? at least. That seems fine. What? The, your cleavage versus Selma Hayek's oh, cleavage? Oh, whoops. Okay, I saw something what? else. I mean, we may be. That's fine. But, but, Don't yeah. show Selma yeah, Hayek. No. Do a poll. Stop Friday it. Night no. Tights poll. Uh, uh, Chrissy's or Selma's? Oh, no. I'm going to lose. Chrissy, you're going to lose. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chrissy. You're going to lose. So you can, yeah, you can do lose. those YouTube polls. I love it, Chrissy. <laughs> you're going to lose. I'd vote for her boobs, too. Uh, Plus, her boobs are diverse. Yeah, I, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Edge. Diverse boobs. Mm. They can speak Spanish too. Yeah. Uh, Boob X. Como estas? <laughs> Patrick L's for one hundred dollars. Yo, <laughs> thank you. You guys rock. Thank you, God, man. I'm, the the freaking drive home wasn't that bad. 
because I had such a good time. I was just buzzing from that on the way home, just listening to a, a freaking Graham Hancock on an audio book. And yeah, the time kind of flew. It was great. I had such a good time. The, uh, the turnout was nuts, dude. Yeah, dude. It really was. Uh, yeah, we, we had to keep move. We had to move out of an area because you guys were, were taking up so much space, and I guess some band was coming in, and more, more people came to see us than the poor band. But uh, the, <laughs> that the, sucks. Uh, yeah, I mean the, the band was fine. No, it doesn't fuck them. Yeah, fuck the band. <laughs> fuck them. It's only but... their dreams. Yeah, it's only their dreams yeah. being crushed. Uh, so, get good. Uh, sorry, I'm watching cool, uh, the Ricada breakdown of Rittenhouse trial. Did I miss Nerdrotic uh, ranting about terrible Eternals? Eternals, uh, kind of, uh, Patrick, but it's okay because uh, it stays on the channel, so you can watch it whenever you want. It's all good. Mm. Yeah. And uh, shout out to Nick Ricada, who yeah, yeah it's awesome. that stream has been fantastic. Fucking yeah, crushing it with the Rittenhouse it over coverage. There. Well, mm. Rittenhouse. Um, it's a that's a fucking kangaroo court. It's all fucking bullshit. And if he get, if he does a second of time, uh, our justice system Ooh. is completely fucked and broken. Yep. Yeah, the uh, uh, look, defense didn't have a great uh, opening statement uh, a few days ago, uh, but today what? they fucking destroyed every yeah. single one of the prosecution's witness on cross. Good. So Damn. well, and and in, 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 in the defense's defense. The prosecution did a really good job of defending Kyle. So absolutely, yeah, did. yeah. The prosecution <laughs> did a really good job. Better, better than put... the actual defense attorney. Yeah, and this is a kid who, who too. objected to nothing apparently. And uh, yeah. oh, he's he's starting to now. That's good. I mean, this he's, is a, he's, he's, yeah. it's a, it's a fourteen day trial, right? It was, so it was it, the first day. He was a one he was the, a nightmare. One of the guys he ended. It was confirmed was a uh, a convicted uh, Fredo, right? Like Correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. Five time children, Fredo. Five. Yeah. Five uh, well, and th there was a big problem with that because they had one of those relatives testify about what a great person he was. They had to kind of like strike it, otherwise it was going to open up character stuff yep. for the defense to go and question. Yes. Hey, so you can yeah. can you tell us about how many kids he raped? You know, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I, think, I don't think it was a I don't think it was a family member. It was, it was like somebody was close to him. It was a great aunt. He's a great aunt. Okay. Who's close yeah. to their great aunt? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> uh, I was a oh, she was child alive. molesters. You know, Odin. Uh, Craig, she was like a she was like a grandmother to me, actually. Oh. But more. Maybe but she's wow. a great aunt. <laughs> nice. You're welcome. All right. Now that we made way it to make it awkward, Oak. Odin. 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 Yep. Odin. Yep. Odin. Thank you for your input, Odin. It's, it's November. It's, it's uh, a month of it's a month of souls. Remember, Craig Fragente for. Forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine. The reason I love FNT it reminds me of pre internet nineties when nerdism wasn't monetized when I uh friends would get together at pre Starbucks coffee houses, nursing giant coffees, smoking cigarettes, and slamming nerd topics. All hail. Yes. Uh I was practicing for podcasts. Decades ago, in the 90s, this would be my friend Doug, my friend Jay, uh, and Brooks, and I would be the four of us sitting at a fucking, uh, at a coffee house before the movie. We'd fucking fake cast movies. We'd, uh, we'd, we'd be, I'm talking just like I talked to the guys here, to them. Uh, but 25 years yeah. ago to, to nobody or people getting annoyed in a coffee shop. But that was what I was doing. We would we would waste hours upon hours upon hours it, sitting in the box office of the movie theater I used to work at just doing this, just talking like yep. about movies and comic books and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's what I love about this show is that we get to do that here. Hell yeah. Uh, yep. WG for $100. WG is awesome, by the way. Met him on a member stream last week, uh, and uh, thank you, Az. And uh, he's legit. I saw the Eternals, and I'm not sure what the hell you watched. Great story and character development. Effects were top notch and way ahead of their time. Acting was a mess. Wait, oh, uh, what's that? Oh, being told now that the movie I just saw was something called Blade Runner. As you were. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> yes, thank you, WG and Mikey Gussler. Uh, man, this has just got to be a glorious day for you, dude. Mikey's just get win because uh, you know who got Jack Kirby right? You know, there's the one director in Hollywood who got Jack yeah. Kirby right. Zach, Zach Snyder. Fucking yeah, don't, don't want to associate with geeks and gamers. Snyder. Uh, wow. uh, Mikey yep. Gussler for $50. Says, I heard people. Mikey. 
mostly like MCU fans say the Eternals is Zack Snyder's <laughs> Justice League. Yeah, sure it was. If Zack Snyder's Justice League was woke garbage, uh, which it wasn't. So no. uh, it is the, kind of garbage, but it's just not woke garbage. Yeah, Zack uh, Snyder's Justice League. Different, no, kind, of, different kind of garbage. No. I disagree. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Zack Snyder's pretty, pretty Justice pretty League was fucking great. It, I mean, uh, if, you, if, if you're taking the low Zach bar Snyder's that cut. Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman gave us, then yeah, it's a fantastic movie. Yeah. But by the standard of a good movie, Justice League is shit. It's no. just not like a good movie. Four hours no. to tell a half-decent story, yeah. Dog shit. Yeah. No. But comparatively speaking to Man of Steel and BVS is a masterpiece. Uh, everything. Uh, if I filmed myself like taking a dump, would be a masterpiece compared to like what I just fucking watched in the yeah. fucking movie theater. Again, more entertaining. Legitimately more it entertaining. Would be. With more yeah, nuts, especially at with my more age. emotion. Yeah, there would be yeah, yeah, a lot so of much more some crying. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Effort. You oh, show <laughs> character development. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The Reminds time the, is better the awesome than the human chain does, in Eternals. Who does number, number two, two work, work for? for? <laughs> uh, That's right. You tell that bird turd who's boss. Uh, since I have not seen the film and don't plan to, do you agree with that? I want Jay Longbone's take, especially... Hello there, baby girl. Wow. Uh, that's Mikey Gussler. Oh, Jesus for Christ. <laughs> Follows me everywhere. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Uh, they, they did try to do Superman with Icarus. They, they did. but And, and oh, Flash. Fucking big time. Uh, but it's, no, it's terrible. Uh, Jay Longbow, did you, do you think, uh, I, I don't know, uh, do you think it's as good? Better or worse than the Snyder Cut of Justice League? Oh, <laughs> it's nowhere near the Snyder Cut. I mean, the Snyder Cut isn't necessarily the greatest movie, but yeah, it's still light years better than that fucking sleeping pill. <laughs> the Eternals. Yeah. That's what it might be good for, Jay, is if you have uh, sleeping problems, you might want to just, you know, just have that movie on sound kind of down a little yeah. bit because and if you want to have diverse dreams i yeah, did diverse. almost fall asleep twice rather in that movie legitimately yeah i, I, well, I don't want to sound I, like I, a broken I, I record but I just, i've had to force myself awake i just want to dream of sam hanks fucking big old fucking city <laughs> <laughs> there's a poll right now on twitter about whose boobs are better, Chrissy's oh, or Salma Hayek's? Don't even, I want to vote. Don't even, How's it going? Do How's it going? I don't even want to see it. No. Where do we vote? Chrissy, you're, you're winning. Chrissy, I want to no. know. I want to know what your boobs, what your boobs voted, because you have a boob account on Twitter. Can they each get a vote? Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, right now you're winning account. like seventy thirty. Is there a what? Chrissy Mayer's left? I will boob say, account? Rick, it's a, it's a biased Rick. poll because it does say gross Salma Hayek's. A lot of these were mail-in oh, votes. Oh, boo! They're mail-in no. ballots. <laughs> They're not legit. Yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta wait till three a.m. And there's a lot of real lot of dead people voting. There's gonna They're... be a huge dump in the middle of the night. Well, and yeah, Gary's yeah. gonna record and post it. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're about as legit as the, those votes are about as legit as those uh, reviews <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes or vice versa. Uh, One hundred battles for fifty dollars. <laughs> this is planets. Hatching celestial eggs is lame ass Alex Ross retcon from Earth X. Yes, it is. And uh and, and but for Doctor Who fans, it's also the worst fucking Doctor Who episode oh. ever uh that we don't want to ever bring up. Oh. Kill the moon. Uh but yes, um Earth X I didn't I I like some of it because it was an alternate universe. But yes, they um they they fucked up the celestials like so much in this movie. If you're a fan of it at all, like not just Jack Kirby stuff, but what they've done later, uh, uh, the limited series, not the good DC Earth X, uh, where freedom fighters live. Well, it's, it's uh, um, Earth X. I yeah, I liked it. I did. Uh, but it was an alternate. Universe, I thought so the celestial sound a little bit like uh, Mahler. Whenever he popped up on screen, it was like talking and it was like booming voice. Hello. And it was like, Mahler, <laughs> did you get a job? Long man, what are you doing here? The long man. The, yeah, the only thing I thought that I liked, honestly, was just seeing a celestial. 
and I thought they did an okay job. But um, visually, they, yeah. Cool. But now it takes away the impact of Galactus. Like any impact he's going to have is gone, unless you don't watch the movie, and then you're probably cool. But they they won't forget too, the movie. They went too galactic. They did. They just like went. You know, they were kind of working their way up to it. They were powering up. You notice they were powering up superheroes. They powered up Thor. You know, mm-hmm. and they were and and now we just have a bunch of you know freaking op female characters with like you know for all of a sudden scarlet witch is the sorceress supreme because she's more powerful than the sorcerer supreme uh and then monica rambeau is just she's just powerful because she broke a barrier uh no, Captain, Captain marvel is just black. powerful uh yeah <laughs> but she was black and she walked through a barrier so the symbolism uh, then, then she breaking got a, barriers she she got the positive affirmation while she was breaking the barrier too mm. saying you were the best of the best you were always so good powerful. i always knew you could do it you know uh yeah it was terrible i was laughing my ass off during that scene <laughs> i was like can they fit any more compliments uh in this uh sheep city for fifty dollars sheep city I want to shill my podcast. Okay. Titled The Chopping Block. It airs every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Twitch at Sheep City. I cover mostly media, and I can rant my face off. As soon as I figure out StreamYard, I'd like to start inviting you all on. Uh, StreamYard is pretty easy. It's pretty easy. It's just uh, the audio sucks. Yeah. Audio absolutely sucks. I recommend Restream. I've hung out in Sheep Cityans uh, chats a couple times. Really cool dude. So yeah. definitely recommend going give him a follow. For sure. Trying to encourage Sheep to do more content. You, are you, Stop you, there for a while. Odin, you using Restream to stream from? Like inviting guests? I tried it on my uh, Patreon uh, stream the other day, and it worked out pretty well. How was the, how was I the, just got it. How was the audio with uh, like XLR mics? I thought it sounded pretty good. Okay. Is that the one where you have to, you have to pay to get the, like, the Restream logo off? Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to yeah. Pay like that. That's, to, that's pretty much every yeah. one. Yeah, you have to, you yeah. Have to do that with yeah. Streaming art too. So yeah, well, yeah, no, but it just that that when I was looking at the price, I was like, holy fuck! So, How much was yeah. the price? Uh, there was like a Halloween sale, and so I ended up just paying for the year because I was like, why not? What's the ballpark? I saw the standard price is like five hundred a year. It's like one twenty okay. for the year. Yeah. But does that one that one gets the logo off? Is... That gets the logo. That gets the logo off. You get uh, six See, hours. When I, was, when I was looking Yikes. at that, it was it was not that cheap. <laughs> I'll just say yeah, that. yeah. No, so they recent. It was like in the last few months they they moved the logo to the lower tier. You used to have to get the professional to get that one. Now it's the standard this is tier. Really fucking interesting. I know. You're right? welcome. Yeah. I didn't want to go this far. I just wanted the price. Technical. Uh, Sean S for one hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, says Venom. Let There Be Trash is the Citizen Kane of 2021 comic book movies after the retardles. Poor Rob Stark. <laughs> That's the name. That's the name. Point the retardles. The retardles. The retardles. Sounds like turtles. Uh, Sean S. wins. The like retardles. Poor Rob Stark just keeps dying in all his shows. Yeah, he does. Uh, which is two. <laughs> which is two. Fucking the retardles. Oh, God, I'm going to be laughing about that all night. Uh, hey, uh, we know this guy, John Bartolo. What's up? John. Hey, oh, John. What's up, dude? Oh, yeah. What's up, John? Thanks again. Wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't wouldn't have had uh, uh, one of our meetings in Arizona without John. Uh, always having Geeks and Gamers back. He's a great guy. We love him. So he's the man. Yeah, thanks. Uh, he says Eternals. What was that? He he's just he's got such big stuff going. I got Buck Sexton on the podcast the other day, um, which is fucking awesome. Great listening to him in a different environment than you usually hear, like national talk radio. So John has awesome stuff going on right now. Definitely follow that man. Uh, thank you, John. And he says Eternals looks about as cool as going to a funeral. I w- <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, how do I answer that? I got to be careful how I answer that. I would rather attend uh, a funeral of somebody who died after a long life of natural causes <laughs> in their sleep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All you have to say is that he's not wrong. Uh, I want to take it. I want to take it farther, man. Uh, I'm here to be Fair. verbose. I am here to be verbose. Comics division uh, to talk a lot, not just go. Yep, yeah, right. Okay, thanks. Sure. 
Uh, where did I just sure. fucking go? Uh, here we go. I'm here to. Well, jibber. before you go any further, I'm going to head out for the evening and make oh, way for Tom. No. As I go eat some no. Halloween candy. Mm, can you do what's that? What's your favorite? What's your favorite candy? I love Twix. Like the chewy oh, like, What? Oh, After oh, last week, you still no, eat Twix? Last week, yeah. <laughs> what? what? You're going to go Let me Twix? explain something right now. Reese Cup miniatures are the best candy. It's an objective fact, and I will Milky not accept way. any other Milky answer. Milky Way is up there for me, too. And Odin? Jesus yeah. even said that in the Bible. He did. Yeah, yeah, it was Jeremy, in best. Jeremy, I'm going to agree with John, you a John, thousand percent, yeah. percent on that one. I absolutely. I do like no, Junior yeah. Mints too. And, Junior Mints. Put them in the freezer, though. Put them in the freezer. Didn't, yeah. Oh, didn't Jesus yeah. say, "Let my Reeses go"? <laughs> <laughs> and that's that why we have Reeses. Moses says Reeses. this. Oh, Moses yeah. says. Moses. For some reason, yeah. Reeses miniatures are the best because it's the best somehow, ratio. It's the best ratio of chocolate to peanut butter. Mm. I can't explain it, but it's a simple yeah. fact. Mm -hmm. When they perfect. do the double mm. stuffed, it's not. It's too much. Whenever they do more chocolate, it's too much. Perfect. Yeah. Mini miniature right oh, that's the OG I mean I like too. the original the OG, cup. yeah 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 it's the OG. I also OG, like just OG a, an old school Hershey's chocolate oh, yeah. candy bar oh, chocolate no. yeah for sure yeah. I'll eat the mm -hmm. fuck out of those but Twix listen yeah. I've been off Twix ever since they decided that it's just going to be two left sticks to match their politics yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when they decided killing children is a good thing. oh yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that, that whole thing oh. was ridiculous but I mean the candy objectively speaking I, I, I enjoy that the most so. there you go yeah but anyway, all right. Get catch you later. I love you guys. You all have a wonderful Bye. evening. Bye. Go, Bye. Bye. Go, Bye. go watch the Eternals. There, I got him away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> go I mean, watch Eternals. Yeah, go watch the Eternals. <laughs> go watch off jerk, you jerk. How dare you not watch Eternals? I had to do it. Yeah. Uh, if I hadn't, if I hadn't been fucking back. coming back here, I know. Way to make I it know. Happen. I gave. You, I, I let you have an excuse. Uh, I, had I managed. Hall Halloween was last week, dude. I managed to see it. Do so, you like yeah. Marvel movies? No, no. Yeah, not anymore. Oh, all right. Bye. If, if I <laughs> if I'd only had to go uh, or uh, drive six hours, oh, I definitely would have made it. But fuck, we've been traveling too much lately. Jesus Christ. That is Me true. And Jeremy have at least. I'm Gary yeah. has been traveling a lot. We're fucking over. Oh, it. dude, I had to send my wife alone to go look for houses. That's, I mean, it's kind of Aww. fucked up. Yeah, it's and thankfully Steph uh, was out there. Uh, my hey, home. She Gary, was out Gary, there and Gary. she hung out. Yeah. Have you got a Have you got a swimming pool? Yes. Yes, wow! Is it a above nice ground? Is, as is that going to get you to Texas? Is it I'm, plastic? I'm very disappointed what, dude, to say I, it's I, I not above ground. America, you're fucking mental at the minute. Oh, Texas is fine. Not Texas. Yeah, not Texas, Texas or Florida, fine. man. Texas, Beautiful. Florida, great. See, if I if I got to fly though, I got to get poked. No. 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 Yeah. I don't okay. know. I mean, you. I mean, you go downtown wait, London. Wait, you got a good chance to get poked minute. by a, a Somalis. As, go to hate. Hey, as, hey, as, as as go to Haiti. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, yeah. stop, 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 stop. As was telling me, there was no, ma <laughs> there was no mandates there. There was no mandates wait. there. So th they're no, mandating there's no mandate, for flight. But if you want to, unless you want to fly, then you got to get poked. Because I didn't you have take to the get bus? poked. But there's no mask mandate and there's no. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So he's saying from England or yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there's no fucking... mandate here to do that, so that must be Correct. in the UK. Yeah, okay. If you want to, if you want to travel abroad, then you got to get poked. What about I... take a bus Shit. or like a train? From England? Uh, yeah. Hi. Right. <laughs> I took a I bus, a bus that City goes to over Texas. the Atlantic. You could take a boat. You could take it. Can you get on a boat? Yeah. Nah, Chris, I think you know we're about about those cargo ships. Carnival cruise. <laughs> hey, Alice, to hey. come to the U.S., why don't you you risk your life by stowing away on some fucking Somali cargo ship? <laughs> you can't get, yeah, well, you can't yeah, get away from Somali. It's going to take you to Haiti, where you're probably either going to die of being stabbed, raped, or, or, mugged, as, or fucking earthquake. As hey, there, there's going to be a long and enough line to where you might be able to drive oh, across. Uh, but if I do that, and then I go up through Mexico, I'm going to get four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yes, yeah. right. right. Yeah, they will also right. give you the jab. Though. Got him. Uh, as and by the time you get up there, walking through Mexico, you'll have a bit of a tan, so you'll be able to just kind of yeah, yeah, just yeah. convince it. Yeah, go by Julio. I'm a, a Mister <laughs> Julio. <laughs> My name is Julio. Smith. My name is Julio. Uh, uh, Mr. Wolverine 0085 on the Streamlabs side for $50. Says, remember, remember, 
the 5th of November. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Uh, it, may, it, it may be sixth, time no, for it to happen again. Uh, indeed. Indeed. Uh, I, yeah, I, oh, I wanted to do something more, but I was traveling. I'm, I'm going to watch V for Vendetta tonight. That's what I'll do to celebrate. Uh, same here. Just got the 4K. Such a good film. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to watch that. To get a Speaking of 4K, film. can we get the likes up to 4K? Since hey. That's a good hey I'm talking about smashing that like button. I like that transition. I did. Transition. Nearly as much as the Grand Admiral of the American Army. Oh. No. Oh. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Comics, what's up? What's up, dude? Sorry, that was funny. Why are you laughing? She, She's beautiful. <laughs> she's got a beautiful cock. Yes, thank you. <laughs> If you didn't say it, <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh. uh, what is reality? I mean, that wasn't me. Reality that wasn't me. You can't prove it. It was me. It was me. You can't I'll prove it. It wasn't me. Uh, speaking of beautiful souls, uh, beautiful George Molo for one hundred dollars. <laughs> George. Welcome to the Go. Diversifiers Hollywood masturbatory fantasy film to save the world, <laughs> a public global circle jerk between a nerd of Hollywood, sacred cows, celebrity debutantes, DC swamp activists, and their comrades in their megaphone mafia of mainstream. George. Wow, 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 wow. Guns are coming in hot. Uh, George for $200. Jesus Christ. $200. The diversifiers, the shames, the Middle East of single kiss and forces of the CCP to censor Zhao from their platforms out of shame. Diversifiers ends insomnia and racism with a single screener as audience of all colors rush to exit. Eternals is to superhero films what Ruby Rose was to Batwoman. Uh, skinny, injury prone, non-emoting, uh, bitter. Uh, I mean, come on. The the I, just the similarity between Ru Ruby Rose uh, and breaking up with Batwoman and the breakup of your average lesbian relationship uh, is, is hilarious. I mean, that's exactly how it's playing out in real life. Uh, and if you lived in San Francisco, you'd understand that joke because when le lesbians move in, they are out within a year. They're in the U-Haul. They're gone, and they're fighting with each other. It's hmm. yeah, it's it's. Just I was normal. gonna say maybe with a little bit less violence. Mm. Eh. Less violence. Violence. It's violence. Uh, George oh, Molo violence for two hundred dollars. Yeah, uh, Eternals did what Warner and DC George. have tried for fifty years to knock Marvel on its ass. It is akin to Thorazine, a movie for the rubber room, paranoid, and the homebody couch kings searching for a hit of drooling boredom to escape day to day reality. Hail to the legends of live. Hail to Friday Night Tights. Yeah. Yeah. George. Hey, sh hey shout out, shout out to uh, George. George's George. channel, he's doing great. His videos are freaking high quality as hell. So go over there, check him out. George is the man. George! I check him out. out. George. Oh, hell that Marvel is getting stop or my mom will shoot it. What was that? Yeah. I think it's hilarious that Marvel got stop or my mom will shoot it. Uh, that's you remember the movie Stopper My Mom Will Shoot? Yeah, I do. Sylvester yeah, Stallone, Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester yeah. Stallone yeah. joke uh, that basically Schwarzenegger's like, Watch, I can get this motherfucker. What did you just call him? Movie. Sylvester what Stallone. did you just call him? <laughs> Stallone. <laughs> he said Stallone. Stallone. He called him a Schwartz of what? Schwarzenegger. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, wow. Hey, hey, wow. Hey, wow. Hard R's. What are you, a Kyle Rittenhouse Jesus defense attorney? Tom. There's <laughs> an R at the end. I, I understand you, you don't treat me, you know, with respect. Garrett, Jay Longbone is here, okay? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. We got like one and a quarter black representation anyway, he, today. He, Thank he, you. I know this. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, he uh, tricked Stallone into doing Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. So I think that basically Marvel got tricked into making the Eternals because they thought Ava DuVernay was going to make the new gods. Yep. Oh, <laughs> they pulled the rug out. And, and, <laughs> and if, if America's dumbest company decided to pull the plug on that movie and Marvel didn't, what does that tell you? Uh, that I mean, mm -hmm. WB did make a smart move. Plus, it, Tom King was writing it. Oh, I'm almost sorry it didn't get made. 
in a way. Yeah, it would have been kind of magnificent. We could have been able to roast it. Roast the shit. The cringe would have been delicious. Oh my god, it would just be a bunch of sad men crying. Uh, and Orion and, and yeah. High Father, I really yep. just fucking bitches. Yeah, just yeah. Big Bertha and fucking Granny Goodness running the show and sucking the life out of Dark Side. What's funny is they told her Ava DuVernay that they didn't do it because of the Snyder cut. <laughs> yeah, we, we, talk, we mentioned it before. Like after that drop, yeah. they, they basically <laughs> fucking said, "There's no way we could go forward with this bullshit." No. Nope. So. Yeah, we saw the Snyder cut, and then we read your script, and it was <laughs> shit. Yeah, they were never it. gonna make that movie. They just so to we say... decided not to go forward with yeah. it. They were never going to make that movie. They just wanted to say they were making a movie with Ava DuVernay. That's all it yeah. was. Because mm. her name was hot because of the Brie Larson thing. Uh, yep. And it was more of that casting. And we're going to see a lot of other projects quietly. I mean, freaking uh, uh, Rianne Johnson's trilogy. It's never going to happen. Ava hey, DuVernay, she's still working out. for DC, though. She's doing something for DC. Yeah, it's announced it that. Oh, she's that doing awesome, Naomi. That awesome fandom. Oh, it's coming to the CW. Yeah, yeah she's doing Naomi. Oh, she's, she's doing Naomi. Naomi. <laughs> that's it, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> the consolation prize. <laughs> that's where Ava DuVernay fucking belongs. And that they, is they, great. They demoted her ass. We got a new one, ass. <laughs> No, can, we, clear, you. can we can we see clear that about clip from, I need to I need to see if we can uh, find the clip for Naomi. This is uh, uh, Ava DuVernay. Yeah, there is, is a trailer a, out. She is a oh. racist. She is a flat out racist by every legitimate definition of the word. Ava DuVernay okay. is a racist. I just want to put that out code. there. What was it? Was it it's Naomi? Tr- right. That has uh uh uh. Mm, how do I say it now? Uh, I can't just well uh, people who transition it, on Themyscira. I don't know if you want to play it though. Uh, they 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 uh, they've j- changed the definition of a woman on Themyscira. Uh, mm-hmm. Basically, was it Naomi? Was it from right. Naomi? Oh no, that's uh, that's Vida Ayala. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Okay. The other comic who book. writes the same fucking thing every fight. So this is the. Do you want to do you want to play? It's from the DC fan though, so you might well, have to wait. clip it out of the. Yeah. Huh? If we clip it out, we lose the chat. Remember that. I will play this about Ava. I know somebody who knows her personally, and they say that the only reason people even kiss her ass is just because of who she is. Everybody like fucking hates her. This She's is, like I a mean, horrible person. Well, she seems this, like a bitch. This, this yeah. trailer yeah. is absolute. <laughs> okay. She okay. gives off bitch vibes. Chat, hey, hey, chat hey, we will is... let you decide, chat. So, one, yes, we play it. Two, we don't. Because if we play it, I got to clip it out later. Well, and and, Gary, we'll, and we'll, lose the, we'll lose the chat on the side. So, it what does Warner this Brothers clip prove? Is, it, it is Warner Brothers, so hey, you shit. can just copyright claim it. I could fight it. I could fight it. it. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. All right, Try let's fight it. it. Fuck it. I'll just fight fucking it. fucking do it. Yeah, I'll fight We're it. gonna play it? Okay. No, Thanks, I Ryan. See it. Thanks, boy. Yeah. Thanks, baby boy. Now, are we ready to begin? <laughs> What's going on? Annabelle says there's a stunt happening in the square. <laughs> Something to do with Superman. I need this for my site. Bathroom break. Is this a commercial? I'll be right back. This is a trailer. Oh no. For a show. Wow. Yes. This was directed by a person. <laughs> is this direct? <laughs> not a, not a robot. Self insert. There's our self insert. Yeah. <laughs> it actually does kind of. This isn't a student true. film. I know. <laughs> this is the trailer. This is a trailer? Okay. And they just wasted it. 30 yeah. seconds on that in a trailer? What an, I'm, I'm so. I'm she passed out due to racism. <laughs> There's so much <laughs> racism happening. That the is it. What the? What? What, what? 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 Oh the fuck God. was that? <laughs> well, she Jay, got a migraine and had to on. lay down. I, I uh, my condolences to she you. She saw a big staff, and yeah, she got a headache. Can't wait to see the That's videos, right, Chrissy. Hey, that is the great trailer for Naomi showing off at the DC Fandom event. Oh, that's gonna be. Oh, it's it's wonderful. It's fantastic. Who do we lose? More I like love Naomi. the diversity in it. I love the we diversity. Lost we lost. We lost Jay. Jay. Long Bomb. Lost Jay. 
Oh no! Oh no! Probably because she had to it go was, skateboard somewhere. It was my <laughs> the, Naomi, the Naomi trailer killed her. And then she, then she passed out. Well, and what you're thinking of, Gary, was Nubia. Nubia and the Amazon. Yes, yes, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, that's sorry, I'm racist, so I screwed him. I got him confused. <laughs> all all well, that SJW frankly, garbage. All that, I guess. All that SJW garbage looks the same to me. So. But we, we do have that was uh, especially bad. We do have live footage of me coming trying to get into America. Uh, <laughs> there you go, man. If, if you can, if you can juke the whips, you're in. Bro. It's not going too well That's right great. now. I'm, I'm trying though. That. You know, there she is. I'm giving it my best shot, guys. There I'm giving it my is. best shot. Hi, Jay. What if we get married for a green Hi. card, Ann? Oh shoot! I uh, how long does it take to get a green card? Then don't have to go like take a test. I don't know. Like I love America Mental. test. It's like no, that's who's... whenever you're trying to become a citizen. Chances yeah. oh. are though, with our school system compared to yours, you probably you wanna... know more about America than <laughs> most people. That's probably yeah. Right. yeah, but that'll mean I'm problematic, won't it? Exactly. You know the you truth, are. and that's you problematic. Are, right? so <laughs> you need to do better, as yeah. You just got to be able to like say the pledge of allegiance and the Star Spangled Banner shit, which is more than half the Democrats in office. So you should be fine. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. why they really don't want to say it. They can't remember all the words. I pledge the allegiance to the flag. Damn it. Uh, was that right? Of yeah. the United yeah. States of America. Yeah. America. Yeah. Uh, and to the Republic for Richard, Richard Stans. For all of the... <laughs> Richard, Stans. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Stans is one of the founding fathers. <laughs> yeah, he's up on the Rushmore. Mm -hmm. He's the one on the right side. Yep. <laughs> Who's the black dude? <laughs> on on Mount Washington. Rushmore, oh. George, George Washington. Washington. That's Denzel, bro. No, it's Denzel, Denzel Washington. <laughs> nice. Denzel Washington. I thought so. He looks fucking good. Speaking of Mount, Mount Rushmore, you should share my thing. I'm sharing there, Gary. Yeah, George Mount Washington is an honorary black man because he's got a massive dick. That's mm -hmm. true. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust him. <laughs> <that. laughs> Probably. Probably. Oh my God. <laughs> These are wow, fat. that's that's good. pretty based good. as fucking Abraham Lincoln there. <laughs> Speaking of based, did Alec Baldwin <laughs> scream six separate Tyrannus as well? Is <laughs> <laughs> that what happened? <laughs> My friend. Speaking of base, did you guys see that Emilio Estevez is returning for the Mighty Ducks season two? Uh, Ooh. Yeah. I thought All he that. gave up acting and directing completely. I'm surprised he came back to that for a first season. Well surprisingly i ended up getting suckered into watching it it's better than you think it was not as good as cobra kai but it's on a similar level but he's not really? coming back because of the vaccine mandates nice Ooh. smart man yeah so nice. oh i like, I like fuck that noise now. yeah yeah i've always liked emilio he's always, got uh, something in common with rush that movie's not coming back either but that's because yeah. alec Baldwin was shooting people oh. so <laughs> I love how there was no joke there. You just, it was just facts. Yeah, just, <laughs> just fucking facts. <laughs> oh, I've heard this is crazy. Yeah, I did. I'm kind of, I didn't pre screen this. So let's just, I haven't no. seen this. Let's see. Uh -oh. I think she what? dropped Is this all she pink? Dropped, what is she this? She dropped some hard M bombs. Like, uh, from like what I can... <laughs> news for women? What is this? <laughs> Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> and Daisy. Daisy. Sending stuff over to the Senate. Oh, well, it's. Most of the product that we've done is, except now we we may have added in the last day or so. Oh no! <laughs> Some what? of what we added is Senate to the bill, like a hearing. Yeah, she added the Senate to like the bill. Hearing. Wow, she's Excuse such me. a Bernie wino. Loves hearing. <laughs> Manchin is, doesn't want Oof. hearing in the bill. Get it. her out of there. Um, <laughs> so somebody Senate oriented, and then we had the family medical need. We figured if they're putting things in, then we can <laughs> let's spit it what out. What the hell? Manchin doesn't like it. Come so, on, man. Um, uh, so we are getting some. Uh -oh. Yeah. Third and what the line? Computers line. Line. Scrub. Line. It's important. Take it out. But is she like the original wine mom she or what? She looks like she's trying to remember so, all her grandkids' so names, like constantly. Yeah, sounds of them. 
It was never... Joey. What the fuck did I she just like say? I have no idea wow. what the fuck she's talking she, about. Okay. I'm assuming it's the infrastructure it, bill, but if she's not morning. drunk, she's having a stroke because Good like she's Sunday not finishing morning. her words. She's <laughs> not. Yeah, she's like. And the Marine, you know, it's like if you know somebody who might be possibly having a stroke. Term limits. Term limits. Oh, thank you. And term limits on everything. Yeah, like. The fact that you, you've got Biden who's literally shitting his pants for the goddamn <laughs> Pope. You've got mm-hmm. Pelosi who cannot get words out that make any sense. This is the first time this has happened. This has been a long time like this. Yeah. You have these people who are ancient, who have been around forever. They're still in but power. Ryan, they're good, not good morning. saying mean things Sunday on morning. Twitter. They're right. not saying mean things on Twitter, though. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh yeah, they, they are. Just, don't forget. They'll, then they will <laughs> see it in its aggregate. And make uh, some. What? Oh my God! I'm horrified. Regardless, no How are they asking questions to what she That's she's 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 fucking vodka. 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 That's she, fucking vodka. Yes, these are our leaders. <laughs> she's like, look, 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 look. No, no. I'm sobering up. I need. She's like, ah, is it five o'clock yet? She's 82 years old. Who promised her a vodka? 82. Wow. Be sure that what we send. It's is not birdable or you're done. Bird bath or privilege. Oh my god! Scrub. What? Is what? This? what? This is the it's edit? like they want to be mean. <laughs> this isn't oh, these aren't mean. words. Exercises for engagement. Catch up the day, Judy. Banana no. bicycle. Uh, church, uh, garden, uh, yeah, dentist. <laughs> like, we're just fucking saying words. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my butt's been right. And, um, uh, we're getting good responses. There's no bad answer. <laughs> oh, yes, Apart there from is. that one. You know, it yeah. is what it is. There are certain objects. <laughs> oh, boy. We're getting wow. I want, to know who those, I want to know who these people's podcasts are that just roast. It's called them. the chicks. Like it's called the chicks on the right. Chicks on I'm, the right. Okay, I, I seen the yeah. website, Dan. I think yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm working on getting them. They're super cool. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck was that? I, I, well, I'm I so bad. Do they just assume nobody it. watches these things? They do. That's pretty yeah. much it. I mean, they've gotten well, away with the, it the for so are long. I mean, uh, most How are the journal asking questions. Most of the stuff was on C-SPAN, right? forever and uh, like nancy pelosi doesn't know what a fucking youtube is or a tiktok or any of that she doesn't know what a fucking myspace is like she's no. so fucking old so no they don't they don't care and if they get caught they'll just lie somewhere else and get backed up yeah like, she's 81 yep Ugh. 81 yeah you isn't Fauci excuse? like 82 also yeah no, she's i don't i don't want to be 40 ages gonna be 82. Old, but our, our guest ages. is back gary uh-oh what was that our guest is big. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, up. sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Hello. And uh, Comics Hello. Division's platform yeah. shoes uh, has <laughs> deno- donated $50. <laughs> Little Comics Division baggins from Hobbiton. Uh, all this comics hate on his short takes is discriminating <laughs> against the vertically challenged. I challenge any of you to talk after walking all day in 12 inch leather platform boots <laughs> all day. It's not it like you get to lean on the pole. <laughs> oh. oh, that is lovely. That is lovely. Uh, Let's go. We love you, says Kevin. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Hunts. I, I expect Mike uh, there. For <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, $50, let's go. We love you. We love you, too. What's we up, Kevin? Yeah, What's up, Kevin? Uh, let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, let's go, The Brandon. metaverse. <laughs> The, the metaverse, metaverse yeah. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to the in-game bar for having us out yeah, there last dude. night. It was awesome, dude. Fucking place is cool as hell. It really is. I was is. told there was more people there than the Eternals. There you was. There was in my order. And, 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 and it theater. was a more diverse group of people that were at the Eternals as well. Hell yeah. That, it, it really kind of was. Yeah. Uh, I was a little uh, disappointed. I know Ryan was disappointed, but that's okay. Well, but there were so many people that weren't white there. Yeah, yeah like, it's it's like bad for our, like how are we going to be like the alt right Doctor Who and Star Trek fans if uh, we have you know a diverse 
Uh, I know I've been working on this haircut for so long, you know, <laughs> trying to set this Dude, narrative. And the then only, you know, everybody the only thing you were missing, always spewing. The only thing you were missing last down, night yeah. was a tiki torch. I mean, you had I, the you had the outfit down perfectly. You, you I didn't like check it. any bags. That's really the thing. I just Gary, if you want out. diverse, well, I have just linked Mimology One Hundred and One, where he did a video on the the Microsoft. Oh, uh, and Game. ignite. And this, this is something special. Hello and welcome to Microsoft Ignite. Oh, God. We've got oh, God. Big oh, God. Here we go. And lots Story in store for fuck. you. First, we want to acknowledge that the land where the Microsoft campus is situated <laughs> was traditionally occupied oh, by my the God. Samish, no! the Duwamish. The Holy snow fog. No. The soup fog. Who cares? The muckle shoot. They're not watching the this. Pause it. Pause it. The Tulela and other Coast Salish people. Holy shit. These have to be made up. They, okay. They the buckle the shoes. Second time. <laughs> they, 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 the wicker wackles. They walked through the, an ice corridor 12,000 years shoes. ago. The indigenous people to this country died. They died out. They were called the Clovis people. So shut the fuck up. Yep. There is no indigenous. There's who can hold their land. Okay. Yeah. Get continue. over yourself. Yeah. Get over it. Yeah. since time immemorial. Blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Allison Wines. I'm a senior program manager in our developer tools division. I'm an Asian and white female with dark brown hair wearing a red sleeveless top. What? And I'm Seth Juarez, program manager in the AI platform group. <laughs> I'm showing I'm no cleavage. I'm a Hispanic male wearing a blue shirt, khaki pants. Today we kick off two days of learning more about the latest solutions. We have our right. see what you're wearing. How are you? Are you doing great? Double speak, man. There might be sight, unsighted this people is what watching, doing. you know. This is what I want you to do. Hello, everyone. I'm Natalia Gadilla. I'm a Caucasian woman with long blonde hair, and I go by she, her. I'm a product marketing lead here at Microsoft and co-host of the podcast Security Unlocked with this guy. Yes, that would be me. Ugh. Hello, everyone. I'm Nick Fillingham. I'm a Caucasian man with glasses and a beard. I go by he, him, and I'm a security evangelist here at Microsoft. And I'm in our developer feet. tools division. I'm an Asian <laughs> wait, white wait, wait, wait. female with dark brown <laughs> hair wearing a red sleeveless top. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty funny game. <laughs> wait a minute, though. She what said the... this guy here. She appropriated him before he said his pronoun. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst shit I've. Uh, we're fucking. Oh my god, it's mad. Why? Who is yeah, that? We would like to acknowledge the land that Microsoft is on. It was a. Uh, fuck that, you. Fuck. Stop. Yes. Folks, that this shit is just I work and I see this shit on a daily basis. This base. makes this all kinds of sense now, guys. Now, wait a minute. Stop. They're acknowledging the fact that they're all built on Indian burial grounds. They're just possessed like like poultry guys. Do. Maybe. They're possessed by retards. Be yeah. the change you like want to be and give that fucking retard land guys. back. <laughs> give that fucking land back then. If you want to be the change you want right. to be, give that fucking land back and shut the fuck up. Otherwise, right. just, I agree. Just shut the fuck up. On a, on a completely different note, there's a new casino opening up very soon. Yes. <laughs> At the Microsoft campus. Hey, uh, yeah, if, if any Clovis people are still around, then you can give them back their indigenous or the land. buckle shoes. Yeah, but they're but <laughs> yeah. they're or the, dead. Or the wiki wackles. All the wiki wackles. <laughs> There's no half of those fucking names she said had to be fucking made up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was like, ridiculous. How could that many people oh, have man. fucking inhabited that land? But it's the that fact that we are now <laughs> describing what we look like and what we're wearing, literally for the blind people that are watching, right? That's what it, it's it's to not be ableist. Oh, wow. it's yeah. for the people that are watching that are vision impaired. That's like, why they they're describing care themselves. what they're wearing. Yeah, they don't the things care. that they list off don't matter. Okay, they do not um, matter. It, it, the cult, mm, that's it. To me. Hey, we it, we did talk to somebody who was blind last night at the meetup. Yeah. We did. Okay, mm -hmm. and I I don't know if if you're blind from birth. I, I don't know what the color red means to you. I, how do right. you describe right. the color red? Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's. It's all bullshit. Uh, they, for one, they don't provide enough for them anyway. So I don't know, like, and and why would anybody uh, who would be who would be listening to this Microsoft? Like, how many views does that get? Does that shit get? Do people actually watch that shit? It's like industry five shit. Yeah, it. people in the industry watch it. Okay, so ten, what? ten people in the industry watch it. Uh, that, uh, That's uh, important to them. But the blind guy we were talking to last night, I can tell you one thing. He said, "Let's go, Brandon." He and did. Fuck yeah. Naughty Dog. That's <laughs> what he right. said. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Dude, he Damn right, he did. Awesome, I mean, dude. I can go with the detail about some of the stuff. But I don't want to bore the audience with it. So, fuck out, Microsoft. Yeah, yeah I, I'm sure there's like some in-house dudes, but like that's so overproduced for that shit. I'll just do a Zoom meeting and talk about it. Like, 
Uh, but it's more it's it's changing the culture with, with that language, and and that, that's yes. gonna get double, it's so okay, fucking hard. Right double, double it, it, it goes back to the whole um, ESG stuff and the employee resource group and all this other mm. nonsense. Oh, you mean the yeah. stuff you've been talking about on your channel for about a year, year and a yeah, half? All that and, stuff. Uh, yeah. On yeah, on, okay. Just wanted to check on that. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we've got uh, Kevin Hunts for. Two. Oh, fuck. I did it. <laughs> That's number three. That's number Wait, three. so his name is Kay Hunts? Kay Hunts. Yes. Kevin deserves it. Kevin deserves the clown horn. Don't worry. He deserves it. Yo, this is Skrix. You, oh my God. What the fuck is he typing? Because I cannot read this. Big fan. Uh, oh, I love the, you guys. That, it's, that's the, that's you know, the gaming guy that's tweeting, that's, that's okay. uh, super chatting from his account. From his account. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Crits, what's Crix Ganning? Is it Crix Ganning? Crix Gaming. Crix gaming. gaming. So, gaming. he meant to say Crix Gaming. I think they're uh, all having a lot of fun over there at Endgame Bar right now. So, <laughs> hey, <laughs> fucking have fun. Hey, Kevin, uh, I just super chatted $200 on your phone. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I know. It did, was it from his account, too? <laughs> <laughs> Is he not looking? <laughs> oh shit! If I have to refund it, let me know. Uh, yo, yep. this is Crix. Uh, uh, it was great meeting you last night. I'm interpreting what he's writing here. Uh, X-ray girl. <laughs> Maybe sometimes you can do that too, instead of just like Sorry. copy and pasting the act. Because yeah, because I can't read that. Uh, big fan, and I love you guys, Crix Gaming. Thank you very much for the two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. It was cool uh, talking suddenly, to him last night. Uh, suddenly, Jay's Jay Longbone said that her internet has uh, it spazzed out. Okay, yeah. uh, right. and she needs to get it fixed. So she apologizes, but she thanks uh, everyone for uh, for being on when she we'll was on. We'll get her back on. It and was thank an you. honor. Thank you. It was great. <laughs> we love her. She's awesome. She does great content, outstanding yep. content. She's on EFAP once in a while. Go check her out. Jay Longbone link is in mm. the description. Yeah, uh, please support her. She does some great, yes. just great Batwoman content. Yes. If mainly because of the cringe videos that Gary keeps pulling up, it keeps just killing her internet. It just can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, every time he brings one up. Yeah. It literally is every time he brings one up. You can't one. handle the cringe. <laughs> uh, hey, we got here uh, Quatrina Senpai for four ninety nine says, Jay Longbone and Batwoman is how I found Az and then found Friday Night Tights. Thanks for nice. leading me here. Hail Queen. Jay, hail, hail yeah. Friday Night hail Tights yeah. and hail the fellowship. I'm yeah. great. I love as we called the fellowship. Drop that fucking word community. Don't don't let it. I mean, it, it, only tell people only say community when you tell people not to say community. That's it. That's the only time it should ever be word. It should be the C word. It's the other C word. It's actually worse than cunt. Cunt, <laughs> cunt is not as bad as community. I'm going to use community because I'm just going to use it. That's Gary's deal, no, not I'm mine. I'm with Gary. Community's too close to community commune. Is which commune. Which I'm, not, no, yeah. but I'm not going to let these fuckers ruin words for me that I've used. And, sorry. What about, um, right. what about cunt community? Community is is SJW but word. Fellowship is awesome it. too. I got nothing it's against fellowship. I think that's great. Shit. Yep. It's I think fellowship community is awesome is real too. Close to comrades. So uh, this, Jeremy yep. needs real pants on the uh, for five dollars on the Streamlab side. <laughs> says hail FNTJ Longbone and Chrissy Mayer. Hail to you. Thank you. Yay. We appreciate it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Give a little applause on that one. Why the fuck not? Uh, Gorgira Star. Hey, I met Gorgira Star. Oh, Five yeah. four seven seven. Last oh, night, yeah. she is a fucking brilliant artist. She uh, she did, she does that like the the dot art, the ink, oh, and she did. Oh, yeah. fucking awesome! Fuck, it's, it's pointillism. Yeah, it's uh, she yeah. did a Gandalf that I'm going to buy she, from her. It's uh, she was one of the ooh. first people there. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, was awesome meeting her. I'll show you guys the picture later. I'll, I'll pull it up and show ooh. you. It's fucking brilliant it says all hail friday night tights chrissy and jay longbow thank you all for the great meetup in phoenix it was a great it was great meeting you all rock on gary i sent you the email and i got it about the gandalf drawing and i will respond tonight and that thing will be in my studio my brand new studio and i now know what my studio is going to look like so i know i can work with ah i'm so excited uh phoenix k for 20 canadian pesos uh, that's that's fake money, but that's okay. We'll take it. We'll uh, we take the fake Canadian money. Uh, you know it. Our money's fake too. Uh, the only proper money yeah. is those pounds. All hail Jay, Lo Jay Longbone. I'm sorry she missed that. Nice. All hail Jay Longbone. The Hills for five dollars <laughs> says. Uh, also, yo, it's Jay Longbone. Uh, and. 
get out of that hell hole, California, and never. Uh, I've gotten out of that hell hole, California, and I've never been happier. Great to see Jay Longbone on Friday Night Tights. Glad my new schedule lets me tune in more often. Uh, keep up Heck the yeah. great work. Oh, I love that. Uh, Noctum. Is it Noct? Noctum Sidiris. Sidiris. <laughs> Noctum Sidiris for $10. Uh, and Miles Kinslow for five dollars says, "Hey guys, Nerdrotic, thanks for bringing on Jay Longbone. Very good content. I am still laughing at the L word Generation Q video. Period scene. LOL. Oh, um, man, have I got? I got to admit to something. This is uh, a little embarrassing. Um, so I used to watch the L word like religiously. Uh. <laughs> I got into it. That is embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Be ashamed uh, of yourself. You are a girl. I yeah." Uh, I was totally a girl for a little while there, and I watched the L word religiously. Uh, for, for but I watched it for the drama. Uh, How to lose credibility in five seconds, Gary from Earth Drive. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I just got rid of all of the every time you said you owned a comic book store. Oh it no! Did. Everybody forgot that. Like, uh, Jay L-word? Longbone they neutralize uh, each other. Uh, dude, I like some shitty TV. Uh, I do too. We all I do. Like some we all shitty do. Shitty fucking TV. Shit, I, I, I watched fucking like seven seasons of Arrow. <laughs> like uh, like four seasons. God, of what Flash. is wrong with you? How the Jesus. fuck did you yeah, get through dude, that? Much? At least the L word has lesbian sex in it. Oh, I mean, God, God I, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the CW just has lesbians. Yeah, it just say. has lesbians no, talking to each other. I mean, that's all they fucking no do. No sex, please. We're lesbians. Yeah, okay, it's funny because literally the first two seasons of Arrow and the first season of Flash are like what kept me hanging around. Like that, I liked those. So I was just like attached to those. I'm like, I got. I, I just want to follow the story. It kept getting progressively worse. It Finally, into Dallas. progressively Dreamer, worse. Well, when they introduced Dreamer in Supergirl, that was the last episode I fucking watched. Yeah, I had even been Dreamer. following Supergirl. I'd even been following Supergirl even through that season where it's like, oh, uh, Black Lives Matter, oh, fucking oh. immigration, like every fucking episode was some virtue signal. I couldn't Finally, the first when they episode. introduced Farley Dreamer, I'm I was like, I cannot fucking handle this shit anymore. No, you so I, 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 yeah, yeah, I dipped out uh, season two or three, but it, it was all just because it was getting more soapy than what well, it gets yes. woke later, but it was just too soapy. And like yeah. the L word was soapy. And that's, yeah. and I, you know, I watched OC, uh, but I was kind of like, my <laughs> wife was watching. I watched, so the, I watched that, well. Gary. Yeah. Uh, the difference is you Bam. watch the L word and OC, you expect soap opera. You don't yeah. go into superhero shit. Like Arrow expecting it to turn into fucking Dallas One, two, three seasons. Right. Mm-hmm. Especially after that that first watch that first season of Arrow. If somebody watches just the first season and then the seventh, they'll just go, That's not even the same show. <laughs> yeah, what even, what is what this? The what is, but, what well, they'll be like, well, even first. the first season, though, I didn't I didn't like the first season. That's why I stopped watching it. I watched like three episodes and I was like, That's how I his, was too. His sister hates him because he was stranded on an island. And she's crying. She's the okay, original team. Not Tila. watching this anymore. It's a little strained. It's a little strained, but I was fine with it because, like, at that time, we didn't have much. We honestly, yeah, didn't I have thought much. the first That's two true. seasons. I, I really liked the first two seasons of that show. Uh, I, I liked it a lot. Daredevil season one comes along and it like ruins superhero TV for everybody. Yep. It's just like you're like, oh, that's how mm-hmm. good it can be. Everything else sucks now. Agents yep, of Shield two. always sucked. Yeah, it did. Uh, uh, that was a bait and switch, though. They, yeah, that was a terrible show from the start. It was bait and absolutely switch. terrible. One of my favorite Marvel characters just got completely fucked up. Uh, Deathlock. I uh, fucking love Deathlock. Uh, great Did potential. you like season two or one of Daredevil more? Mm. <laughs> my I like favorite, season two, I, but I think I, it's skewed for me because of the Punisher, Punisher. episodes. I, I, I think that, that, that season that, one is a better, like, is a better fucking show. It's but better I like season two. I like to watch season it's two. It's more because fun. Of the Punisher. Because, it, yeah, yeah. The, the Punisher and the costume, and there's more, uh, there's the yes. hand, and there's Electra. It's comic it's fucking, yeah, I like it feels all very that stuff. I, I, I know that Razor Fist loves Electra, and he loved I did I do not too. like Electra I, at I all. I'm with Razor I Fist. I hated her. I'm with Razor her. Fist. I liked her. He gets, I, season I one her. is like, he <clears throat> only like gets the fucking outfit right at the very end right of season end, one, right? So most of the time he's just going around with the fucking thing over his eyes. Yeah. And it's just like, it's, it's his origins, you know? It's yeah, really that, consistent. But I'd say this first four, I think it's the first four episodes of season two is arguably the best I've seen from any superhero content, movie or television. Like 
and especially uh, John Bernthal's acting in I think episode Amazing. two. I think. He was good. He was so that, good. That's that's legendary great. shit, man. Legendary. Is that the one where he has uh, Daredevil? captured and he's talking to him yeah yes the scene yeah, in the yeah. graveyard is great yes that's the one i think that was episode scene. two or three i can't remember i want to watch it again every time we start talking it, about it i just like want to watch four, it but yeah right around there I, yeah i actually got to finish it i never uh, finished it didn't, i'm gonna do it a, i'm gonna do a fucking review on those i, didn't I got watch pissed season, off at that I, I didn't watch season three after they did defenders I was gonna say okay, that's what uh, pissed me yeah, off was Defenders. Was I got into the first. Step, I'm like, what the fuck is this? And no. I was like, checked uh, out. Gordy Weaver. Did you? Did that's you what not watch Hanking Iron Fist? Was- Oh God! Iron Fist was. Weird. I didn't watch Iron Fist. Well, that's, that when, was that's, that's when woke that shit was, was starting painful. to come in, and we had to like, uh, you know, they, they were trying to experiment and cast women in different, uh, untraditional parts, like big bad villain who knows kung fu and who can defeat uh, fucking Electra, and it's like. You know, Sigourney Weaver in her 60s, and it's just not convincing. Okay. Maybe no. if she turned into something or had some CG fucking armor around her or some shit, but no, it was just but Sigourney was just Weaver like- beating Electra. I'm like, no, no. It's, you know, Sigourney looks like my, my mom right now or now. Yeah. But uh, somebody's mom. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. Uh, comics uh, measuring stick on the Streamlabs side for three bucks says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please let, uh, please let me out. I'll say the words. You're five, six. No, not five. No, five, one. Please just let me out. It's dark in the closet. I'll be good. You're five, six. You're five, six. Uh, you know what you've done. You must let him out. There. No, no, no. Let him out. He doesn't deserve it. No. No. I tried. No. I think I, I think I have to now like sit like this from now on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always I thought you, you were about like six two or something. Oh god, yeah. not even. <laughs> we're about the same size in real in real. Yeah, life. we're we're about the same height. Yeah. Garrett Why does Garrett look like Crypt Daddy right now? As long as you're tall where it counts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where's Garrett? <laughs> hey, uh, the wallet. Yeah, you're like Crypt. Yeah? Yeah, I got to bounce, guys. So 15 hours left on my drive. So I planned on being here like two hours that I couldn't leave because it's just so awesome to be here. So hail Friday night tights. Shout out to Arizona. Thank you to everybody that came out. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of us <laughs> for sure. Hold on, so, go, Jeremy, uh, before you go. What's up? Can you, can you stay for this one more meme? Absolutely. Of course. Yeah, there's Gary. There's just this this one more meme. I think you'll appreciate this it, the- dude. The peanut butter cup one. (laughs) (laughs) So so fucking fast. That's awesome. Oh Oh my god. God. I didn't I didn't know they still sold snuggies. (laughs) Snuggies. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. That is. I've never I've never owned one. That's part is he turns it around and uses it for a wizard robe when the show's over. Like in a fully <laughs> lit hotel room. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Good stuff. Is that Renee? Yeah, that's of Renee. Course Renee. <laughs> of, course of course it's, it's Renee. Renee. Of course it's Renee. Of course. But yeah, I just want to thank everybody. Friday Night Tights has changed all of our lives. It, it absolutely has. It, it's incredible. And uh, it's humbling. Like last night, just meeting all of you. And we had no idea the turnout was going to be like that. We <laughs> really didn't. And it, well, it's, it's, changing, it's changing all your lives in America, dude. <laughs> me over me over here is doing just fucking stuck. nothing. You know nothing. what? It's changed. Hey, it's changed our life. You know why? Wow. Because because most of the questions we get at these meetups is when is as coming to the yeah. fucking meetup? Where's as? Where's That's all as? we ever hear. So uh, we want as. But it's true. They want ass. ass. They want some ass. Trying um, to get some pieces. Of pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what we're, we're gonna, for some ass? I was mixing that up. <laughs> yeah. M- me and uh, me and Gary are for the next few weeks. We're gonna we're gonna really uh, try to figure out something for Florida and get you guys some information. And then the Arizona thing, because of the overwhelming response, we're gonna try to do something there again. We obviously have the in-game bar, which has opened their doors to us. And uh, you know, thanks to Kevin and As for you know, because he contacted you first, I think As, mm. and then As kind of you know yeah. brought him over to me. And so yeah, it's good stuff. So thank you to everybody. Love you all. Have a great night, and uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah, Friday night nights forever, forever. Thanks, Jeremy. Forever. Call you later. Got him. I got him out. Uh, hail all Jay Longbone started yet. watching your content because of Batwoman. As if your peeping Tom was in Batwoman, how would he team up with her? 
from uh, Striker X24 uh, for five dollars. No, he he would say he'd tell her to fuck off. Right after he looked at her boobs. Yeah. Like, I, did I, I mean, Javisha Leslie. Yeah. Batwoman. Like, she, it's not that she bad does looking, like man. to show them all. I mean, I'd 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 look, dude. I'd give me Sophie. Wasn't part of the peeping so thrill. Sophie's where it's at. She's the real yeah, one. Seeing yeah, it when you're not supposed to, though. It's a good assessment. Huh? Isn't part of the peeping thrill getting to see it when you're not supposed to, though? Yeah. Not all peepers. No. Uh, to yeah. bring everybody mm. up to speed, this is a real BBC creation uh, of Maulers and As. I've kind of piped in a couple of times, but it's mainly theirs. It's Peeping Tom. It's a superhero it's a reluctant hero because all he wants to do is look at tits but his powers mm. are so amazing that he <laughs> accidentally helps uh with uh, you know fighting sees crime. crimes just sees yeah crimes. but he's yeah. like an intergalactic superhero and we've actually like got this whole arc where it ends tragically uh and yeah he's he's got villains Peeping now Tom no more it's being written in the chat of the real BBC, and it's it's pretty fucking good. Uh, it, it's it, I think it's something that actually should get done at this point, but um, just the to bring artwork up the lore. For that I was just gonna say, it's getting pretty good. Holy oh, shit, uh, amazing! Yeah, yeah the yeah. peeping Tom more, no more cover. Wow, that is that is fucking fantastic. Somebody, it's powerful, wasn't it? It's powerful. So you can find the art. Powerful. It's it's on mm. my feed somewhere. Uh, I just can't pull it up right now. Uh, Imagine all of the all the lives that are being saved by peeping Tom. Well, uh, okay, so powerful. Many. Now you're gonna get me talking so about just, the Eternals just, again. Just, just think how many lives. <laughs> now you're gonna get me talking about the Eternals again, motherfucker. <laughs> so, he does know that probably more gay people would fucking die of boredom by watching yeah, that than, than I almost anyone. died of boredom. Um, I'm trying. I, I, I'm, I just remember at one hour forty five, I was, I just chuckled. I was just like, <laughs> dude. I am fucking so fucking bored. <laughs> I, I am trying to figure the out the phrase last time. in my brain was I cannot be fucked. I cannot be fucked to care. Here, here, here was Every my time. um this is how I was studying the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> I I was I didn't think it would be worse than I am at because I didn't think it would be this bad. I thought it'd be bad. But I didn't think it would be like bad filmmaking, bad. Like the editing was bad, the directing was bad, the cinematography was bad. It was shot like the, it, like how dark was that movie? It was ridiculously dark. Ridiculously Guys, dark. Chloe yeah. Zhao yeah. is yeah. not a director. Gaina, she is a go. fucking cameraman. Yeah, yeah. That's what people don't yeah. realize. Well, man. She all she does is her camera. And we know what happens you. to female. Well, no, all her movies are basically she takes an actor, <laughs> make them pretend they're a real person, film them with real people. That's not directing. That's just filming. Right. So why yeah. would she ever know how to work with real actors? There's no. But she's why is she directing a two hundred million dollar Marvel movie? Because Marvel. She's Asian and female. Yep. She's Asian. And she female, was cast. Yeah. She was cast in a role. And Mar yeah. Marvel started thinking that people would show up. for we, This happens every time, by the way. Well, of course, it's a rhetorical it's, question. It's, it, yeah, I know. And, and, and like everything we say <laughs> is kind of rhetorical, but uh, that's True. part. That's yeah. part of what we do. Um, and uh, and retardical. And the retardals retardical. were basically. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, it, it's good Marvel no longer exists. This is now full on Disney. Marvel has been exercised yeah. out of Marvel, and that's their whole Pretty plan. Much. Disney can't help themselves. They probably even had like every intention to like we're going to bring in more boys with the Marvel brand. But once it starts succeeding to the level it did, to where basically became the 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 driving force at Disney is Marvel now. That it, everybody wanted a piece of the pie. And, of course, you're going to get the extortionists, the woke extortionists in there, and all of a sudden it's a platform of influence. And Marvel has become so influential and so important that we have to put everything possible in it. I mean, it's a it, platform. It, yeah. And every time you hear the word diverse, 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 it's just less white, less white, less white, less white, less white, less white, less white. Just come out and say it. Mm. Like if that, because that's what you're doing. Uh, yeah, at least and, Leslie Headland did. Yeah. And, and like if you come out and say, if you just do it and don't say anything about it, nobody really has a problem. Nobody ever has a problem with it. It's when you pander so fucking much. But when it's this bad to where it there's there's disjointed dialogue in this, like really bad at sometimes. Like I think they cut out scenes last minute and didn't really care that they didn't transition into each other at all and made no sense. And, you know, I watched it. My eyes were open and mm -hmm. there's a couple of characters who just disappeared from the fucking movie at the end of the night. Yeah. Something did happen to him, but it happened so fast, it's hard to, like, even connect to it. 
And it's because that third act is so compressed and everything has to happen so fast because they spent a, an hour and 45 minutes developing characters you don't give a shit about. It's all cameos, basically. Uh, who is Wait, it? Who disappears? I would exactly uh, call they, 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 the it. <laughs> the Celestial takes all the remaining Eternals Kingo. on Earth. Oh, that's right. Kingo's not in yeah. the final battle. I mean, he gets taken out by Icarus, but he's just not there. I mean, he's gone. Oh, that's oh, right. Dra yeah, he's Dra just Draugr there. just gets knocked out. He gets knocked out. He gets taken out. Drog. Drog. Droga. Drog. 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 Skyrim. Skyrim, Ooh. yeah. Skyrim. <laughs> we played Elder Scrolls. Mr. Mumbles, that's how I like to call him. Yeah, what was his, uh, he had an unusual accent. Um, Irish. I think it was Irish. Yeah, he's Irish. Was Irish. Irish. I, I, was, but I can, under, I can, I can understand, understand Irish. Irish. It was like he was trying. I don't know. It was. It was. It was, it was different. What are we doing here? The humans are. Yeah, that Ozzy he, Osbourne is bad. Like, what are you Super saying? Bad. The acting is bad. Uh, Gilgamesh's acting is is pretty bad. Uh, Angelina Jolie's acting is really really Everybody's bad. Everybody's acting is pretty bad. With it's all very like flat. Three people. Jim, you brought it up earlier. It's like she's a. She's a she's more of a photographer. She's like everybody getting these nice compens mm. like shots. The shots, the shots are decent. And it's yeah. like don't don't act, don't emote. Here, you just look stoic and cool. You know, cool. Well, do that. To and me, then they acted like, that way. I, well, to me, I feel like that's. I, I haven't watched it yet, obviously, but that's the we feel that I had looking at Eternals. all of the like all of the promotional shit. It, it looks like they're trying to portray them as, you know, people that are fucking 7,000 years old. And if I'd been around 7,000 years, I might not get too fucking they should up be and holding down anything. They holding their backs or something. <laughs> yeah. I guess so, like, they're just trying that. to be, like, they're kind of just a little bit emotionally flat or whatever. Except for the times where they try to insert the Marvel humor. That would make the, sense. Yeah, the problem, the problem is, Ryan, that, the problem though. is, though, yeah. when they split up uh, Ajax, which uh, in the UK, by the way, is a fucking disinfectant product. No, yeah, it is yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, it's, so it's, it's, it's one of the stupid. Never mind. Uh, but Ajax says. But was Ajax a hero before it was a disinfectant? That's my question. No, it was Sam yeah. Hayek's titties. Um, <laughs> that's what it was. Uh, disinfect she, me. She says. She says, yeah. go away and create, create a life, create something, and then when we all meet back up again, tell me about your your story. Tell me your story. So they were meant to like go out and create these wonderful lives for for themselves. And they just all turn into miserable twats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Most of them in like, exile. There's an, there's an interesting, I mean, like, if you're going to do it right, there's an interesting story that you could tell about yep. that, you know, about these people, these superpower people that come to Earth fucking with no real clear path about what they're supposed to do. They have to witness all these things happen. And, you know, that kind of the effect they can have on you. It doesn't sound like they went through any no, of that kind of storytelling right. in this. You, you, you got, that, that's you a got, compelling they story. They tried. Itself. They tried. You've got Icarus and, and Cersei at the beginning, and they have the most, you know, charismaticless getting together. And then they hey, say, right, my let's... name is Icarus. Yeah, <laughs> my name, my is, name Cersei. is Cersei. That is literally it. <laughs> it yep. is. No. It's terrible. I'm I love it. you. And then the next thing is like, I'm yours. I love you. I'm yours. And then she yeah, turns just the around way and, said that too. and then they turn. I, I'm an Irish that. man. And I'm wearing a blue gray jumpsuit. Yeah. But when, but we hear secondhand when we're in current day that they split up like 200 or 100 years ago, which means they were together for thousands of years yes and do we find out why they spill up Not how really. their romance developed how in love with the, what they did nothing nothing in a two hour 45 fucking minute movie that, that even hinted at a relationship between them that we could be invested in and so when you know it no. proves to be they uh, sorry as but they do it more in the trailer in the trailer they uh, no you're right uh, uh, you're right in the trailer they show the relationship better in the first one than they do in the actual movie they cut out a bunch of those scenes wow well they they show a couple of like scenes of them him looking at her in a hut and they're in the film and then you see them like together as the times like going past that wasn't in it from what i can remember no it wasn't it wasn't so so the trailer uh, showed their really it, it developed their relationship better than the actual film did this is like the yes. third or fourth time now you guys have said that they don't give you motivation for things the characters do yes. yeah yeah at least three or four times now well, you've mentioned. well look they had None to of make them do. room they had to make room so they cut it they had to make room for all of the cutaway reaction shots of every single eternal anytime anything happened <laughs> 
Every time it was cut away. Oh, what does Druid think about this? Oh, what does Sprite? Can think we just about go this? back what to when the... Batman Returns had too many villains in it? Remember that problem? Yeah, that now was a much 10 more fucking heroes, and that was a better yeah, problem to have. Too many. But when you've got like a betray- like you know, whatever way you want to plant it as a betrayal, if you want, I don't, I you know, where Icarus wants to stay on plan and none of the rest want to stay on plan, and and Cersei's now the leader. I feel nothing because they haven't developed the relationship between them. They haven't shown anything. They haven't given us anything to care about, about how they were truly in love. And, you know, and even coming back together, there was nothing. There's no chemistry between any character. Yeah. None. Yeah. That's, well, that's they a huge say problem. Sprite is in love with Icarus. I'm yeah, like, where, you, you never that, really I, see that, no, though. You never see it. No. Nope. The one thing like, I thought she, at the end, she just goes, "Is he gone now?" And she's like, "Yeah." She's like, mm, "Yeah." Oh. Sad yeah. Z, <laughs> make me mm. a real per- make me a real boy. So yeah, she just the goes, "Oh, I've got enough energy, of whatever." I'll just why not just human. make her an adult and not a child? That yeah. that was my first thought. Well, I'm, Wesley Crusher tried that. It's I wish I had to see this, but got to go I, didn't, I couldn't see wasting five hours of my life on this. Sorry, guys. I was going to, but now the more and more I hear about it, I'm glad I did. What's five out? What do you mean five? Damn hours? you! Because it takes me an hour just to drive to see it, oh. three hours to see the fucking to movie, an hour theater? drive back. That's yeah. the closest theater you have. I, I, I told, told them I told nowhere. Where the fuck? Yeah. Nowhere. Where do you live? That's Gary. It's Wisconsin. It's fucking middle of nowhere. Are you near Appleton? I've got like three theaters next to me. Is it near Appleton? I, mean, I, I yeah, like I was I was born in a town that of like I can go six thousand people. We had a goddamn movie theater. I, yeah, we got a local one, but they don't start showing it till tonight because they only run on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, okay. are you yeah, near, are you near Appleton, Tom? Mm, Chrissy was asking. More closer to like Madison. Madison, the college yeah, so like town. Madison, down Madison. Yeah, like Baraboo, Madison, all that kind of stuff is like an hour. So, so you eat cheese curds all the time, huh? All the time. Ah, oh, they're they cheese curds. They're good. They come yeah. just with everything. Culvers. I, 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 I drove. I did drive. I drive thirty five minutes to an IMAX theater to go see Dune. So uh, that, that's about the furthest I've fucking ever worth driven it. to go see a movie. Worth it. It was definitely worth it. My theater is. It, it. Like, it was good. It was so sepia toned. I'd watch it again right now. Yeah, it's like permanent I mean, filter. Sure. It's just so weird how well developed the characters are in June compared to Eternals. On, There's a on lot the of same, them on the same about the same of, length too. Yeah, on the same length of movie. Yep. And probably like what I find interesting about Dune is they. I bet if you like look at the dialogue, it's not like as wordy as you would think it would be. Because that book is wordy yeah. as shit, incredibly wordy, hard to get through at times. You know, There's depending so many on like words. how you, where you're so trying to get many. into. It. So, so many the idea that and like no able, pictures, no pictures at all. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that they were part. able to tell the story that they told with <laughs> Dune in the way yeah. that they did it and have it come across coherent, I thought was really impressive. <laughs> and that was they used. The, they use the scenery, they use the imagery, they use pauses, they use facial expressions to tell so much of the story mm-hmm. to get the character development out there rather than just describing it. So, I wanted Zendaya and the other guy to like make out at some point. Oh, that's part oh, such a girl. Part two. That's part a two. girl thing. There was like no bone. There was penetration. Whoa, they, you saw that they kissed in, the, in a vision. They kissed in a vision. Mm-hmm. The Hot, only person well, who got any action was action. the sandworm. <laughs> yeah. I swear both of them look like they're fucking children. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's so, cool. yeah. Zendaya, the only thing yeah. people to be got fair, excited them was blades. I was say, to be fair, Paul is supposed to be 15. He, I knew it. I was trying to, to guess. I was trying so. to guess because I'm like, okay, his dad's starting to take him out for the first time. He's got to be either like 15 or 16. Yeah. I know why I was doing it at 15, so <laughs> me too, given bad hand jobs. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure they were appreciated. That's really weird because at 15, I was always, getting always bad hand jobs. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. What are, What are these bad hand jobs you're talking about? You, know, you're like, you, know, you know what the they middle. are. Yeah. yeah, you know. I was like, what do you want? More teeth? What do you want, what do you want from me? Sandpaper? Dry? Dry sandpaper? Yeah, dryer. Oh, those braces? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh... It was cool because like the only color was like the blue of their eyes. That's, like, that's, 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 that's kind of cool. starts sounding like Pelosi. 
Urb a lot. Urbanizer. Look, I look like one of the guys from June. Look. Level, level, level. <laughs> Urbanizer yeah. for fifty dollars. Thank you, Urbanizer. Says great meeting you guys last night. Ryan disappointed. He was so Ooh. nice, and I was busy hugging people rather than cursing. And he was busy hugging pe- people rather than cursing and yelling. Unreal. Never oh. meet your it's heroes. It's a facade. In real life, <laughs> never meet your heroes. He's the sweetest oh, guy. Oh, well, I, I, spent, I mean, I spent a lot of time yelling at people at times. Remember, yeah, Ryan, Ryan Cannell is one drink from gay. Bro, I tell you what, I, <laughs> well, I wasn't gay last night, and I had a lot to drink. Because <laughs> we, when we're there with Gary and Jeremy, they can't buy Gary a drink. They can't buy Jeremy anything other than fucking Dr. Pepper. So, uh, like, I mean, everybody who's they looking all come to buy to drinks or shots, whatever, was coming through me. So, I'm... God, I probably had fucking 10 shots while I was there, plus a Jack and Coke in my hand every 30 mm. minutes. So, so hard me. to be you. Well, it, it was, it was, <laughs> Chrissy, it was hard to wake up at, at fucking 4 30 for the flight. Oh, God, that, oh that Jesus was hard. Christ. Man. Oh, no. That was, that was the hard part. It's so, the fuck worst. All of you. Yeah. That's Good job. You made morning it. Morning flights. The I don't know why we yeah. keep doing them because it's like you can't really sleep. You're, ang- you're anxious all night. You end up like staying up late to pack. Like you really don't even go to sleep till like two or three, and then you have to. It's those are the worst. At four thirty in the morning, I was giving myself a bad hand job. <laughs> the stranger. <laughs> Only hands. Only hands. Only hands. Only hands. <laughs> Only hands. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's good uh, sure it myself already. Already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure oh, you're a nice prude girl uh, go to my only hands <laughs> I can see why Ryan's so popular and I mean it's a good thing he has the beard too because that haircut is just a fine line between radicalized and lesbian so. <laughs> oh. oh how about that's, that how about that kid we were talking to true. when I first walked in he hair. comes up to me and he goes I was I was a leftist and I was miserable until I met yeah. you and it opened my eyes I'm all, wow. I ran Radicalized no. you. You've been radicalized. radicalized he was like, I was a male feminist. Yes. I did all this stuff. And then wow. you guys red pilled me. Yep. It was awesome. That's so great. It That's is. why it's in the song. Get radicalized. Watch Friday Night Tights. There you go. Uh, uh, Siridan for $50. It says, remember. You have a shirt that says get radicalized. I would uh, buy it. Okay, done. Radical, I will do radical, that. Radical. I will. I will. I will do Good that. Idea. I will do that. That'll be a Friday night tights thing. Radicalized, radicalized. and highly organized. Coming soon. on the back. That'll be on the back. Yeah. Uh, but and then might... it's just a picture of you going like this. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Go on. yeah. <laughs> Talk amongst yeah. yourselves. Talk yeah. amongst yourselves. Remember, Vamp. remember the fifth of November from uh, Syridan. Gunpowder, treason, and plot. What? You're British. You're British American as what's the whole? Can you remember it off the top of your head? I can't. Shit, fucker. I, uh, remember, remember the fifth of November: gunpowder, treason, and plot. The there was even remember. Remember, really remember the fifth of was. November. Go to that corner and take out your member. <laughs> <laughs> and that that can was be when I was several 16, different ways. Not fifteen, though. I was sixteen. Actually, by November then. and member are like the same word. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to be, Remember, well, they have Movember, they can just have member, member, November, oh, member, November, <laughs> November, member, because there are there are some variations on this. Oh, here it is, Eric. Okay, it here we go. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Is this a Dr. Seuss V for Vendetta? Uh, yeah. The, the cat in the hat. It's an Alan Moore. Went and slapped Strikes the swag. Back. If if yeah, if Doctor Seuss uh, did a lot more drugs and became yeah. a wizard uh, th- and turned into Alan Moore, because Alan Moore thinks yeah. he's a he's a wizard. One pill, two pill, red pill, blue pill. Yep. <laughs> You're a wizard, Theodore. Oh my god! I've got one of the videos you want, Gary. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my God! Somebody's oh. already fucking memed only hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. this is crazy. Yeah. That'll be next. Here we go. All right. So th- this bad. is a little bit. This is like the very beginning. beginning like yeah. the, the first fifteen or twenty Where minutes of the meet up here. Let's go, Brandon. 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 So that area got filled in, and then the outer area of the bar got right near nice. the bar. I've got filled video. In. 
Uh, yeah. Like with people. <laughs> with, people. with people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, filled in. Uh, nice beat. I think it was louder when you were doing your Instagram live. It was definitely a louder chant because everybody's yep. concentrating. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah. Oh, no that's Brandon. Great. <laughs> I support the I LGBT community. I support the LGB community. Nice. So mm-hmm. that's the word. I'll say community there. The Let's go, Brandon community. Uh, Cricks Gaming for $50. <laughs> Big hype. Keep pumping. Love you guys. Oh, we love you too. I'm glad you like the show. Uh, we're going to do a live one from this bar. It's like set up for it. They have a stage. Nice. So really? there's a stage. Uh, it's an enclosed stage, but it's outside. So there, there's not access from the street. You have to go through the building. And it's kind of like if you've ever been to Jimmy Kimmel. I, I've been to the show a couple times back when he was funny. Yeah, I know. He's a fucking uh-huh. sellout piece uh-huh. of shit. Uh, but I, I saw some bands play there, and it's set up like that, so we can have Dan Vask play, Eric July play, Ooh. Eric July with Dan Vask. We can have Chrissy Mayer do comedy uh, with maybe Kurt or Kyle or yes. just Chrissy. As could strip, and uh, as could do his OnlyFans live. Uh, just Only one time. Hands. Only, Only Hands, hands live. live. Anal ring toss. We can have a whole g- games. We got some Only we Hands get down the- there, Gary. We got to get the guy that does the uh, Alex Jones song, that folk song. We got to yep. get that guy. Yes. Yeah, that would be great. That would be great. Oh, like I'll eat your I'm angry. angry. <laughs> I had enough for these <laughs> yeah. people. What, what? We could just do it. Yeah. 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 We could just do it. Chrissy. Same money. You're yeah. all Hosting Christian it. murder and scum. <laughs> Chrissy <laughs> Mayer's boobs for $5. What? Chrissy Mayer's wow. boobs. That's your it, boobs. Did they really? Did yeah. they vote? So someone That's died. A boob. So Your someone boobs died of. Fuck. So they someone, really are. So someone died of natural causes on the Indiana Jones set, and it wasn't Harrison Ford. Uh, P.S. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Frias. He's immortal. He can't make it. Yeah. With, with all the shit Harrison Ford's done, how many, many planes he's crashed or whatever, yeah. if he ever just like died in his sleep, that'd be a bitch way to go. That, that ain't yeah. gonna happen. It's gonna be like yeah. the Millennium Falcon crushes him for real this time. No, Disney will <laughs> do it. They've been trying hard enough. They'll they'll find no. a way. Calista flock it. Oh yeah. Which how much plastic surgery has she had? Wow. Remember, really? She it, had that, she said work done? I can't tell I if know. you're happy, the, mad, or sad. We have the same birthday. Yeah. Congrats. Well, Different years. She was getting work done when she was young. I mean, <laughs> I so. I'm starting to see people get get work done when they're young. They're, it's like preventative yeah. work. I don't know what the yeah, hell they're doing. In their twenties. It looks terrible. It looks There's terrible. There's just a lot of pressure on girls. And I think if you're if you're insecure, which like most of us are, and you're just comparing yourself to other chicks and you you feel like you have to like be constantly injecting shit into your lips and get a fake ass like i saw this video once of a girl who had a fake ass she got it in the dr or something and she, her yeah. implant like sh- like got loose oh. and she could flip it around oh. and then like she could oh rest a God. drink on the top part because it was flat oh my and the other Lord. part was rounded, but she could like flip it around in her ass and it was really fun for anybody that's like thinking about going to the DR or to Mexico or some of that shit for surgery. You get what you fucking pay for. Uh, just had right? a friend it's die. a fun party Jeez. trick, though. I just had a friend die of that. <gasps> oh, dude. oh, no. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. no. It's, it's sad, man. Yeah. I feel like an asshole now. No, don't. No. That, that, that's, I mean, it's, it's sad, but um, there's perfectly safe things here. And it's not worth your life. Uh, it's a lesson to be learned. Like, she, yeah, she just went down there to get a little procedure, and now she's dead. So, wow. Uh, yeah, it's 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 all for for beauty, and it, it's you know it's something you got to figure out uh, yourself. And none of that shit's gonna work uh, along long run. Beauty I, like, standards here, here and there, fine if you can stop. But the, like, it never stops, and then it turns into like you got uh, kind of just like you. Yeah, you can't tell yeah. if you're happy or you're You'll- sad. You, you yep. can't. Your mouth can't move. I mean, Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. Kind of just, yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I mean. Yeah, you know, that she can't even talk. Your mouth you can can't get move. All the work you want done, eventually you will still look like Nancy Pelosi. Yep. Right. Oh. So. You look better if it's just all natural. And Joan Rivers. If you take Torn that in. money and Can spend it on swatch? therapy, it might be better. Uh, Jonah Naxos, Naxos for twenty five dollars. Thank you very much. Hey, Friday Night Tights. Chrissy, you should talk to your adult film friends and do a parody yeah. called The Internals. Give muffin oh and waffle God. hugs. 
Oh, my doggies. <laughs> Uh, I was like, so, actual oh. already working. On so one okay, so that super chat what? transitioned into oh, give your dog because because I I thought yeah. the muffin and waffle hugs were part of the other yeah of part. Of I'm like, going what? to a porn convention in a couple weeks. I'm going to uh, Exotica in DC. I'm gonna have my own booth. Holy shit! Nice. So if there's anybody you want me to you know flag down, let me know. <laughs> yeah, porn but, stars. Yeah, adult yeah. film. <laughs> He's like any of them. No, Ryan was just making Nina a statement. Hartley. Porn stars. Yeah. I want you to flag yeah. down porn stars. Nina Hartley. You have, a, you have a ton of interviews from like what AVN, like 2020. 20, yeah, 2020 that you've put up on there. So yeah, that's, that's cool. when I was first starting my uh, my other podcast. And like those were, you know, sometimes the girls would only have 15 minutes. And then you realize like some of them can only talk for that long because then they just start like short circuiting. But yeah. um, <laughs> you, they you, know, like, do you want me to take my shirt off, yeah. off now? I'm like, or? why yeah. am I still like clothes? Like, like, like no. Dr. And the, Sanjay the ones Gupta? that are funny and, and witty and like, you know, personable, it's like a total jackpot. But that that was a good learning experience because that's when I was <laughs> well, yeah, remember first Ga- le- learning to interview people. Gavin used to bring one on all the time uh, and that ended up going south. Really? Uh, uh yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to. Who now. was it? Um, she's the one who got arrested, uh, for um, Fredo Some, stuff. Fredo yes, stuff. Yeah. Oh. But she was part oh. of Gamergate. CP. Um, yeah. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I yeah. I don't Why am I blanking on her name? How have I not now? heard of she this? She was. Uh, she's a brunette. She's Latina. Uh, what was her name uh, again? It was, it was uh, like her and her husband, right? The guy. Yeah, her and her husband yeah, got busted. Her. Yikes. But she used to be on Gavin's show all the time. Gavin McGinnis, by the way. Uh, wow. Who I watched a lot of back when he he was on Compound. He was on Compound. Was it Martina Marcota? She did burlesque. No, 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 they're saying Mercedes. Yes, Mercedes. Yes, that's Benz. Mercedes. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Not Mercedes Benz. <laughs> I think it's an M last name. It's like Mercedes. It, no, it's like, uh, hang on, Carrera? Carrera. Mercedes that's it, Carrera. That's it. Yeah, Mercedes, Mercedes Carrera. Carrera. I'm sure that's that her crazy real crazy name. Her name is Dude. Two Cars. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Two Cars. <laughs> real uh, name. Thumb Ugly for four ninety nine says, what was that about polling Chrissy's cans? Oh yes. <laughs> how's the poll doing? Uh, yeah, how is that? How is that doing? How is that poll doing? I think I think Chrissy's still in the lead. Can somebody can somebody check on that, please, and share it? Come here. Can we share the? Oh, do we do we got a little uh, pooch action here? I said pooch, not the other yeah, word. I need, yeah, not I need cooch. To... Not cooch. Muffin, Thank you, ass. <laughs> Muffin got a hair. Right, I got the got I got the pooch poll. Action. We got the results. Come we got the poll. Here. We got the poll. Come here. We got the poll. There we go. Come here, baby. We do have 22 Nothing. hours left, but oh. uh, right now, a very commanding lead. For- it says gross this, this is bias, though. Whoa. That's bias. This is bias. Sibs. This is yeah, highly biased. Yeah. Gross Selma Let me see Bring the dogs yeah, up. Yeah, it's a red wave, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think the person that is running the poll is partisan. I'm just saying. A little it's bit. Bias. Yeah. Wow. No bias there. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're covering up it. the windows. You can't look in. Don't look inside. Uh, Man of War six six five, the neighbor of the beast, Christy <laughs> J Longbone. Some random words. One hundred dollars. Nice, dude. Wow. He's, no, he's just saying, he's just saying it. He didn't give it. <laughs> he's just some oh. random words. <laughs> oh, uh, I just, well, I just get out of here. I delivered it the same way. I delivered it. Yeah, that is actually you know, Man of War is awesome. Uh, he he's he tells me he's like one uh, one time I'll go over the six sixty five that I'm always gonna give you, which is great. <laughs> I love it. Uh, he gave me uh, a, a Man of War uh, CD that's just been on fucking constant replay in my FJ now. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Hell yeah. Uh, Winter six hundred one on the Streamlabs side, uh, avoiding Mama Susan, who who is it? By the way, uh, this might come to news as nobody. She is a figurehead, do nothing CEO. Who just does what her alphabet masters want her to do? Uh, like both Chloe. the alphabet yeah. corporation and the political oh, movement. Um, first, oh, wait, we got dogs there. Wait, I wasn't. Yep. Yeah, we got Doggo. Yeah, Let me see Doggo. Look at the thing. Let's see Doggo. Yeah, oh, yeah you big dog. Oh, look at that. 
Yo. Yo. Oh. I kissed him in the mouth. Nasty. Yeah, baby. Oh. Oh, did we hear from like X-ray Joe girl Biden. making girl yeah, dog noises? Girl, you did a good girl. Mm. Aww. 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 look at that. That's a good dog. <sighs> I miss Don't my dog. Believe me. <laughs> She's like, get me the fuck out of here. I haven't seen my dogs in a couple months now. I miss them now. Oh no, you did good girl. Yeah, that's why I, 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 you know, talk to you as or Mahler. Till fucking four in the morning because I'm like I've been <laughs> at the house alone. <laughs> I'm just kinda, um, yeah, uh, thank you. But you're also like a phone guy. Like, there's no short phone conversation with you. No, that's why. Yeah, that's why. If I'm gonna talk to somebody on the phone, I gotta. I've gotta set aside a couple, a couple of hours. hours. You never return my phone calls. Well, <laughs> wow. always ghosting me. Because if I talk to you, it Same. will be a couple of hours. So it's it's I got to find that time. I, I should have okay. called you yesterday. I was on the road, but the reception was bad. I talked to George. Man, we, we had such a long oh, conversation. Oh, oh. I missed fucking three exits, and I had to, like, I got rerouted three times because <laughs> I just fucking <laughs> stopped paying attention to what the fuck I was doing. Nice. Um, yeah, it was cool. He's got a beautiful soul. Uh, Travis Manley <laughs> for $5. Uh, He's Chris- got beautiful cock. Whoa. It <laughs> took a turn. Wow. Whoa. What took us there? Uh, I said she. She's He's got a beautiful about, cock. Uh, the new four star oh, uh, oh, general. Yeah. yeah. Our four star admiral. Sorry. Our four star. That thing is a. Rachel Levine. Withering. That thing's like a little. Rachel Levine. It's, it's a Adam wet. Adam Levine? What the Adam fuck? Adam Levine. It's a wet branch, that thing. A wet twig. <laughs> uh, Chrissy Mayer takes the wedgie out of Friday Night Tights, says Travis Manley for $5. Oh, well, why? Should, that was like a good it. time to do it when she was randomly bending over. It was like, Chrissy Mayer takes the wedgie out. There it is. See? Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, El- Elsa Barrett for 50 Canadian pesos. Thank you. Hail. Hail Friday Night Tights. If Az isn't going to take Chrissy up on the green card marriage, I'd like to apply. Five days in <laughs> uh, NN, what is it? NNN, and she's looking very on point. Plus, I got to get out of this country. Uh, so, yeah, you've got takers. Uh it, Let's mm, do it. Too bad polygamy isn't like actually legal in uh like you move to Utah and you could just green card that shit to right to yeah. retirement. Go full go full yeah. sister wives. Why would you want to yeah. move to this Plus, nice, hole? Nice skiing. <laughs> I gotta marry some sex cult, dude. Fuck off. Yeah, Did you see, you know, speaking of Gary's like admission about the L word, the quartering said that he's never missed an episode of Sister Wives. And that has yeah, like sixteen that. seasons. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> has he has he come out of the closet yet? Or yeah, is still- I think that was the statement that. Oh, okay. Pretty much I think he needs done. to talk to his wife. They need to sit down and have a conversation. Yep. His sister wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, I can look, I cannot um, listen. That dude is insane. He has four wives. It's hard enough to, like dealing. If really? You've had to deal with one before. He has four wives. Does and he they really? All live they all live at least at one point before they no. come down for a legal Really? Shit. He's had four or he currently has four? He has four. No! He has four. And they all ah! live in like the same what? little cul-de-sac Jeremy? area in a neighborhood. The no, not the quartering. Where- no! Oh. I'm sorry. I'm checking on my bid for this arcade machine. I, I dipped out for a second. Oh, my God. I'm Jeremy. Jeremy. No. I thought you were dropping revelations yes. here. I'm talking about the guy who's like the, the dude in Sister Wives. Who oh, Sister Wives. Wives. Oh, okay. Oh. Does it make sense now? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Sorry, quartering. Don't, don't call it. Like, hey, is that don't why he's building happy? a new house? Don't call he's half Asian lawyer Bill ass. Richmond. All right. I was not. I thought he would have told you. me. Yeah. He's yeah. our mutual friend. I know. Wow. <clears throat> we we weren't attacking really your exciting. channel. We were just telling a story. <laughs> yeah, his channel's under attack. Friday night. It's under attack. Oh my god. Oh my god! Well, we did get demonetized, so we're under attack. Should oh, I make a video no, about no. it? Oh shit! We're under, we're shit. under review. We all, we, all, we all do the face. <laughs> we'll, we'll win it. Oh, we'll, we'll win it. So what happens is because uh, it has it. It only started happening since Alex Jones. 
So it was like it was fine for a couple three episodes, then it started happening more and more. And it's usually it's my guess it's when it gets flagged. Uh, then they have to they kind of put it in the holding pattern, which is just demonetizing it until they look it over again. That's my guess. I'm yeah, welcome to my world, man. Uh, our videos yeah, get flagged, flagged all the time. Monetized. Yeah, our fl- videos get flagged all the time. They do. And uh, or your channel gets flagged to strike. I've had two yeah, demonetized yeah. videos, and they were my Witcher videos for having tits in them. Oh well, yeah. Your tits. Technically. <laughs> my, my tits. I had a Kathleen yeah. Kennedy video that was doing pretty good. Just so it got flagged. Uh, <laughs> I was pissed about that. Um, the lizard machine for 10 British pounds. That's proper money. Proper money. Uh, as Drinker Mahler and I Sargon. I go for a British pound. Yeah. Hey. hey. Uh, as Drinker Mahler and Sargon on a stream was awesome. Friday Night Tights is awesome. Friday Night Tights with Chrissy Mayer is awesome. Nest. Aust- or the awesome nest. Uh, Long time lurker. All hail you guys. Hey, <laughs> hail to you. And we met. Uh, <clears throat> the lurkers are the vast majority of the audience. I so, love a lurker. Hail- yeah, I do too. Hmm. We met a few of them. We've How about when they watch you sleep, though, Chrissy? Is that a bit, bit of a problem or is that okay? Yeah, as long as I don't know. As long okay. as you don't wake me up with it. There you, you go. Know? Yeah, don't wake me up with that shit. Uh, Hugh James for a pound 79. Hey, Chrissy, did you get a perm? Really suits you. No, I had my hair done actually on last it's like super straight. Like on last never Saturday, and I've kept it going this whole time. Like I got it did, I got it redyed, got your hair and did. then they blow it out. It looks like a wig. It looks so good. It's like not even my hair. But I just put a lot of dry shampoo in, and I just sort of I'm be still, and then it it can last for like a week. Yeah, it was it was funny because it's like the straightest I've ever seen your hair look. <laughs> the question is about a perm. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, perm, you, it's, perm is yeah. A, you can perm is perm. curly. You can get a, like hmm, an Asian straightening treatment. Asian wisdom. I've, I, a straight does, perm. Does yeah. an Asian straightening? What? Yeah, Dan. Work on Dan a, gets his hair perm. Never mind. Never mind. The fuck? Really, Dan Vask? Yeah. yeah. So does yeah. Howard Stern gets a perm? No, I'm just yeah. You wrong, can get a perm yeah. straight or or curly. Yeah. Uh, Wish fucking... Howard Stern would get a fucking clue. I, 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 assume, retire. Listen, I, I being... assume that Garrett spent about a quarter of his time in a barbershop growing up, so I'll believe him. <laughs> <laughs> My wife has very thick curly hair, so I know about curly hair. Pubes. <laughs> I'm finding all this talk about hair to be very discriminatory. <laughs> yeah. I'm with Az on this one. An expert, yes. Sorry. Oh, not ever... Sorry. Uh, Revenge. We're not very inclusive of our balds. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah. The balds with the DVDs. Should we, and talk the about, should, we, should we talk about our figurines and our DVDs the then? DVDs and, and our DVDs. Uh, wow. I'm surprised Ryan is actually on his best behavior knowing that Chrissy Mayer is on Friday Night Tights. He is usually not like this, this whenever Krista Nova is on. Hey, I'm just teasing. Really? Uh, love you guys. Hail Friday Night Tights from Revenge of the Nether Realm for ten dollars. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. I don't. I mean, I don't think I've really been on my best behavior, but I don't so think must so have sent that early. Yeah, you've been on regular behavior. Yeah, yeah it's like that's normal. What I think. But Ryan. thank you either way. I, it just means I got to step it up. Uh, so people are getting too used to it. You got to keep elevating. Doctor Victor Franken hernia for ten <laughs> pounds. Uh, this is a two part, two parter. I've done it. Mm. It took me months, but I finally completed my work. I pieced together the remains of Jeremy's hernia and created the first zombie hernia. I call it Franken hernia. Mahahaha. No one can stop my madness. Not even the peeping Tom. That's part we one. Shall see. That's part one. We shall see. That's part one. And All I need says, is somebody with this pair of big fat titties next to him and peeping Tom is on the case. Yeah. <laughs> and it says Ryan, 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 butt, butt, <laughs> soft, juicy butt, Ryan's butthole, butthole. <laughs> wow. Who said that? that Actually, girl, be... how long you been looking at that one, waiting for him to read it? That, that's <laughs> that's Doctor Fic- Victor Franken hernia. Thank you. He, he screamed, Ryan, uh, if Ryan, you, Ryan. If your furnace hasn't burnt your house down yet. Or, or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He just screamed, Ryan, Ryan, juicy butt, Ryan's butthole, butthole. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. Sometimes Ar- people, they send a first draft, you know? Yeah. yeah. 
They hit. They hit enter. And then he hits, yeah. But what if that's just like, like a sixth ride. draft? What if that's was that, that, was somebody... that the script of the Eternals? Yeah. What, <laughs> what, what, that, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Only one scene though. Oh. Just yeah. the first draft. That's all we need. Uh, Toxic Man flew uh, three for five dollars. Says Toxic Man flew two point oh was going to take over, but then he ran into me. I am in control. I make the rules now, comics. I'm coming for your platform shoes because I am the better <laughs> model three. I will throw those shoes at Ryan because I can. Uh, he could also use a pair. Ryan, Ryan's tall. Wow. Ryan's What's tall. wrong with these shoes, Ryan? I'm trying to figure out who that's actually from. If that's actually Toxic Man Flu or Mr. Tickle Trunk. Oh. Or Toxic yeah, Tickle Trunk. You're about, getting the identity. Like 5'10. Right around 5'11. Some platforms. Yeah, 5'10. 5'11. Right around yeah. there. Wait, who's five ten? Who's five eleven? I'm five eleven. Uh, yeah, that's six, me and Gary yeah. about the same height. Yeah. So I'm five eleven. There you go. Me and Az are about the Ooh, same height. Hey, you I guys are so you're... tall. Uh, <laughs> I guess you're gonna line up in bed. <laughs> I I was like a, six foot, like but I'm starting to uh, I'm starting to uh, do that little uh, old thing. I'm get, get, getting smaller. Oh, man. you you yeah. shit in your leave. pants like Joe Biden? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did that all the time anyway from the drug days. I just got used to the adult diaper. No, oh. God, I don't shit my pants. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. But I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Jamoon, just X. ship your pants, though. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm such a pants shipper. Uh, I'll ship your pants. That's actually a, just look at those pants. I'm totally shipping them. Uh, as will mm. uh, what was it? it? Was Saturday Night Live right? We'll ship your pants. <laughs> But th- yeah, I think it was what, when Saturday Night Live was funny. Uh, as Remember Alec Baldwin's sweaty balls? Sweaty balls. Yeah. That's fucking sweaty balls. Pete's sweaty yeah. balls. And, was and then he fucking killed someone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love when someone. somebody ca- called you out for, uh, it was it you or Jeremy called you out for calling Alec Baldwin a killer? They're like, how could you call him a killer? And then Jeremy had killed the, someone. Yeah, he killed, he killed somebody. Killed somebody. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, like I, I think like, okay. in all seriousness, for the people that are saying it was murder, it's like, I, I, no, I, I don't believe yeah, that's the case. I don't think I don't think there was any intent from Alec Baldwin other than extreme negligence, which that's not murder. Um, he still, but he, he did kill, kill someone. someone. He's he a killer do it. by yeah. the letter of the definition. It's too like soon. Somebody died. You can't be joking about that. A killer so. doesn't imply blame. Um, exactly. No, if, it does if, not. If, one, if one of us and- croaks, people will fucking joke about it and they will laugh about it. So oh, I, 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 hope, I don't give I a shit. So. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I imagine. I don't, I'm, I'm publicly stating I don't give a shit. I'll be dead. Uh, but yeah, like as far as the people who are uh, calling out Ryan for like, I, I don't make videos on it, but Ryan's free to make videos on whatever the fuck he wants to, and I fully support him. And people calling him out, come on. Uh, that there's always, uh, there's always some line right that that needs to be crossed or pushed and it's going to be pushed once in a while and people want to talk Good. about it. It's the highest. And it'll always be Ryan. Alec Baldwin was the number one trending thing on every entertainment rag. So it wasn't just yep. Ryan. Everybody mm-hmm. was talking about this shit. So Well, and in like in my obviously talking and fucking joking about it on stream is much different than like my eight or 10 minute videos that I'm making. Yeah. Those yeah. are pretty much just straight like what's going on. And kind of my opinions on what it is, not so much like making light of the situation, but it, it listen in real life. We're in real life right now. Where are we though? No- nothing's nothing's off limits. We're gonna fuck with each other. We're gonna make fun of each other. We're also gonna make fun of anything and everything else that's out there. Like that's what these are. That's why people show up to these because it's not just this manufactured bullshit. It's right. not this uh, sanitized content that you're used to seeing everywhere else in entertainment. Yeah, I haven't washed and, my hands. All day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know what Ryan's talking about. I'm here for Chrissy's boobs. So. <laughs> well, everybody wow. else makes too. Well, I mean, the, the fundamental difference between making a joke and just ranting and somebody using that fucking excuse is, you know, it, it you, you can tell when somebody's making it. They're laughing. Uh, we're not, we, we don't want anything bad don't to actually it. happen to people just to no, explain absolutely it. Not. We're just yeah. we're just kidding. And I and I have to do, you know, I get this with um with emails and uh, and and even with super chats, and I, I answer it the same way. We're trying to make you laugh, I and mean, you know the intention. But the, yeah, there's people out there who say some horrific shit, and they mean it. They fucking mean it. And then they'll come back and say, "I didn't mean it." When they get a little heat, no, they fucking meant it. Uh, Ophis. Oh my god, how am I supposed to our Oberus? 
Orifice. It's not, well, I could say Orifice. Or a Boris. Or a Boris. Or a Boris. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, speaking of, and by the way, it's forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> But speaking of longtime watchers, Chrissy. I just thought it. Uh, thank you for your honesty. Oh, my God. I can, fuck. Fucking sting. Oh, dude. Well, I'm down on here my... on the second level. What are you doing that for? I'm me? sorry. I'm going to turn on my face. Hold it in next time. It really, it really does sting. Mm. Oh, good God. It's a good thing I have no sense of smell. I can't smell anything. Oh, oh my God. Somebody light a match. <laughs> yeah. My no, God. I've I've always that, not, had a very good sense of smell. Uh, uh, I'll see you. Office see you on the other Boros side. for forty nine ninety nine says. Speaking of longtime watchers, Chrissy, if I may, if I may wake you up while making you breakfast in bed, all I need is a thank you, not any of that. How did you get into my house business? <laughs> I better not feel, I better not feel a sausage link in my back in the wee hours. Yeah. Sexual harassment well, super chats. Listen, if it's a sausage link, know, you'll probably right? kick him out of bed, but if it's a Polish sausage, you'll probably leave him there, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah. What if it's a chipolata? What? No one knows what? what that is. A chipolata? A chipolata. What yeah. the fuck is, is that? Is that like a chip? Wow, you guys Look, claim to know about sausages and you don't know what a fucking chipolata is? I've never no, claimed to be an expert. I've never European been to Mexico. Mexico. Phony, phony sausage. Yes, we, we've all, yes, we've all been claiming our entire YouTube careers were <laughs> yeah. fake sausage experts. <laughs> yeah, you have, Ryan. <laughs> I've heard you. You fake a poser. I fucking heard you. You fake a fucking poser. I'm now. from Wisconsin. They're all brats here. He's yeah. going on about his and fucking on hard rolls, by the way. First and his yeah. fucking schlock and sliming. And then he's just uh, like, what? watch your palata. You're, You're just so making full of shit up shit. now. That's not even a real word. And we're talking about bratwurst. You're making shit up. Bratwurst. Bratwurst. Yeah. Bratwurst. The brats yeah, are fucking awesome. You go, well, if that's you, a sausage? You have to go into Wisconsin to get them. The brats, they're, they're, you cook them in beer, right? And then you have right. them on a hard roll. You could only get the Wisconsin hard, hard rolls in Wisconsin, the good kind. And then, you know, mm -hmm. fucking dig in yeah. with some good, like, mustard, like either Dijon mm -hmm. mustard or regular mustard. Uh, with Dijon sauerkraut, man. tons of fucking no, sauerkraut. Fuck off, oh, mm -hmm. oh, mate. Yeah. And eat them Not while the your eat them That's while your awesome. German dad is yelling at you. Mm. Yep. You get yep. the real authentic German experience. Well, yeah, like something like "Don't be stupid, you moron." You'll amount to yeah. nothing. Hurry the fuck up! Yeah. I'm gonna miss kickoff. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, I, I went to a Packer game. Should have bought some chipolatas. is much easier, quicker, and easier to cook. And Still easier. don't know what that is. Chipolata. So what is it? What is it? What is it? Define it. Chipolata. That's it. you just said the word. Okay, so you just said the word again. So you I didn't said it again. Describe it. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a small sausage. Okay. Oh, it's it has like small, small sausages. So it's like All the right. size of the average size of fried potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I chipolata is lovely. <laughs> I love a, no, chip, a I love chip, I love a chipolata. Chipolatas are common in the United Kingdom, so it, it's like a very English chipolata, thing, so also known sense. as the Irish curse. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know what that is. Hey, as is that the, is that? Do they cook those yes. on the street in London on those little grills? The ladies you out can, there, you can you can cook chipolatas uh, on grills if you want. Well, no, I'm asking if you. Uh, when I walked around London, there was all these yeah. people with the little grills. No, they wouldn't be cooking chipolatas. Chip they wouldn't cook. No. Okay. Uh, so no. Are, are okay, they like small. cocktail like sausages, like wieners. little weenies? Yeah, I was just going to say little they're cocktail. like cocktail wieners. Okay, so they're like well, Vienna yeah, you, sausages. No, but you can, they can be like long, but thin. Ugh, as well. No, thank you. So, no, so they, don't, they don't have to be Chrissy's like all about the girth. It's all Ugh, about the girth. No. Chrissy's all about those fucking Like a hot dog pancocks. down a hallway. No, thank you. <laughs> wow. I've done long and thin. Mm hmm. There you go. I'm gonna talk Not about I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the Eternals what, again. What make were they though? Because he, you know, he was Pakistani, but he had a British accent. Oh, so he was oh, the guy from the Eternals. He, he, <laughs> so yeah, basically, basically this guy. Yeah, it was years ago. Light the candles, light the sun. <laughs> Suck my dick. Ah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> It's very okay. tasty, chip chip <laughs> It's very tasty. Yeah, you're chipolata. not selling me on it. Yeah, I don't know. Where's the yeah. What do you, you eat with the chip like, like what? Yeah, a what are the sides? Hey, what are the sides you, you go with? I mean, Is you can bun? have some eggs, some beans and eggs. What? They're quite nice with chip You're mixing okay. proteins? What is baked beans. Beans and eggs? Baked, bean, baked beans. Baked beans. 
And, and then eggs? some fr a fried egg, maybe. It sounds like know? a fart disaster. A fried egg. Okay. <laughs> If you had a fried egg, Jeff, Joe Biden's yeah. worst If you had a fried egg, as, this is a, they are a as, good sauce. Take that, protein. take no, as take that fried egg, put it on a hamburger, and then you can have it with the baked beans. That's the only yeah. acceptable way. On the side, you, can, you can't you can't put a chipolata into a hamburger. No, he's oh. saying just fuck fuck the sausage, just get a hamburger. Throw the chipolata yeah. in the trash. Why would you have baked beans with a hamburger? Yeah, I've done that before. Uh, on with the a side. hot dog and a hamburger. That's, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. barbecue thing. Man. Yeah, that's a barbecue thing. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, come here to Friday Night Tights for your sausage discussion. <laughs> Back to it. Why? It's a culture clash. Well, I mean, yeah. we're talking to a, a British American where salt is if, considered if, a, a spice, like a <laughs> real spice. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, salt is like an illegal like, substance. Yeah. Salt and pepper. Play a little much on my bland food. Our greatest spice. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, salt. salt. Salt is everything. Yeah. And so goes on everything. Pepper. pepper. I, yeah. I like I like salt. So. Uh, yeah, if we have a hamburger here, we're having fries yeah, but with it. That's all I, we have. I was in te so I was in Texas for about twenty minutes today. I got off the fucking plane, got on and my connecting call flight, me. and in that time, I had. Mm -hmm. Whataburger. So, Ooh, dude, it's, it's what'd okay. What'd you get? What'd you get? I just got the the fucking double, the, the normal like double Whataburger with Classic. cheese. Uh, and I, I also got. Do you get chicken. baked beans with it? No, I did not. I got French fries, but I also got exactly the chicken tender or the honey barbecue chicken tender with cheese sandwich. That was fucking good. I like the the patty melt. If, if you actually come to Texas patty for longer good, than yeah. five minutes, I'll take you to much better you know, burger places. places. How there are a lot of water. How many people in the chat have already ordered a takeaway based off what we've been talking about? I live in the middle of nowhere. I can't. Well, I know one. it's not going to be. It's one. not going to be chipolatas. No, no. I'm, you can't. You I'm can't already no, talking. You can't order yeah. a chipolata on a takeaway. I've had egg you, whites today. You've got to go today. to a supermarket and buy chipotle. Yeah, I'm hungry. Gary's had egg whites today. I've had fucking I'm egg whites to today. <laughs> my yeah. cup of coffee. I know what you mean, Gary. You're sitting here talking about food, and I'm just like, I live in the middle of fucking nowhere. I don't. I can't even get a Uber, let alone fucking Uber Eats. Well, get, I was yeah. lucky I got Get out of the middle of nowhere. I was kind of lucky I drank so much last night. I drank so much I didn't eat. Usually I'll just like drink a lot and then eat a shit ton. But I drank so much I didn't feel like eating, which is probably a good thing. Uh, I can't wait to get in the middle of fucking. Well, I'm not going to be in the middle of nowhere, but uh, I'm going to be a place where I can get takeaway. Oh my fiber. god! Stop fucking ripping the terms from my country. Yeah, it took me so long to figure out it's takeaway because I kept on saying to go there, and they're like, "What the to fuck go. are you talking about?" Well, no, are it's you takeaway. Talking? It's takeaway. Takeaway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you take it away. It's, it's a takeaway. You 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 go to the shop, right? I and say carry go, out a lot. I ordered some fucking food, didn't it? And then right. they gave you this food. It's in a fucking bag, in it. Bag, in it. Where where is is take it, it away. And they go, right, fucking where take it away. Well, I go, where are you? Fucking take it away. I fucking I didn't, pay for it, my fucking I, food. I didn't think they were letting you guys out of the house in New Zealand. Yeah, I thought you were like on You got that crazy arrest. bitch. That crazy black that, dude, yeah. that could be fucking any woman. Yeah. <laughs> Are we talking about the governor can of Michigan? Can you be more specific? Or, yeah. The one who's can in charge of your country. Can we stop letting women rule things? Right. Can yes. That now? Yeah. Great. Now that's coming from a woman, so I don't know if this is a trap. Yeah, we, it's, it's a trap. trap. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest trap is not to give me any pussy. Mm. So we're going to say, <laughs> we're going to go, yeah, but then we're going to go, no. It's a trap. So, no, you run things. And he go, gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Agent Zero for five dollars <laughs> says suggestions for peeping Tom villains, the shill, the critic, and the matriarch. I love it. I love it. Mm. Oh, uh, the woke breaker. Uh, no, this one is from uh, the guy. I just lost it. <laughs> there it is. Two plus two is not five for five dollars. Hey Gary, I'm next door to you now at the comics lounge. You recommended. Would love to know if you're up to going to the Eternals with us this weekend. Let me know. I've seen it. Sounds like a, a mandate. Sounds like a, uh, <laughs> a mandate. It's a mandate. Oh, Biden's gonna mandate that yeah. for you. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta obey the mandate. Oh, can't wait till we get locked down for climate change. That's gonna be awesome. Oh, I know. Climate change Fantastic. lockdown coming. Uh, you can't leave your house till the penguins show up at your door. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we need nature to return. Yeah, we can't leave until like a, a, a glacier so gets to a comes certain back size from the yeah. top of Mount Ararat. Yeah. Yeah, hell no. 
It is over. <laughs> the octown is over. Ah, the pigeon with a message. <laughs> 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 it's from Greta Thunberg. <laughs> oh, blah, blah, blah. It says blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I was Sprite in The Eternals. <laughs> uh, I was Sprite. It says I'm getting bad at jobs. <laughs> How? That's why she kept saying, "How dare you!" Oh, dude, I, I'm totally using that the thumbnail nail I made for the review. <laughs> that's <laughs> I'm so using her face on it. Fuck it. I see some people freaking out in the chat. It was an Eddie Murphy joke, folks. What? Chill. Which one? The, the oh, biggest. Wait. The biggest trap is to not give you the pussy. Yeah. That's yeah. Is that raw? That's how they yes. get you. Yes. Yeah. That's how they get you. Oh, you mean all the jokes that he's like uh, dis abandoned now yeah. and just disavowed? Yeah, fuck. And then when they finally Dude, do it, it's the best pussy Eddie ever Murphy had. Murphy is so freaking <laughs> thirsty for Hollywood acceptance. Like even now, when like his career is like kind of over, it's kind of done. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. I was really hoping for a revival, but then he, you know, he, coming to America he, too came out. It, yeah, if he came back as Eddie Murphy and not this <laughs> so fake ass stuff. Eddie Murphy yeah. that uh, mm, that, yeah. that he's obviously still trying to do because he wants acceptance and he's still pissed that he didn't win that Academy Award. Uh, he thought that was a shoe in uh, for Showgirl. It wasn't Showgirls. Showgirl. It was, uh, Show, not Showgirls. I mean, he should have. He Showgirls was wasn't going to win anything. Although, yeah, no, the other it. one. Uh, Eddie Murphy, Showgirls. <laughs> no, what was the not what was the one, what was the um, uh, the, the, the 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 docudrama? Was that? Is that the Dolomite the movie you're talking about? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. The musical. <laughs> It was a musical. The one about the Motown stuff. He was, uh, he was yeah, nominated. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to look it up now. Yeah, he left right after he didn't win. Yeah. He says it was because his kid was sick, but everybody knows the truth. When did he get caught with a tranny? That was like was after 15 this. years ago. It yeah, it was like the in the 2000s. No, like 25 years ago. That was a while. Yeah, it was a while. Uh, Dream Girls. See if Dream it lines girls. up. Dream Girls. Thank you. Dream, Dream Girls. 2007 okay. Best Supporting Actor, and he <laughs> thought it was an absolute shoe-in, and he didn't get it. Uh, or showgirls. Showgirls should have won uh, for best nudity. Uh, for best nude period scene in a movie. I was just thinking that too, as oh. like, why do people think that movie is so sexy? It's like nasty in some money scenes. It's just like, isn't it? Verhoeven. Paul it Ver is a Verhoeven. Yeah. Verhoeven. Yeah. Showgirls. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Paul it's very hey, Verhoeven used edge. to be fucking awesome. He's yeah. done a couple of great movies, but he's a little, uh, he's a little wacky. That's all. Yeah. A lot of directors are. Stephen T for five pounds says, Hail Gary, please tell as his beard uh look looks like a Merkin. His bearded look <laughs> is like a Merkin. Like a Merkin. You look like it's a Merkin. It's growing. You got you gotta yeah, take you, the get a little bit of you know, you gotta get you're gonna get some overgrow and it's just gotta happen. Yeah, and then you trim it up. You let it grow out, and then you trim it up. He's, yeah, mod, I gotta look. I gotta, I gotta shape it. Yeah, you gotta shape it. You know, mod uh. mod derp for five dollars says derp. who's gonna see Eternals until I was gonna see Eternals until I realized Robin Williams wasn't in it as. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Thundercock. It. That's some lore. Lord Thundercock for nine ninety nine. Boom. Pure Alabama. Quarter black snake, but it ain't too uh Bacoop. I don't know what that bo uh, Bo Coop. Bo Coop. What's a bo -coop? As in she? bo Coop. I don't know. Very much. Okay. Very, is it? Very much. We're not I'm glad we have a bilingual yet. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not a single lingual, so like single lingual. Single lingual. lingual. <laughs> I'm not even a single lingual. Uh, uh, Jack, I can hardly speak the English. I, I can't speak the English. Jazz Tech for twenty dollars, and it's the first time super chat. Oh, be gentle. Oh, so gentle. Yes. Uh, first time super chat. Thank you, Gary, Jeremy, and Ryan for going to the meetup in Mesa. It was great to meet you to the chat. If you have a chance to go to a meetup, go. Coins go. on their way for other F and Tiers. Watch your email. So that's uh, that's who gave us the coins. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, do you have I, yours? I, I can show mine right here. Show yours because mine's I think I on the counter. In the, from, yeah. show it. in the kitchen. Ooh, yeah, 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 wow. Nice. Sweet. I, Damn, that's man. awesome. Oh, As is, I it sure is it a thick coin? The Friday it's night it's the the card. Got, so it's the back silver. has got, uh, this is coin. like fucking Frodo right there with the ring. Nice. Wow. Awesome. So it's an actual fucking silver coin right here. And wow, uh, it's got really FNT. Cool. My name is inscribed Brian, on the bottom. I can see your balls Dude, right now. that's awesome. No, you can't. I can. 
You can see my what? I, I can see balls. your balls right now. Yeah. My balls. Your balls yeah. are showing. Yeah. Right here? They're all just yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, damn, my scrotum. He was getting can't. worried. He was getting worried. Is that my sack showing? I don't give a we fuck. Thank you. Him. If YouTube would let me, I'd fucking pull it out on stream. I don't give a shit. I believe Let's you. Them. I believe you. If anybody would, it'd be you or ass. <laughs> what the hell <laughs> What the hell? Who are they signed by? I did have a really weird thought um, today. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna share. Chrissy would beat you up. So, well, that football is Sean Hannity. Um, Ooh, he's and, like a. What team did he play for? Hannity. Fox News. Fox <laughs> News. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, ju juicy small yay. Okay. But uh, juicy. my favorite right here. My two favorites are Ryan Sandberg, so uh, Chicago Cubs Hall of Famer. And then Trevor Hoffman, who recently got in the Hall of Fame for the San Diego Padres. Oh, he did get in the Hall of Fame? Daddy. Oh, that's fucking awesome. I ooh, yeah. I watched almost every single game that guy played, dude. Uh, yeah, I got him. Uh, I actually had like a fucking 30-minute conversation with him one time. Because he, he did like a Navy softball event to kind of like promote it and shit with the Padres. Yeah. And uh, it was right after he got inducted. So, well, actually, it was after he got announced. He hadn't even been inducted. So I'm like people that get him to oh, inscribe Hall of Fame. When he came out, when Hell's happened, Bells would start, know. and like, dude, it would Doom. just fucking. It's over. It's it, like the game was fucking over. Oh, he was so yeah, good. Um, he was fucking sick, man. Yeah, that changeup, yeah, dude. It killed people, you know, because he came out he, like all he did was, you know, early on he was just known for throwing the heat, but when it started dying out, yeah, that changeup came in, and he the, people would just fall for it all the fucking time. Even when he couldn't even throw that fast anymore uh, towards the end. Uh, fuck, I miss Tony Gwynn, too. God damn it. Tony like Gwynn. Oh, good. Sports ball talk. Sports ball. We're, we're done. <laughs> I, we're, we're wrapping things up. I got a couple super chats here. We got we to gotta wrap things up because I need to eat because we talked yeah, about fucking Yeah, y'all made me fucking Who's hungry. talking, talking in the background? Sausages. Um, yeah. Oops. Horror <sighs> Amarada. You're real quiet all of a sudden. Horror I have people. Amarada. For More fifty dollars, <laughs> says Hail Friday Night. Tonight's life is full of its ups and downs, and I'm on the up right now. Only twenty five oh, yeah. followers from one thousand on Twitch. So oh, if nice. you guys go to Twitch, you gals, uh, follow Horror Amarada. If twenty five of you show up, horror. 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 or you don't have to say horror. 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 you don't have to pronounce horror. it right. like <clears throat> horror. 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 Just call her a whore. It's all right. Just as long as you subscribe, you're on Twitch. That sounded like a fart at the end. <laughs> 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 hang on, hang on. X-ray girl, not finished reading that. I'm not oh, sorry. Finished. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank the fellowship so much for all the support, especially Ripa, Sheep Sidian. Uh, who's Red Do? I don't know uh, who. Radio. 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 Why is it spelled like Redu? Rally then? Durham Airport. Redu. Redu. Radio. 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 It's Ra Ra Radio for short. Radio. That's what it would be. Right for sure. And so many others. I don't have room to list. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you, Horror on Rada. Good luck. Horror. I hope you get it. Hope Thank you get you. it. Hope you get it. Horror. 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 Filthy R -r -r -r. Gaijin Podcast says, Hail Friday Night Tights crew, you guys inspire us to make a channel. Filthy Gaijin Podcast is the name, and we think people might like our Eternals and Dune reviews. We appreciate if you people check it out. Thank you, and keep up the good work. Thank you very much for $20. I love that we inspired. Get inspired. Drop that yes. envy shit. It's bitch made. It's bitch made. Uh, it's, it's, Yeah. It's really, I was about to say something bad. We'll just say continue with it's bitch made because I almost just said <laughs> something. I use, I almost used a gamer word. Would that yes, be? Yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. We need like new. Oh, that's my most, dad. Most. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Gundam used one yesterday on our stream. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you mean like noob? Yeah. Mm, we'll kind of. Yeah, yeah uh, that's the one. Get inspired. 
what as calls cigarettes in his country. There you go. Okay. Ah, there you go. <laughs> you know, the word, the, 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 Krista. Yogurt. You know, the word that basically <laughs> everyone has used or is using at times, but we have to pretend like we don't. Uh, right. it's like, yeah. I like I a baguette it. with my sandwich. So uh-huh. there you go. Yay. So French. Yeah. It's, it's something that you call women if they open the car door for yes, you. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you had like eight drinks, yeah. A fucking bitch. Yeah. Why? Well, no. no. <laughs> uh, we are gonna wrap things up. Do I look like folks. a bitch to you? Uh, right on that. Right on that. Don't uh, let me cry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to mention something. Uh, wizard. Uh, what, yeah. What was it? Oh, uh, Asmongold. Yeah, just a, okay. a bit of Asmongold a support right. for Asmongold. Right. I got a squirty boy. What the fuck? Probably not the right moment right now. No, no my no. friend's got me one. No, she's gonna keep going. She's gonna keep going because she didn't hear. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! God. Oh my! Oh wow! Well, what is it? Oh, ah, fuck. What the? We'll you reset that, that later. It. It's like when you go to hibachi. <laughs> Chrissy's in Chrissy's into water sports. <laughs> what? When you, are you kidding me? You've never been to hibachi? Yeah, the, uh, yeah. I know. And then yeah. the guy who's doing hibachi goes, ah, oh, he, he's like, open your mouth. And he, and, he goes, and he pulls his cock out and pisses in your mouth. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> I gotta go to the party. It's you a little are, squirty Chrissy. boy. Oh my little God. squirty boy. Uh, Is it supposed to be piss or cum though? No, it sucks. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You put it in I right hope here. It's, uh, yeah. Well, that's three things I would I would never drink out of that no. thing uh, as long as there's a whole lot wrong with that. There's all the butt cracks we missed from X-ray girls workers coming by. <laughs> did they fix your furnace, X-ray girl? Or you did they come by? I'm getting warmer a little bit. All right, that's I'm good. still on my <laughs> okay. Booty, though. Yeah, that, that doesn't answer the fucking question. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's so cold. It takes time to warm up. It does. Is it fixed? Depends on the. Go- uh, it I does. think so. I okay. didn't talk to the workers at the end. Maybe. Of course you didn't we'll talk see. to them. I don't know it's working. Did they show up on time? <laughs> no, I, how I didn't understand what's going on. How have you suddenly turned into Ed from fucking <laughs> Cowboy <laughs> Bebop? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's pretty good. Uh, so... <laughs> Did they- on, on a more serious, on a more serious note, I yeah, suppose, yeah. Uh, you yes. know, Asmund Gold's, you know, mom passed away the other day, and I know As wanted uh... to say something about that. So, mm. oh well, I mean, uh, I, you know, it's it's uh, really really sad. Obviously, uh, I lost family member a few weeks ago. I uh, lost my uncle, uh, and uh, you know, that's that's kind of like hard enough. I can't even begin to imagine what it's like to lose your mom and uh, Asmund Gold just. He seems to have such a, a special relationship with her, uh, such a close relationship with her. And, you know, even through all his success, you know, he still stayed in the same, you know, you know, stayed very tight, uh, streamed from the same place, you know, same house. Uh, uh, so it's just really, really sad because uh, he put out a video couple of weeks back you know where, where he's just saying that there's you know it's been some complications with her and then it was just uh it was just heartbreaking to see a week later that she had passed uh passed yeah. away so i just want to give all my my love to zach legit uh give all my love to zach and i i, you know, I can't even imagine what he's going through right now but i really hope that he's got a a good crop of people around him to support him and you know guys uh if you got a nice word to say to him you know, I think it would mean the world to him if you just drop him, a, you know, a tweet or a, a something to, to give him some support. What's his handle? Um, uh, at Asmund, Asmund Gold. Gold. Okay. Yeah, uh, I lost yes. my mom like three years ago, so I feel all yeah, that. It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's horrific stuff. And uh, yeah, so uh, he's, you know, um, I've, I've, you know, done some stuff with Zach in the past. Not recently, not for a few years, but I've done some stuff with Zach in the past. We've done podcasts and stuff and um he's a genuine guy you know what you see is what you get you know uh so uh yeah i just uh want to pass my best on to him and then really hope uh you know really hope that in this difficult time he's got a good support network around him yeah absolutely well yeah, said thank you as yeah uh losing a parent uh no matter what age obviously uh 
earth shattering. It's been 20 years since my pops died and think about him every day. Think about him every day. So, Hey, thanks for, for the kind words and uh, thanks for all the support that I know you guys are going to give in the chat. Cause you're the best. You're the absolute best. So we're going to wrap things up right there. All the rest will be taken up on a square, uh, caught up on a square up that you'll see prior to next week's show from this show. And then I got some other shows that are going to be added in, but this show you'll see it within the next week. On Nerdrotic Live. That's where all of my live streams go, except for this one. This one stays put. The real BBC is getting real close to staying put, too. Like, maybe mm. a week or two away from staying put as well. Uh, Eternals review, for me, will be Sunday. So let's go around the horn, let everybody plug their stuff, and go eat. So we'll start with Comics Division. Hey, everybody on Comics Division. Uh, you can follow me on YouTube and Twitter at Comics Division. Yeah, I'll be working on my review of Eternals, too. Probably tonight, so we'll see. Uh, it's Good luck, be fun. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I heard we were not getting an Eternals too. Uh, if we're if we're lucky, we will not be getting. It. Yeah, uh, I think <laughs> um, two Eternals. Yeah. Okay. Real quick. Uh, also, also, I put out it. Go ahead. Sorry, Gary. Give give your weekend prediction of the box office. Oh, don't God. spend a lot of time on it. Just ballpark it. Um, fifty thousand, okay. fifty million, fifty thousand. Fuck it out, mate. Ooh, that's, that's bad. No, fifty probably. Andy lost. Uh, that's that's my guess. Okay. But uh, we still a new video out on unsafe space this week. Uh, go check that out. It's talking about the great narrative, something that the World Economic Forum is pushing. Um, they kick off that thing in less than a week at this point. Hmm. Fuck, that's not good. Nope. Thanks, comics, for the bad news. Uh, Corner <laughs> Carter Black. Hey, my name is uh, Garrett here, and you can follow me, subscribe on Twitter and YouTube and Odyssey. I'm on Odyssey. I'm streaming there every week now, doing exclusive streams over there. Double streaming because I use hey double stream. I double use stream. the uh, the restream. It's pretty cool. I used it once. Works out perfectly. So I'm doing that. I'm streaming on both platforms now. Also, a little update on the arcade machine. I did not get it. No, so I I have to that up sucks. my uh I have to up my bid. It's still available. It's still so, available. It, uh, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. so I just have to uh you know call up crowd. Funds. So so uh yeah. yeah. Subscribe to my channel. That's I'll, I just need to stream again. <laughs> Tell Crowder you have an idea for a new gag and you fucking. I have a go. really great idea. It's not going to show up at the studio. It'll be at my house. But just, just trust me, it'll work. Oh, that's exactly. awesome, uh, dude. I'm I'm a. Uh... I, I'm, so, root, yeah, I, I'm rooting. I just, for I, you. I'm rooting. I need five hundred dollars. So I'm, I'm rooting for you because I'm getting something for the studio that uh, we'll get it, dude. Mrs. Nerdrotic is gonna hate, <laughs> but it's gonna be awesome. So I'm oh, gonna get way, it anyway. Have, uh, the housewarming present for you when you get here. Oh, uh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, well, you're gonna hate. Oh. You're gonna be in the studio is it with a me. Sex worker. <laughs> it's a hand job. No, uh, no. It's a very bad hand a job. A good for, hand job. For as much as it's gonna cost to ship, it should give hand jobs, but it it does not. No, uh, it's just um, you'll see it, and mm, it's I'm not gonna say it. it's gonna mm. be a surprise. Uh, Comics division will be uh, in studio That's pretty soon. Be awesome. Mm. Friday night tights. Yeah. Uh, anybody That'd in Texas cool. can come on by. Yeah, Hi, yeah. Sire. I'm in Texas. We, I'll be there next month. You will be. We're really. Oh yeah. Nice. December. Oh, yeah. Are you doing a show? Oh yeah, I'm doing shows at Hyenas in Dallas with Aaron Berg and okay. Anthony Cumia. Oh, that's nice. fucking awesome. Last I don't know minute. I'll be let me know. There. Let me know. Because I'm gonna yeah, be here come. for Christmas. But maybe I'll be there because I'm going to be moving. I'm moving my stuff first. So the studio's moving before anything else moves. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Maybe mm. I'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we, hey, save that plug because you get to do it again. So okay. hang on. We'll, we'll get there. Tom. Um. Yeah, you know, you can find me. Um. I just want to say thank you for making my night. It's been a rough week. Uh, I was just in a really shitty mood till I got here, and you guys helped me laugh and have fun. Oh. So, awesome. and the chat's always fun. So, yeah. love you, Tom. Just sick oh, of YouTube. Love you, Tom. <laughs> well, it's yeah. over now, there so you can get miserable again. That's right. Yeah. I've got another <laughs> week of this stuff, and then I'll be all right. No, but if it wasn't for this show, like, yeah, today I just have had a rough day. So, thanks yeah, a lot, sorry, guys, man. for making me laugh. Of course. Yeah, give, me, give me one. Fist bumper. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, boom, no, boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Look at that. Don't leave him hanging. Yeah, yeah. Right. Give me that dick. 
Okay. No. Okay. Double that's hand enough. Job. That's enough. I'm pulling out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> back to freshman year. I'll make you feel better. <laughs> freshman year. Uh, Ryan. Uh, thanks for having me, Gary. Again, we've talked about it a couple times. The meetup was fucking incredible. We're definitely going to be doing more shit there at the Endgame Bar uh, because evidently – hundreds of fans live in mesa arizona i know hundreds so of people random. to watch the show that is awesome. uh people they were literally like hey i heard you guys were coming i i literally live a block away i work in this building fnt on, on on tour fnt on tour in the future yeah so it. anytime we do these we're always we're we're blown away when like one or two people show up mm-hmm. and want to talk to us when it's 120 people last minute uh it's really cool and really humbling so I'm glad to be back and just probably going to fucking crash hard because I'm tired of shit. Yeah. But we're going to be back at the grind tomorrow for Sports Wars, my channel, everything. And when Jeremy drives his ass back home, he's going to be back on the grind too. So a lot of things coming for Geeks and Gamers. We had a really good productive trip. It wasn't all just meetups. It was business shit too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And uh, hopefully that 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 hopefully that works out, really. Um, thanks, Ryan. Uh, as... Thanks for coming on, buddy. I'm not be intelligent, but I know what love is. <laughs> Forrest, Forrest Gump didn't have a fucking. I was saying, it's like Forrest Gump meets on. the elephant that's, man. Yeah, that was, yeah. A, that was a little mashup. Is, I am uh, human. That's going I'm on not my a smart reel. man. I am a but man. I know what it's love going is. on my sizzle reel. I, I, need, I needed a few things from a sizzle reel, so I thought I'd just quickly get <laughs> get one in there. You know, show I've got some range. Uh, I can do, do you know, simple as uh, some spaz. Um, S, that's S P A Z, of course. Uh, me, uh, super professional as I can do some spaz. Uh, p- uh, follow me on heel v- at heel v- on, on, or, or you can heal on Nancy Word. Pelosi. What are you? Wow. All right. R- three- Maybe you really do have an extra chromosome. In, mm, <laughs> late at night, words hard. <laughs> You can follow me at Heel versus Babyface on YouTube. Uh, subscribe, you cunts, because I'm like, <laughs> no, I mean, I mean that. Mean it? Yeah, yeah, I mean that. I mean, come on, hit that fucking subscribe button, you fucking assholes, and watch some like videos too. Two hundred uh, subscribers away from hitting two hundred ninety k, and uh, I'm a nerd, so obviously I got a fixation for numbers. So uh, if you could do that, that you know, help out there, that'd be wunderbar. Uh, my Eternals review will probably go up tomorrow. I'm going to uh, try and make it as brief as humanly possible, as close to that 10-minute mark, so I can get those two adverts in and get the fuck out of Dodge. Um, so that'd be great. Tuesday, my channel, The Real BBC with Gary and Mola. Uh, as hosts uh wednesday what toys uh on my channel with robert my burnett as we show off our latest uh, offering of goodies uh which have arrived thursday uh same time 8 p.m uk time midday pacific time uh the calamari boys that's robert my burnett and myself are back with episode three of squid game uh guys if any of you want to get in on this uh feel more than welcome uh, to come in and, and discuss uh, Squid Game with us. We're on episode three this week. We're doing each episode we buy. Green light! And then, of course, Friday, Friday night tights where the guest is going to be Gary Dono. Uh, so we'll see you on Friday Actually, night. Girl. Next week. Do we have a guest it, for next week? It is Count Dankula. Oh, yes. oh hell yeah! Yes. Woo! Fuck wow. yeah! Nice. We got the dank. Wow! Dang. We get to nice. find out when you guys get to find out. That's how hell we roll. Yeah, out. yeah. <laughs> Extra girls, all the fucking secrets. That's yeah. awesome. We got to the donkey donkey. We just nice. had a great one. We got a great one next Friday, and we got another great one after that. So good. Yeah, yeah unlike month. the Eternals, you actually get to see our natural facial reactions. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of wow, I love you. Everybody's going to die. The world's going to end. If you have me.
Emoting is hard. Oh my god, that is so amazing. We have Count Dankula next Friday. Yes. The humans I'm are so easy. I'm coming. They're so, <laughs> so, so good. So good. They're so good at the okay. same time. You have been so great. Shark has never saved the world. Right there. Don't stop. <laughs> oh, that's, oh God. that's oh. the spot. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Ryan, Ryan, that oh. actually sounds like you've heard that before. Uh, <laughs> In, in that and way, I'm so sorry. I'm so I, sorry, dude. I followed instructions. I did not stop. So, <laughs> uh, Dance what is to the sound of a machine's a fucking anime watcher for ten dollars? Says, careful what you find find out and say in politics. Project Veritas got raided by the FBI. That is some <gasps> bullshit. No. Oh. Yep. First, they had a flood that Fucking like washed FBI. out all their offices, and now this. Well, can can so, we just call the FBI organized crime by now, please? Yeah. 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 What they've always cool. been. Wow. My, my when did this happen, Gary? Earlier today, I, uh, James O'Keefe made a video. I didn't get to see the entire thing. It sounded like they went to current and former employees of Veritas for people who have done reporting for them and raided their places. That's what it sounded like to me. Wow. So they're attacking all of their employees and shit, probably to make people not want to work with them. Right. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that sounds like intimidation uh, tactics. Yeah, it sounds so like it. Sounds like extortion. Gay. Secret police. Mm. Uh, the gang, mm. uh, Jane's Addiction said it, the gang and the government are no different. So there you go. Yep. Yep. Great song, 1%. Uh, da, 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 and Chrissy Mayer. Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be doing stand up tomorrow in New Jersey, November 6th at Tiff's Ale House, the dojo of comedy. Uh, nine o'clock show. That's tomorrow, November 6th. Wow, I'm a little drunk. Uh, and then I'm going to let's go to my post it. Yeah, note. but you're not Nancy Pelosi drunk. So, no, yeah, no, true. I'm not like Lifetime. DC drunk. Then I'll be in Little Rock uh, December 13th, the Looney Bin in Little Rock, <clears throat> Arkansas. And then I'll be in Dallas, Texas, December 15th and 16th. Hyenas in Dallas with Aaron Berg and Anthony Cumia. It's going to be fucking sick. Hit me up. Come to those shows. Uh, check out the Chrissy Mayer podcast on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud. Just released an episode this week with Owen Schroyer from InfoWars. So that's fun. And that is Drew awesome. Hernandez, a bunch of cool people. Oh, I Drew's like awesome. People, Drew's cool. I like cool. to talk to people who are a little scandalous, a little canceled, a little Drew Hernandez. Little fun. I was on his uh, Instagram. He's he's, he's a good dude. Yeah. He's good people. He's going yeah, after yeah, it. Yeah. He's going after the fucking, the Fredos, like hardcore. Yeah. yeah. We it's exciting. Get, might, maybe we should get Drew on, on this. On this get show. Drew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he can talk. So he's a good guest. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, Chrissy, thank you. And by the way, go uh, check out her comedy. Uh, yeah, I'm biased, but it's legit really good. It's really good. Funny. Thank Based you. I'm comedy. working on, uh, I actually have to tape my set on Saturday to send to uh, a company that's interested in like producing an album or a special for me. Oh, so I have to. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. So that is in the Sweet. works. I know everyone's like, where's your stand up online? It's all like bad old YouTube clips. So I'm actually trying to get like a legit <laughs> special out. Let's do this. Nice. 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 There's anything so, yeah. we can so do to help. You're new Jersey. Jersey. For this. this is a good Chrissy, idea. Chrissy's busy as hell. Or fucking yeah. Busy. Yeah. Like I, she's yeah. literally been live streaming before while she's premiering shit. It's too many. That's how, that's, that's how much she's doing. Uh, so. Yeah. Almost as it's much awesome. as you. 84 videos in a month. I was say, yeah, you do that too though. Ryan. Well, that was just on sports <laughs> wars. I also did. I did 86 videos on Sports Wars, 74 videos on my main channel, 25 vids on RK Outpost, 14 on RK Outpost Damn. Live, and then all my streams. So it was a good October, though. So it paid off. Damn. Yeah. And you got shirts. <gasps> I also have shirts. Go to T Public. I have uh, Make America Great Again shirts. Oh, yeah. I also you have a have Mayor Mayor's. Mayor shirt, which we also, saw last night at the yeah. meetup. Oh, that's so exciting. And I also have Smayer. If you're a fan of Slayer, I have Smayer shirts. <laughs> nice. You know, nice. I'm trying. Brilliant. I'm really just doing pun based uh, shirts. If, if the Bod Rod hey, could put guys, that in the chat. I got some good breaking news. What's that? Uh, it uh, the the rust thing is not Alec Baldwin's fault. Oh, uh, really one of the work. actresses on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air uh, said that uh, he'd been uh, tampered by with by Trump Trumpers. supporters. Oh, that was no shit. Oh, like really? one of the first one of the first dumbass things that came out. I bet it was a Trump supporter. So we 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 got we we know who's the problem lies. It's that fool Trump. Hmm. 
Well, now, Ryan, you've been keeping up with it more than Trump. anybody else that I know. Yeah. Didn't the armorist say something stupid this week, too, about she thought it was tampered with or she something did. like that? She did. Her lawyers uh, came out, actually did an appearance on the Today Show, and basically said, we have no idea how this happened. You know, it, it wasn't the armor who, who introduced this live round. What we should really be figuring out is who put that live round there and why they would do that. And then they went on to insinuate that it may have been a disgruntled employee. Oh, she's one trying of to get out people. of fucking trouble. Oh, yeah, everybody's yeah. pushing the blame. And to be yeah. fair, I've, I've said this a lot, as much as I'm going to criticize these people, if I was in that situation and I was trying, like, like my fucking life and my future depended on it, I'd try to press the blame on anybody I fucking could. That's yeah. natural. Disgruntled, but, regular gruntled. Yeah, anybody. gruntled Trump supporters, whatever. Uh, but here's the, pro one and, and here's the one biggest problem. Man. Honesty will still be better. <gasps> Honesty would still be better because when they do eventually find out the truth and you lied about it and stuff, then you yep. go to actual jail. That's when you go to it's not yeah. when you it's not well, when you admit it and say, Hey, I made a mis it must have been me, I made a mistake. It's when you tried to hide it and then they find out, then you go to actual jail. That's why you let your lawyers make the statements. Yep. Yeah. That's why you shut the fuck up uh for everything. I learned that. Of course, very it doesn't sound early. like she's got the smartest uh, we're gonna, lawyers here No, either. well, she's not the smartest person. So uh uh <laughs> closing out, closing out, because we gotta get out of here. Um the Eternals box office for Thursday was nine point five million. Less than oh, I, I predict 87 hmm. million for the weekend. They are projecting 70. Yeah, I was I gonna say, I, think, I, 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 was, I was gonna make 60s like fair. high 70s to 80 was my initial From like, guess. 100, a little bit more than Shang Chi. Remember, it was 100 a couple of weeks ago, and they're gonna pretend they never said that. So, yep, they dumped um, it down to 75 last weekend. Yeah, nice, yep. that's yep. hilarious. <laughs> Uh, I was, I've been saying about 60 or 70 or so for a while, yeah. Of course, the headlines are Marvel's Eternals to boost the box office, which is, I mean, l I guess literally true because it was, you know. It, it made some money. It made some it's, money. Like, like, there, there, is, there is money now because of that movie that wouldn't have been there if there was no movie. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, uh, all right. Thanks. You guys did a great job. It was a great show. Jay Longbone. Uh, yeah, don't yes, forget to check Jay out Longbone. Yeah. Longbone. Hell yeah. Yeah, thanks for Jay Long. Uh, despite her internet troubles, she tried yeah. to, and, and and it worked out. And we love her stuff. Go check her out. Link in the description. Subscribe to her often. Make up other channels if you want. It's okay. It's not against the law yet. One thing. One more thing. One more thing. Uh, my nerdy home, uh, who does a ton of stuff for us, uh, she's absolutely awesome. Uh, she is trying to get to a thousand, thousand. followers on Twitch. Yeah. So if you could please uh, go to my nerdy home, literally as it said, all one word, my nerdy home on Twitch, drop her a follow. Doesn't cost anything, you know, nothing. No, just give her a my follow. Try and get her to home. 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 No, that's oh the gosh. only thing. There'll be a link. Oh, link. There'll be a my link. nerdy home. There'll yeah, be a link. That's, that's that's what her goal is. By the end of the year, she's trying to get to a thousand Twitter. Yeah, Twitch what's she right now? Please, uh, she probably right like. Now? Five or six hundred or something like that. Okay, look, yeah, exactly. I shall because I'm I'm a Twitch well. They'll put a link. The, the mods reason. will put a link in the uh, description or not description. Well, you can put one in the description if you want to. I don't care, and we'll put it in the chat. That'll work as well. Uh, there it is. It's in the chat. Cool. Sweet. Nice. Nerdrotic. Please, Nerder. please, please give her a follow. Uh, Inhale Skittle tits. Nerdrotic Nooner times will be, uh, I mean, just whenever until the move actually happens, which is going to be sooner than later. I'm going to be awesome. spending the holidays here in San Diego, but after that, I'm going to be in Texas, and there'll be a studio, and there's some huge news coming. Uh, we have an announcement to make next week. That's your tease, uh, and I'll make it uh, right at the beginning of the show, and that's about it. So, everyone, uh, thanks, Perry Chan. You are an international treasure. Thanks to everybody on this panel, uh, whether they're present or not. They are no zeros here. Some of the best of the best. The chat is the best of the best. You're beautiful. You're lovely. Uh, lovely. You're sexy. And thank you to the Mod Rodics. They are saints. Please enjoy some brand new credits. Yeah. If I get to the right. Oh, I got the right. No, you can't see my dick. <laughs>
Mr. Cyclops is going to be... Does he, oh, uh, make sure the gun stays down, in his hand, by the way. Right. <laughs> he's going to be laid down. He's going to be... His legs are open, of course, so that, that Wolverine can insert himself. Then you've got Jean Grey, who's going to be sat on <laughs> Cyclops' head. <laughs> What the fuck is happening? Like, the gun good. is disturbing. I must say. I have a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Engage. <laughs> now, is that is what we need to see in the comics. Stop queer baiting, Marvel. Shit. Manager, please. <laughs> so, boy, do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. It is. It's amazeballs. Oh, God. I play it all the time on Meat Radio. I do, too. There, now they get the sound. Dan, Dan. How many shows shows will start things over? Uh, Fuck it. I say, fuck it. 